Ben, 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 Tom, 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 Tom. Welcome, welcome everybody. It's a week late. It is a week late. But you know what? So we've had first birthday, Tom, but what about second birthday? Second birthday. Uh, yeah, you know, this is an exception. You're allowed, <laughs> this, you're allowed a second birthday this time. Hooray! Uh, normally, anyone that celebrates their birthday for more than one day, I think you're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> but you're, you're a special boy, Ben. Yay. We're doing it. Um, and uh, we've got a very special treat. A very special <gasps> treat for you today, Ben. Because you've been such a good boy, Ben. Father Christmas. Actually, it wouldn't be Father Christmas. No. Ronald. <laughs> Ronald is with me. Ronald has got you a special gift, Ben. Oh, it's massive. It's massive, Ben. But it's not just an, a special gift. It's special gifts. <gasps> it's a gift with layers. Like, like an onion. <laughs> Like Shrek. Like, oh, is it going to make me cry? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, I so, hate it. Yeah, you can hold on, on to your gift. Oh, oh. oh my God. It's heavy. It's, special, it's so heavy. It's a two-hander. Um, I don't often get two-handers. So there's layers. So layers? Every now and again, yeah. you'll be allowed to un unlock a layer of the gift. Um uh, I'm not sure what arbitrary system we're going to assign to unlocking layers. Mm -hmm. Either you're good, or um, if someone donates £39 specifically, <laughs> that can open you a layer. That's a way for us to get a little bit of uh, <laughs> birthday money. Chat can um, help me open my birthday present. Uh, offset the um, <laughs> offset the cost Ronald uh, spent on a lot of wrapping paper. Did he? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, Ronald was telling me about it. <laughs> it, the layers, you know, literally like acres of the Amazon rainforest had to be destroyed for this. Wow. So I hope uh, hope you're happy with that. Okay. Um, it's my responsibility now, is it? Yes. <laughs> what Ronaldo did. Yes. Um, <laughs> right. Very true. Uh, so yeah. Um, oh. Boom. You got you got special special gift. Oh my god. What can I open one now? No. Oh. Not yet. It's not your birthday yet. You behave yourself. Uh, but also, You're such a tease, Tom. But there, there's You're all such a kinds, tease. All kinds of different things in there. Um, and also, we have a Warhammer quiz book from 2006. Ooh, that's a good year for Warhammer. Um, that's before Doombots. It's before Doombots. <laughs> and uh, you'll be also put to the test to see if you can, uh, you know, answer a question. And... Um, See how smart you are. Oh, can I open a layer then as well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. You might have to do a test to see if, if you're I, allowed to open a layer. If I get it wrong, do I have to put another layer on? Yes. It's like strip poker. You will have to do that. <laughs> Although these do ramp up in difficulty. Like, I'll just give you an example of... What's one of the easy ones? Okay, we'll do an easy one. I want to compare an easy one and a hard one against them. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I... Right, so I need to find the answers for these as well, which is going to delay this whole fucking problem. That's all right. Thing. I'm going to open up bit. more little windows of um, stuff to look at. Because we haven't done what's new in Warhammer for two weeks. There's so many things. Uh, okay, right. I um, think we're, we're good. Where is this High Lords section? Oh, my God. The High Lord category. Yeah. So what, this is information that the High Lords would know. What's easy mode called? Uh, that's called Trooper. Oh, okay. It's not like Snivelling Grot section. Yeah. Yeah. Not that. Um, okay. So an example, an easy question. You know Orcs, right? I know about Orcs. So. Orcs with a K or Orcs with a C? Orcs with a K. Oh, easy. Uh, so in the easy section, mm -hmm. what color is an Orc? Is this a trick question? <laughs> this is in the easy section, Ben. <laughs> what colour is an orc? They're traditionally green. You're correct! Hooray! Present! No, Present! Oh. Um, okay, and uh, in the High Lord section, which orc fighter ace was the leader of the Vulture Squadron during fighting on Rinsworld? Oh, um, the, 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 the red... Baron Orc. Mm, no, it was the Black Burner. 
what the hell? So what the hell? Is the uh, answer green? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, sadly not. <laughs> Uh, although some of the some of the like high lord questions are actually like a bit more, some I do know, like Ooh, what, what okay. guidance systems do orcs use to control their guided missiles and bombs? Grot. Boom. Correct. <laughs> Hooray! That's, that's a high lord difficulty question. I feel like you could stab in the dark and get that one. Right? <laughs> yeah. How many orcs can be transported by a gargantuan squiggoth? Ooh, more than you might think. It's like forty or something, right? It's 20, then. Oh, what? Which is less weirdly, than you might think. Less than you would think. <laughs> that thing's huge, though. Yeah. It's like this big. Is that what my present is? A gargantuan squigger. Oh, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Ooh. This is a good one. You might know this. In the original Rogue Trader rulebook, orcs battle space marines in which sample scenario? <gasps> battle for the farm. Yes. <laughs> good job. That's well, on Brin's world as well, I'll have you know. Ooh. Mm. So, there could be some more quizzes later. <laughs> um, also hidden in uh, some of the layers of your uh, multi-tiered present from Ronald. Mm -hmm. He snuck in a couple of your hammer or law hammers. Yay! That will be coming up. So you'll get to do uh, a couple of those. Oh, um, the best part of your hammer or law hammer is not having to think of one myself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the best present of all, Tom. Yeah, yeah the, you know the worst part of doing this thing is having to come up with three in a week. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> As if like just doing one wasn't stressful. Three at a time. Uh, Perfect. Who's Ronald? Ronald is like the god of luck. Or something? Something. Ronald is with you when you roll high in the winds of magic. Yeah, Ronald, be with you. Uh, Ronald Warhammer. He's like the god of good fortune and gamblers or something, right? Something like that. Uh, Thieves, the trickster god, ooh. the night prowler. The human god of luck, fortune, and mischief. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. God of luck. He's got a twiddly mustache. He god does have a twiddly mustache. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, boom. So I'm very excited. Me too. Me too. How are we going to start this off then? Uh, can we do some what happened in Warhammer? We can start off with some what happened in Warhammer last week, if that is, if that's what you fancy. Well, well, I want my present. You're not allowed a present. Mm. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get to that. Okay. Or do you want to begin? Do you want, to, do you want a layer of your present? Please, sir, just one layer. Can I just peek? Can I just tear one little corner off? Okay, only if you get... Ooh, okay, right. In the veteran section, mm -hmm. we're in the lucky dip category. Ooh. Which, uh, who knows how that is going to go. Right, I just want to make sure I've got the answers available. Uh, how tough is veteran? Oh, it's not too tough. It's like one higher than... Um, thing. Mm. Uh, okay. Who was the Dark Angel chaplain who had the most black pearls for interrogating Fallen? Ooh. Well, the, the chief interrogator chaplain is Asmodai. So he probably has the most, but maybe the legend tells of the guy who came before him who had a billion more than him. But I'm never going to remember that guy's name. Wow. So we'll just go with Asmodai. Uh, that's wrong. No. Oh. Yes, no present for you. It was uh, Malachi. Oh. With eight pearls. Eight? <laughs> it's honestly, I thought, I was expecting more. not that many. <laughs> <laughs> really not that many. <laughs> right. Wow. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's sad. Oh. That's I think out. they add them to like their, um, they've got like a ros rosary beads. Yeah. And you can't really do many prayers with, well, that's the, the, the best. There's one guy who's probably just got one little pearl. One pearl. <laughs> that's not, that's not a great like fidget toy. Are they like Vodgoblin pearls? Uh, oh. Do they come from the pile? Oh, God. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Gross, kind of sticky, kind of so oily. It's got like, oh, that's, that's the thing, right? You start off with a big chain of white, creamy Vodgoblin pearls, mm -hmm. and then every time you, like, make a fool and repent their sins, you get to replace one with a black pearl. Okay. So they all want to get rid of the disgusting... Yeah, that's a good incentive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you don't have to have the horrible um, sticky pearls. The sticky pearls around your neck all day, every day. Wow. Yeah, we've un unlocked it. Um, I'll give you one other chance, because this is a fun question. Mm -hmm. uh, which of Colonel Schaefer's last chances oh, is a convicted God. serial killer? 
Fucking you, all of them! You oh can, my god! I'll even let you open up a picture of the box so you can look at the models. Okay. And try and I, work out. Uh, I've never read the book, so I don't really know who most of the characters are. But I know the concept. They're like the Dirty Dozen in Warhammer. Yeah. So there's like convicted criminals formed together for one last heist and they can earn their freedom. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. Which one of these guys is a serial killer? Yeah. I mean, it might be Shiv. He's got a knife. That's, That's a traditional true. serial killer <laughs> That's move. That's true. It's probably not the guy called Hero. I'm going to go out on a limb. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Fingers or Grease Monkey who like stole the commander's like hover car or something. Oh. Hot -wired, went on a joyride in like the ambassador's hover car or something like that. That's I think why one it. of them is there because they stole like the captain's bottle of synth whiskey. Oh, or that something. sounds like about broke right. into his like, <laughs> valise and uh, drank the whiskey. <laughs> it might be Animal. He looks like he's got a bomb collar on. Ooh, I need your final final oh. guess. Don't look at chat. They can't help you. They're mm. just saying things at random. <laughs> yeah, they're only right half the time. They're also wrong half the time. So true. I'm going to go with Animal, because he's more restrained than all the others. Yeah. And I feel like he's the most dangerous one. Makes sense. Uh, sadly, it was Shiv. Oh, I want my with, I should have gone with my gut. With, with the knife. With the knife, of course. It was Shiv. <laughs> should have um, gone with my gut. Oh. Yeah, convicted of the murder of 20 civilians Ooh. over a five-year period on Lecter Prime. So, Yikes. pretty bad dude. Pretty bad dude. I can see why they didn't let him have a gun. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if, like, would you, if you've got, like, a convicted serial killer, you don't want to arm them with their serial killing weapon, do you? No, that's their special move. That's their speciality. And it's going yeah. to it's gonna put them back in the zone, right? Yeah, you're right. It's just going to bring back all the memories. And like, oh, yeah, I remember what it's like to stab mm. those civilians. Oh, you look a bit like a <laughs> civilian. Gotta watch out for Jesus. that. Jesus. <laughs> okay, you oh. have one uh, last one. Um, ooh. Uh, what's the maximum strength uh, of a model equipped with a power fist? In 2006? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, well, stats were a lot lower back then. What did a power fist, did it double your strength in 2006? I honestly can't remember. I think it mu must have done. It probably capped out at 10. I'm going to say 10. You're right! Yay! You're right, Ben! You're now officially allowed to open... Present! One present, layer, one layer present, of present, the present. Praise present. be to Ronald. Ronald is with me! Ronald is with you. Uh, maybe we might need to get a bag to... Actually, it's your present. You can deal with all the, um, the, the stuff. It's a party popper! Whoop, whoop! <laughs> Hooray! Oh no, it didn't fire! <laughs> oh fuck. It didn't fire! <laughs> and Ronald got a big bag of the real cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald has forsaken me! <laughs> it turns out you were very lucky today. There we go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is wedged in there, holy shit. Oh no. Okay, the misfire. That could have had my fingers off, Tom. <gasps> I've got a badge! <laughs> It's my birthday! It's green. Obviously, Ronald doesn't know about green screens. <laughs> no, he's from but the it, Warhammer but world. But it's a rosette, like I'm a good dog. <laughs> You're a good dog. <laughs> it, has, it has dinosaurs on it. It's your birthday. Ronald's doing a great job so far. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ronald's done amazingly well. How dare you. He's got me another party popper. I guess he knew there was a 50-50 chance. Like, <laughs> I think he was just throwing them in. <laughs> he, had the, he had the big old bag. Yay! Hey, it worked. That one worked! Huzzah! Ronald giveth. Ronald taketh away. Well done. Here you go, Tom. Ah! <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> chocolates! And there's some chocolates. Wow. Chocolate fudge brownies. Delicious. Delicious. I'll eat that when you're doing a battle. I think that's uh, that's it. Generally, you get one one thing per there. Aww. 
Very good. Oh my god. Boom. It's still really big. <laughs> it's still pretty big. <laughs> I um, love it. Congratulations. Second birthday is the best birthday of Ronald, all. When I'll be with you, Ben. Thank you. Oh, uh, I can't wait. Can't wait to open more layers. So, uh, what is new in Warhammer last? What's new in Warhammer last week? Um, well, we missed a couple of weeks. They had the like the Las Vegas Open Super Sneak Peek reveal time. Oh, that's true. Um, there we go. This thing. That is true. So there was a big, big tournament in Las Vegas, and um, Hello, these guys were there, what? showing new things. Neb and Teb. Wait, no, that's no. There's discount Tom, I guess, because he's got glasses. Oh, okay, yeah. But that's not discount Ben. It does look a bit like a discount Ben. He's got a bigger beard than me. Yeah, he's got a bit more, a bit more going on in the face department though. Not he hasn't got a birthday ribbon, though, has he? <laughs> That's very true. He doesn't have a birthday ribbon. It's not his birthday. So get fucked. <laughs> it's not his birthday. But they showed off um, this guy, Eldars. Hooray! And they showed off the this guy. Hang on, let's just like open up all the links, and then we'll go through them. Uh, all right, one at a time. Wow. Boom. We've got um, the new avatar. It's cool. Uh, it's pretty cool, isn't he? It's cool. Yeah. I, like I think it. we've sort of already seen quite a lot of him already, so it wasn't... Yeah, it was kind surprise. of like spoiled quite quite heavily. Yeah. Um, and he's just a bigger, cooler version of the one we already had, which is which is great. Yeah, I like him. I like him. Yeah. Good job. I don't love the alternate... I mean, I'm glad they put alternate weapons in, but I think I would probably stick with the original head. I'd like the spear, actually. I don't like the axe. The spear or the sword are both pretty good. Yeah, the spear's cool. Uh, yeah, I like yeah. Maybe the let his hair down one's kind of kind of fun. That's kind of he fun. Got his helmet on though. It's like you woke me up. It's Sunday, you fox. <laughs> it's my day off. I wasn't ready. It's got outfit. I don't know why you'd ever put on just the smaller shitter helmet. Like no. who's ever going to use that? It's just a worse helmet. It's just a worse helmet, isn't it? There's just less helmet. It doesn't have the big silly ponytail though. It's got that going for it. Oh, I like the big silly ponytail. Oh, fair enough. It's super dumb. <laughs> this one looks like it's not going to break as much as the old one. Oh god, that last one. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw one not broken. No, they were always, always snapped off. Uh, well, yeah, he's cool. Cool. We got um, Morgan Ra and his electric guitar. Morgan Ra. <laughs> Morgan Ra's cool. He's pretty rad. I don't love his Kragnos rock. No. No. But he's, he's cool. He's very metal. Um, I like him. He's cool. Do you have a little reminder of the old one? I, I like the old one as well. He was one of the better Phoenix Lords, for sure. Um, so this is the one from the 90s, which is still the one you can buy today. They never changed it or updated it. Yeah, he's a bit more... He's a lot more static. He's a bit chonkier. Yeah, he feels heavier, doesn't he? Yeah. Um... It's basically the same energy, same model, just a bit. Um, where did he go? This guy's got a cool trench coat, and he's a lot more Eldari. Like, yeah. he's way more spindly. So, is it Morgan Ra? Mm. Morgan Ra is one of the, like, I think there's like three characters or three people in the game, mm. in the lore, mm. that have defeated a Tyranid Splinter Fleet by themselves <laughs> and he is one of them where he soloed an entire uh oh holy of... shit i'd never heard about that one yeah what a badass is that cool <laughs> <laughs> that great who else has done that uh dante <laughs> and some just some other fucking like space marine i think oh, wow where they're like oh yeah there's a splinter feet of this guy and everyone's dead and then they killed but he killed them all <laughs> like, cool story great really yeah <laughs> Everyone's Very. really invested in those stories. <laughs> yeah, those are the best stories. Um, but he's just the fucking best. Um, was it Dante or who's the other guy? Tycho? Not Tycho. It was, I think it was Dante. I mean, Dante did fight off a Tyranid High Fleet that attacked his homeworld, but he had like all the Blood Angels and all the successors with him. Maybe he did another one that I didn't know about. There's probably another one. Hmm. So, yeah, he's been lost in the warp for a long time. 
He went off looking for a lost craft world that he used to live on. They got swallowed up by the warp. Oh, shit. So he, he bowed out for a bit. But now he's back. It's cool. Yeah. In pog form. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, I like him too. It's a cool boy. We got um, Shining Spears. Man, the, the models are totally fine. Mm. The, the paint job on these is oh. so good. It's too white for me. Like, oh, I can't I even make out the detail. Do you oh, know what I mean? It's hard to look at. It. Oh, oh. So, like, so clean. I mean, blue and white is an awesome combo, but I would get a bit more blue in the back there to balance it out. Oh, man, Two that's white. so, so Eldari. I, man, I really, really like this. Like, how white and clean it I, is. I could never pull off this paint scheme. Oh, yeah, God, like, it'd be... It's so smooth. Um, but, man, I think they look great. Yeah, they know they look fantastic. I love the. Um, I've always liked the like Greek hoplite helmet look on Eldar. Mm. It's always looked good, even from like the eighties and nineties. I'm glad they're leaning back into it a bit more. Yeah, they're cool, cool ones. I remember like um, Shining Spears used to be like real, real spooky, real, um, real tough back in like a third ed. Yeah, they were good, but they were no one had them because they were quite expensive. They're money really wise. expensive. But I think it was like um, one. One kid I knew had some. I just remember them being like devastating on the battlefield. Yeah, where's an old? People have been converted. Oh, there's the old ones. Over there. That is the lowest res. Yeah, they were, they were pretty like. Oh sweet, they're only uh, three hundred and thirty dollars. What? Woo! What? Um. Uh. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, that feels like an error. But there they are. Yeah, much more dynamic now. They actually look like they're, you know, Lance Cavalry. Yeah. Well, like the Optus artwork guys, was always... Chairs. Yeah, before they just looked a real, real bored. Not very dynamic. Yeah, good improvement. Oh, this guy looks kind of rad. Um, yeah, I still look a bit more um, a bit jazzier. Yeah. Pretty cool. So apparently that is going to be all the new Eldar models. That's all we get. Oh. It's Guardians, Warlocks, Autark, Dark Reapers, Morgan Ra, Shiny Spears. Mm. Avatar. Oh, and the new Scouts as well. That's, that's your lot. Kind of sucks. I feel like the... They've waited like 15 years or however long it was. Striking Scorpions maybe needs an update. Yeah. Definitely the Striking Scorpions. Because um, they're so cool. I love Striking Scorpions. They're one of my favorite aspects. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty cool. And the Warp Spiders, they're still on the... Oh, those warp spiders are bad. They're, they're not any bad, but they've been around since the 90s. Like, at least the, um, we're on the third generation of all the other Aspect Warriors. Yeah, but yeah, warp spiders, though. Oof. Those models aren't great. Yeah, it would have been nice to do them. But, well, you know, there we go. That's what we got. And we've seen them all now. Pretty cool. They're not, none of them are, like, um, Doing anything crazy or unexpected, though, are they? They're all apart. Well, actually, apart from the scout bikers, they're something new and different. Yeah, I like the scout bikers. Everything else is just kind of yeah. It's just a slightly better version of what you had before. Yeah, basically, just slightly updated models. Um, cool. Well, we'll stop these damn Eldar players whinging. Ugh, we have this updated in a billion years. Yeah, now shut up for the next twenty years. <laughs> yeah, let us make some more. Primaris lieutenants, <laughs> assholes. <laughs> Apparently, that's the rumor. I watched a rumor video today. Um, after the Chaos Marine Codex comes out, mm -hmm. which is in a, like th two or three months, it's Space Marine book again. Well, part two, Electric Boogaloo, Space Marines more. What? No. Yeah. <laughs> Surely you just. <laughs> you know, the, you know, Tom, if it's my birthday, I get a present, but Tom, here's your cake as well, because Ooh. we don't want you to get sad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do Space Marine book. Oh, the plebs will buy it. Of course they will. Um, right, then they also showed off uh, this guy, who's really fun. He's kind of cool. I don't super love him. I think it's just the paint, paint scheme. If he wasn't looking like a ghoul, if they'd done him more ghostly, yeah, he'd be way more into him. He doesn't look spooky ghostly enough. Mm, he looks like a ghoul who, with surrounded in smoke. Yeah. But you give him a ghostlier paint job, and I think he's awesome with his little like lantern arm and his quill arm. Look at that paint job they've done on the pages. Yeah, that book is beautifully painted. Holy moly. So do you... Some ghosts have cloakers on, and some ghosts don't. 
do you, when you come back as a ghost, do you just come back how you were when you died? Maybe. Was this guy a nude librarian is what I'm wondering? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> and none of the other ghosts Yeah, were. yeah, yeah. He died of a really bad paper cut. <laughs> like a really bad one. <laughs> He slammed the book on his junk. Yeah, too yeah, yeah. Hard. yeah, just like <laughs> just blasted the end off and uh, just bled out. Right. That's why, like you know, his downstairs is just a fucking mess. Oh, of course, just, just a mist. <laughs> yeah, because some really bad book fucking injury. Oh, oof! Uh, and then he got impaled on a fucking chandelier. Yeah, I guess that, that probably makes more sense. Yeah, like a candelabra just. <laughs> uh, just fucking stab, stab straight through him. Oh wow. Yeah, good for him. He's got some friends. These guys are kind of kind of fun. They're all right, um, aren't they? I mean, they basically look like the, the guys we've already got, but they've got crossbows instead of like spears. Yeah, I don't really think of ghosts using crossbows, but no, it's an odd one. Is the crossbow real, or is it a ghost as well? I don't know. I feel like it must be real. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It it's sort of, belong. it's a, it's a wild, wild thing, but it's kind of fun. That guy's going, <laughs> <laughs> you got your dick cut off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. God, and this guy's like retracting his head into his cloak like a turtle because I'm pretty sure he had some kind of crossbow dick accident. <laughs> no, he doesn't want anyone to find out. Oof. Oh. Uh, but yeah, kind of cool. And then some new, new dark elves. Kind of cool. Kind of like it. I like the, the pose, the model. It's kind of weird. The head's a bit big. Yeah. The proportions are odd. Yeah. If I like the sort of like the whip going around. That's like a cool vibe. Mm. Um, and it's got like multiple anchor points, so it doesn't look as Snapatron 5000. <laughs> yeah, that's true. God, you got to be careful packing that model away. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of cool. Sure. Sure. Why not? Why not? Um, we've got uh, Big Boy. Kabrah! Kabanda. He's the um he's the super bloodthirster from the Horus Heresy that nearly kills Sanguinius. Mm. But then Sanguinius just does the old Gandalf maneuver and snaps it snaps its back on on his knee, Oof. throws it off the mountain. That's what you get for being being a Balrog. Take that. Um He's kind of cool, but I saw someone Photoshop mm -hmm. this wing. Oh, to yeah. be the other way up, and to me, it looked a thousand times better. Yeah, that's actually a really odd pose. Like, it just looked so much better having this wing. Just flip it. Just yeah. 180 degrees. Um, yeah, what's this pose meant to be? Like, why is he holding his wing like that? I guess you, could, you can change that. Also, it really feels like they need to get, like, some milliput or something and kind of smooth this base out because it really feels like there's a blob and then just flat yeah there's like, a rock there and then nothing and it feels a really more, forced bit a bit more texture yeah some other like lumps to make it look a bit less odd that's easily done like yeah but like oh god it just bothers me bothers me a little bit what is it that he's standing on i can't really make it out and it's just a heap of shit yeah. like literally just a heap of turds <laughs> and some blood angels sure Okay. Well, there we go. He's nice enough. Yeah, he's all right. He's cool. Uh, there's a new animation coming one day soon. Have you watched the trailer? Yeah. It's um, not giving much away, is it? <sighs> Could be cool. No, it's just the um, the intro. So I'm curious to see, like, it's like the title sequence. Right? Oh, right. I see. That makes more sense. Yeah, I like the idea, you know, um, mm. I think uh, the 40k universe, you could really get away with doing a, an amazing noir yeah. within that. I think it fits in perfectly, the uh -huh. idea of like, an, you know, an investigation that descends into madness in this sort of film noir style. Yeah. I think this could be really cool. It's a great concept. And it's immediately the first thing I think of when I think of like a short story in 40k. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, so. so I'm excited to see if it holds up. Yeah. Kind of curious. Check it out. Check it out. We will see. Um, we've got 
there's, oh, there's a better preview of these with all of the models instead of just one. Um, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. Um, this could be quite cool. They're going to do um, uh, a, ne a Necromunda expansion to cover like the Ash Waste Nomads. I love it. So it's kind of like Mad Max, Gorkamorka, you know, it's just scumbags driving around in ramshackle vehicles. Yeah. I wish they'd given a bit more away in this trailer. Like, there's no clue about models, really, or factions or anything, other than just it's a bit Mad Maxi. Yeah, I love love the premise. Um, super, super hot for that. Mm. Um, but I want to know what is going to be released, because if it's just going to be like, there's going to be a, a buggy and a truck mm -hmm. um, and a gang, um, and you old school Adeptus Titanicus it, and you both just have that same model. Mm. Like, sure, you can convert it, but they'll, I don't know. I, they're not going to sell something that's super modular. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I feel like they'll probably find a way to worm it into 40K to make them sell more. Like, um, although even if, even if the game's no good, these would probably make great, um, like Gene Steeler cult trucks. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, like I like the idea. Like I always liked the Ash Waste Nomads, and when they did that expansion to um, Necromunda years oh, ago. Oh god, yeah, the original ones. I had a whole bunch of these. I used them as Chaos Cultists. Um, I wish I still had them because uh, they're probably worth a fair bit of money. Um, Nope. 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 Uh, that, that green one. Uh, uh, those guys are... Oh, yeah, those guys. There we go. They're just a bunch of, like, robed, robed boys. But why are there just no good pictures of them? I think they were just super niche. They came out for, like, a year or two, and then they discontinued them. Oh, here. Here's some. Because I was working... At Games Workshop at the time, I bought hundreds of these on the on weight price. Oh, okay. It cost me like very little. But I don't think any, I think they were quite expensive for people to buy regularly. They don't look as good as I remember. They were kind of cool. One problem I had was um, uh, a lot of like basically all of them were aiming up. They were. Yeah, they were always slightly raised with their For guns. no fucking reason. But yeah. like a lot of the like they had their pistols like were always like pointing <laughs> up a little bit. Like they got like you're right, I'd forgotten. That's cool. Yeah, like that. Um and like one of the models, it had like I guess it was meant to be like a bit of like duct work or something on his mm. arm, but it made his arm just look like a slinky. Yeah, I remember him. Oh slinky arm. I always hated that fucking slinky on that guy's arm. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah. Not yeah, much to really, go on, but I'm excited to find out more. Really curious to see what um, what they do. Like, I always like the Ice Race sort of vibe. Um, Mad Max kind of combat. It's pretty cool. I'm guessing this is probably f to do with it. I, that looks like a terrain piece. Or a like, cargo at, thing that you put on the back of your truck. Or just scatter terrain or s mm. something. It's like, look how thick those straps are. Yeah. Like, that looks like a one... Like a one-piece molded chunk. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Which makes me lean more towards it being... Scenery. Uh, just because they do, like, those cheaper, yeah. like, less... Um, less detailed less, like, kits. Detailed stuff. You're right. Oh, here we go. Here's the better picture of the Corsairs. So we've got these guys, Eldar Space Pirates, for Kill Team and 40K. And I don't know. I I think they're they're fine models. There's nothing wrong with them. They're pretty cool. But my expectations has kind of ruined them for me. Because when I heard they were bringing back Eldar Corsairs, space pirates, my mind went to like a weird place, and I wanted them to be kind of really out there and wacky. Yeah, go a lot more eighties. Man, I, um, oh God, I actually really like this um, the, the crystal. Yeah, the old neural disruptor. I haven't seen that for a few years. Yeah, that used to be in like the Rogue Trader era. Uh, they're kind of cool. I feel like they, they need a bit more, a bit more life. Yeah, at the moment, they just kind of look very Dark Eldery, like just Dark Elder with the spikes filed off. 
Do you know yeah. what I mean? Well, I love this guy's helmet. Boom. Pointy <laughs> helmet and then bam, put a spike on it. Like, <laughs> that guy's great. Mm. But yeah, like that. Cool. They're kind of cool. It's nice to see something different from the Eldar. But I don't know. I, I just, in my head, I wanted something wackier. Um, like some of the artwork from the back in the day was a bit bonkers. It's kind of fun. Um, I guess they are sort of similar to this kind of stuff. But I remember, I don't know, they probably would have looked done with massive mohawks. Like oh, there, old you know? mohawk old old cool. I don't know what I wanted. Just something, something a bit wackier. This kind of guy. <laughs> That's kind of fun. There's a lot going on. Just busy. Big, big hair. Oh, <laughs> God, those helmets. They were like the first Eldar faction that was available in Rogue Trader. You could only get Eldar Corsairs. That was the first army list they had before they made, they made all the craft world rules. Mm. Um, yeah, they're, they're fine. I kind of like... Um, what was it? Was it in the, the Mummy, maybe? Where there's like the the guy when um, Im Imhotep is coming along, mm -hmm. and he holds up and he's got like a crucifix, and that doesn't work. Oh and he's yeah, got like the thing. he's got like a star of David, and he's <laughs> yeah. got a, all these different like religious talismans. That's Benny. <laughs> just like seeing which one works. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that what this person's now doing? Now that you've said that, I can't unsee it. Like a fucking, Does this fucking like crystal a demon do anything? Is coming towards them because they look a bit panicked. They're like, "Oh fuck! I hope <laughs> one of these, one of these dispels it." That's amazing. I don't like this like faceless helmet. Me neither. Look. I hate that. I hate it. A lot of the new Eldar models have it. Just with that weird like jaw piece. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So these are like a, a unit now. Like you can get troops choice and elites choice for them in the Eldar Codex. Oh, cool! And they have their own weird special rules. They've got their own funky psycho guy. You can make like an all pirate army if you wanted to. I guess. That's kind of fun. And this guy's got like a warp spider jump pack. Ooh. So he, I imagine he's basically um, Nightcrawler. Oh. Okay. X Men Troop Two intro where he's blinking in out. Oh, that's amazing! That's such a good fight. Everyone. When he's in the White House. Yeah, going to it's iconic, isn't it? It's the only the thing I think of. When you mention X-Men 2, that's the only thing I can remember from it. It's just him blinking around, whipping everyone. Yeah, yeah, like just kicking ass. It goes cool. Oh. I'd like to see what the regular armament is, because this is them loaded up as specialists for Kill Team. Right, okay. But there's alternate builds for all of them where they just oh, like, they've sure. got, just got regular guns and they're a bit less fancy. Um, be interested to see like what that looks like. Um, they've fixed the rules. The game's balanced now. They've oh done it. Oh god! I heard. I didn't really um, see a lot of what the changes were, um, but did the main thing that I saw reoccurring was people being like, "I wish just Games Workshop wouldn't even bother putting out these updates. Them putting this one out." And <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. So they made. Um the big one that everyone's complaining about is the Plague Burst Crawler, which is one of the Nurgle tanks with that mortar on yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty. It seems pretty good. So apparently, that tank's reports. just one of the best. It's not super overpowered, but it's one of the most efficient vehicles in the game. It's like good price for what it does. It's very tough. It's pretty shooty, and it's not very expensive. Yeah, it's just very efficient, um, and they just made it twenty points cheaper in this balance. Ooh. So let's not worry about fixing all the really broken stuff. Let's just make a good thing cheaper. Ooh. Oh, no, that wasn't the data. Oh, no, sorry. That was in the chapter approved. The one OK. Because that's the other thing. They've just released a chapter approved, which has got rules updates and points rebalances. And then like two weeks later, they then do the balanced data slate. It's just so many rules. How do you know where you're supposed to be getting you just all of your rules You just stack all these different things on top of each other. Like, but how do you know which thing is correct? Like, so badly organized. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Um, what the heck? And a lot of people got um, in this balanced data set, there's like FAQs for every faction. And it says all these FAQs have been updated. Look, all updated the fourth, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth. But most of these have just had stuff taken out. They haven't had anything new added. They've taken old FAQs out uh, because they, they changed something in the core rulebook. Okay. 
Um, and now some of the old FAQs are redundant, so they have to like remove them. So everyone's like, it's like, I've got my new update, but there's nothing in here that's new. That sounds... It's, it's pretty confusing. That sounds complicated. Um, it's, it's a nightmare. They're really just making an already complicated system much more complicated. Oof. Um, but anyway, there you go. At least it's better than not changing it, I guess, because... But, oh, they're not good. They're, they're not good at this. <laughs> like, they don't know yeah. how to make things work. Wow. Thanks, Games Workshop. Uh, we've, we've seen him. We've seen that. Uh, there's a Yeti. I like they've done the, the classic Bigfoot meme. That's fun. That's a fun vibe. <laughs> it's a fun um, thing. Yeah, it still kind of seems weird. Uh, also, are they Yetis or are they, are they ice trolls? Wow. I don't know. Um, yeah, he's kind of cool. He's fun. I like him. Uh, so all of that. So this open twice for some reason. Wow. Um, what else is new? A couple of new things. Uh, this new box came out, and it's really fucking expensive. Did you hear Ooh, about that? No. Um, you know the new... Yeah, Eldar versus Chos. Uh, well, Eldar versus Chaos. Um, oh. It's, um, it's £125 Ooh. for 16 models. Ooh. Which is a lot. Wow. In my opinion. Wow. Um, what else have we got? What else is new? A lot of this is just, just rules previews. Um, I'm sure there was something new we haven't looked at. I can't remember what it was. Chaos Gate's looking cool. Have you seen this? I saw, uh, like, I briefly scanned. Uh, well, I'm Andy Circus, and I voiced Andy the Circus character. Circus is in it. What? Oh, those pox walkers, holes. It's basically XCOM, will not but with Grey Knights. Yeah. You've got time units and. Hey! That guy's here. Play. 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 Drones. So. Play. 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 I can't hear this, by the way, guys. Uh, TJ, are you there? I can't hear oh. any of this. Um, oh, I could. Sure. Yeah. Um, like. Yeah. I think that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to playing that when it comes out. Oh, apparently, chat can hear it, and it's really loud. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty loud. <laughs> um. Thank you, TJ. You fixed it. Oh, this is news. Um, um, pricing update. Hooray! Most things are going to go up by about 5%, which kind of makes sense. I've, like, costs of everything have gone up by about 5% in the world. So I guess it's to be expected. Mm. But what is not expected is um, Blood Bowl teams and Metal Miniatures, among other things, are going to go up by about 20%. And there can't be many Metal Miniatures left in the range at this point. But... Wow, 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 wow. But why are books going up by 10%? Yeah, has paper gone up? I'm guessing they, they ship their books. Shipping gone up, I guess. Yeah. But yikes, I mean, it's expensive already. All this stuff's really expensive. Really expensive. It feels, feels bad to make it more expensive. There's a paper shortage. Oh, yeah, because Renal's had to have Ben's gift. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's my fault. That's why games There's so many layers. <laughs> have you given me... Have I got something like the size of a battery in here? <laughs> <You've just> like... <laughs> yeah, honestly, it gets pretty small. <laughs> uh, I've heard from Renal. <laughs> um, well, is there really, really a paper shortage? Well, there was a wood shortage a few, a few months back, so maybe that's had a knock-on effect to paper. Mm. I don't know. You know what? You know how you could get around a lot of this? If you made a really good app, mm. a really, like update it, yeah, condense all the rules into one place. Mm -hmm. like, imagine, um, that. imagine how usable that would be. Yeah, like Malifaux and did. No paper. And Bolt Action did. <laughs> and a Song of Ice and Fire did. All these things that had just this great system. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if only there was some other way. 
If only they'll sell the printing books. How else can you send out rules only to update them two weeks after you've sent them out? <laughs> or update them before. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Maybe what they could do is print them very, very small, right? Ooh. So the book is tiny and uses much less paper. Okay. And then they can sell you like special magnifying, like they can call them like Mechanicus ocular implants, nice. right? Okay. Brand them up, like get them yeah. etched in brass, mm. and then you can read them because you've got like these like telescopes on your eyes, microscopes. Okay, you can read is, the microfiche. This with. is good, but I've got it better. Oh, okay. Right, so you do that. Not mm. only is it small, so um, costs are down. Costs are down. Yeah. But you um, you have like one page done in like red ink, one in like the blue ink, one in the green. So then with your special ocular thing, you have <laughs> yeah. to like click a lens to go to page two. And if you don't have the exact Games Workshop one, right. you won't be able to read you it. You won't be able to read it, so no knockoffs allowed. Exactly. And so everyone has to have this big complicated headgear. <laughs> yeah. They get to feel like a tech priest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you get to read your little thing. Your and tiny little booklet. Super, oh super God. useful. And, you know, People got to pay for that. Yeah. And yet it costs you less to print. Mm -hmm. oh. Genius. Smart. Genius. But you know, you guys won't save any money, obviously. Oh, no, no, no. In fact, it will get a lot more expensive. Because there's a, there's a gear in there when you go clunk and it chunks and it changes your lenses. Mm -hmm. Like that's only got about a thousand presses in it before oh, it wears Oh yeah, it's going to break real quick. And um, once you open it, it like voids your warranty. Yeah, because you're wearing it. You can't then return that. Can't return that. That's and disgusting. You, and no repairing it. No. Buy a new one. Mm -hmm. Well, no, every new edition, you um, change the like inks, so you have to get different lenses, right? Yeah, of course, you every edition. You've got to keep edition. updating the lenses. <laughs> Easy. Easy. It doesn't even need Easy. to break, then. It doesn't even have to break. <laughs> we just make these idiots buy more of them. <laughs> Perfect. Every, new, every season, new headset. I'm in. Perfect. I'm told. I'm told. Wow. Ridiculous. Oh... I love it. I love it. There we go. But you know what? Starter set's not going up in price. And all the things that other companies compete with them on. <laughs> yeah. You can buy your paints and brushes at other places, so I guess we can't put those prices up. Are they put the cost of their glue up, though? I guess so, yeah. So I saw a thing today mm -hmm. of um, the last time Games Workshop increased the price on their glue. Oh, yeah. They didn't tell anyone, but it's because it's the same size bottle. Oh, they've put half as much in. There's literally half as much glue in. Shrinkflation, it's called. When you and buy like a chocolate bar and it's like 20% less chocolate bar, but it's the same price. Well, it went from 20 mils of glue mm -hmm. to 12 mils. So it's not quite half. Oh, um, but still, from, but it's the exact off. same bottle that oh, they sell shit. it in. So no one knew that they and were just getting gypped. It just says like tiny oh. little letters. Um, and but it went up in price. But, but that's a huge increase from twelve to, from twenty down to twelve. That's yeah. like a sixty percent markup, effectively, or forty percent. Um, fucking hell! Dirty dogs. Dirty dogs. For shame. So yeah, not cool. Um, but at least the Aussies and New Zealanders are being spared this time. This time. Because they are already paying like 40% more than everyone else. So there's some saving grace there. Oh Good shit. Job. Oh yeah, I said something you shouldn't say anymore. I forgot about that. We forget that words have other meanings that I forget exist. Oh no. Sorry, I apologize for that. That's an old habit. <gasps> Oh no! Uh, this, uh, Is that I was, something I can't say as well? No, 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 no I had uh, uh, thought of a funny, funny tangent to go down, but thought actually maybe we'll save this for off the stream. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe we'll just uh, go off the stream. <laughs> maybe um, maybe uh, we'll uh, have a. Do you want a, a quiz question, Ben? Quiz? Can I? Oh, can I open a present? Yes, <laughs> yes, we can. Uh, you've got to answer a question though. All right, I'll try and find like, ooh, what's a what's a tough one? Uh, okay. Lord High Militant. Oh, that sounds like hard level. That's like way above Trooper. Lord High Militant. Uh, we're going to do Chaos. Just because I've got that page. Chaos Space Marines. Chaos Space Marines! Uh, ooh! Okay, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, what kind? <laughs> if you get this right, my God, we'll be very impressed. Uh, what type of app human chaos renegade would you be mm -hmm. if you rolled a 70 on the renegade starting profile table? <laughs> you got what? <laughs> Get at that question again? What type of app human chaos renegade would you be if you rolled a 70 on the renegade, the chaos renegade starting profile table? I don't even know what book or rules that's from. Me neither. Chaos renegade attributes starting starting, starting profile table <laughs> that's not from a regular book that might be from some kind of weird spin-off white dwarf game or something <laughs> but knows? that doesn't feel like it's from a hard, from a main 40k book oh i'm gonna say um uh cloven hooves Oh, sadly not but oh. it's um uh ogren major hero oh wow so you didn't you didn't quite get that one. Oh. Uh, didn't quite get that one. No, for my present. Okay, you can try again. Um, what about this one? Uh, where are the two copies of the Book of a Thousand Suns held? Where are what? Where are the two copies of the Book of a Thousand Suns held? The Black Library. <laughs> Ooh, one copy is in the black oh, library. Okay, okay. And, and where's the other? Oh. Either Araman has it or the Inquisition has it. Those are going to be my guesses. Oh, sadly not. Is it neither? No, it's held by Magnus the Red on the planet of Sorcerers. Oh, he, he's like Magnus's dad. He's like Araman's dad. <laughs> yeah, but... It's not Araman, though, is it? He's not Araman, though, is he, <laughs> Shit. The original book nerd himself. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, fine. You can have one more chance. Oh. Who said, though my guards may sleep and my ships may rest at anchor, our foes know full well that the big guns, guns never, never tire. tire. I know the quote. Was it Lord Solar Macarius? No. Oh. It's Luthoron, the tyrant of Badab. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> Fine. Shit. Do you need an easy? Do you need an easy one? Fine. What's the first? Wow. What's the first chaos question? Because it seems like you're struggling with the, the hard ones. Uh, oh wow! Oh no, that's, that's not. That's not. Has it. anyone donated to let me have a have a present? What? Can I get out of answering questions with? No, you have. You still out? have to answer questions. Oh, what? Making you answer questions is fun. It makes me feel smart <laughs> because it seems like I know the answers when actually I have to look it up. In this awkward back of the book thing. Uh. What? What? That doesn't seem right. What doesn't seem right? Right, I've got the question. Trooper section. Answers. Mm -hmm. Trooper section. Chaos Space Marine. God, is there like two Chaos Space Marines? Oh, no, okay, right, yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. Turns out I'm the idiot, Ben. Oh, who could have guessed? Uh, okay, right, we'll do, give you an easy one. Um, ooh, that seems hard. How many obliterators can be in a single obliterator cult? Somewhere between three and nine, I'd guess. <laughs> mm. Ooh, you're wrong. It's up to three. <laughs> that, was, that was easy. Was it? Uh, That's when they were little weenie obliterators as well. Could you have them on their own? I thought little, it was a minimum of three. Little babby boys. Shit. Do you remember how bad they were? I love those models. How dare you? I think they're cool. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah. Which of the four chaos gods don't do the... Don't patronize me, Tom! <laughs> Which of the four chaos gods do the Death Guard worship? Can you answer that one, Ben? Can you answer that question? Nurgle. <laughs> You're right, Ben. You're right. I don't feel right. Um, this little guy. I like these guys. How, did, how could you only have three of those in a unit? They're teeny tiny. I can understand only having like three of these boys. I don't really like those ones as much. No, I don't either, but like, I'm just, I'm just surprised. The, the era between those two are great. 
like are really really nice. But these ones. Yeah, although I prefer like scroll up like that guy. I like these guys. I really like these models. Like the top bit, not as much, but like mm. the hands, like the actual like yeah. guns Just growing out coming out of meat. <laughs> Real cool. But they do have their charms. <laughs> <laughs> no charm at all. Oh, they're cool. How do you not like them? Look at their fun faces. <laughs> gun mouth. <laughs> gun mouth. He's got gun eyes, gun chest, like just, oh, real cool. I like them. I really like them. Okay. I think they're great. Well, you're wrong, but that's all right. We can still be friends. You're wrong. <laughs> uh, well, you got your question correct Yay! by answering who does the death guard worship. You may open, open the layer. <laughs> oh, that was part of the last layer. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't count. Or, or is some of the layers empty? No, there should be a thing. There you go. I couldn't fully alternate colors because... Uh... Woo! Ronald is with me! Woohoo! Hooray! It worked! Boom. We're up to only a failure of 33% <laughs> of the party poppers. <laughs> Ooh! What did you get? I got Gene Stealer Cult Dicey! Wow, Ben! Oh, Ronald truly is with you! Because Ronald loved dice! Ronald is a big fan of dice. <laughs> you know, he's all about luck! Oh, thank you, Ronald. That's and a cool present. I really actually like most of the dice. Games Watch Your Make, I don't really like. But I like these ones because the white and the purple contrast really well. White and purple high contrast. Also, um, I think Ronald heard you had a little Gene Stealer army. I do have a Gene Stealer cult army, and now wow. I've got the dice to go with them. Wow, Ronald, what a good boy. What a good boy. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. That is a lovely present. Bam. Wow. Yay, and there's more layers to come. <laughs> there's a lot more layers to come. <laughs> My god. What the hell? Oh um, You're the best. Uh, so, what is... Um, what are we I, doing? I think we've... I've got a couple of outside of the box. Oh, There's sure. some miniatures I thought you'd like. Show me. Uh, we've got... This guy's kind of fun. He's Ooh. kind of like Wizard-type fellow. He's got the old, um, like, uh, Renaissance trousers going on over his armor. That's cool. But he was fun. So he has his little uh, sort of bondage heretic at his feet. Yep. Yep, he's going to let them go one day. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe just yeah. drag them around. Who knows? Okay, sure. Uh, we got oh, this. Oh, those are great. Fucking rad death copter. They look amazing. It's great. Um, sadly, they will come in a 10,000 pieces. 10,000 pieces, of course. Ooh, a boat. Uh, that thing's pretty crazy. Wow. And that's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, look, they got the Starship Trooper oh, Birds. Oh, that's cool. They're pretty cool. I watched this the other day, actually. Oh man, that movie's great. I was in the mood for like a real stupid 80s, 90s like action fest. But I'd seen like Total Recall and Robocop in the last couple of years. So I went back to watch the Starship Troopers. It's just a real fun movie. It's great. It's got everything, like as a kid, hmm. everything a growing boy needs. There's fighting, there's space battles, titties. Yeah. Boom. Scathing satire of fascism. Yeah. Some, like, <laughs> Everything funny, the growing boy some needs. Funny quips. Like, some oh. amazing one liners. Just really good. Um, great. Yeah. Love it. Is this Orc? Have you seen this Orc, Tom? Oh, is it's this Drop Zone Commander? It's yeah. still going. Still going. And it still looks the same. Like, if you told me these models came out 10 years ago, I'd believe you. Yeah. God, that thing looks fucking dumb as heck. Yeah. Is it going to be like a railgun or something? No, no, like it, like it's flat, sure, nice low profile, and then like mm. whoop, whoop. Sure. I always loved the terrain that they made for the boards. Yeah, the terrain was always good. Like when they did the big overgrown cities, they looked really fucking good. Uh, Ooh. These girls, like, um, look at this guy help propping up the keyboard. They are amazing. This guy being like the speaker. That yeah, the microphones blasting out of. Oh shit! I love the drummer, like the sort of marching bands. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Human skin drum. Wow, is that literally? That's a butt plug on oh, a dildo. Oh, you're right. I didn't spot that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I love it. Super good. Super cool. Okay. There you go. There's your noise marines right They're there. Fucking rad. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's really cool. 
<laughs> Big fan. Um, some teeny tinies. Renegade oh, Militia. Oh, they're cute. Pretty cool. Good luck painting those red eyes on six mil miniatures. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> not for me. <laughs> um, got some oh, boats. boats. Got this guy. Little dwarf, Little looking, dwarf. At a, looking at a rock. I'm praising that? a gem. We've got more... More Napoleons. Oh, shit. Got like engineers, marines, old guard, grenadiers, all that oh, kind of stuff. Oh, cool. Although pff, I would be hard pressed to tell the difference between um, all the different infantries. Yeah. And, um, cool. We've got some kilt kiltsmen. Nice, yeah. I'm painting um, 10 mil tartan. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean, Tom? What's wrong with painting 10 mil tartan? God, I tried painting fucking tartan on 28 mil. <laughs> yeah. And almost fucking blew my brains out uh, <laughs> yeah, doing god they, they do look cool though they are nice man these models are really good like I need to sit down and actually paint some yeah we've got a few of them we need to try them out we need to get some bases yeah we might have to like order some from somewhere else yeah. this way, I think uh, there's, and there's this orc that who's a special boy awesome <laughs> that's such a cool such a cool style it's kind of dumb though isn't it no I, I, I like how dumb it is. It's got like an old school vibe, but it feels like it could fit in. I love the stupid way of holding the gun, the old like quilted armor. Like I really like that sort of style. Mm. I think it's awesome. I wish they did squads of these guys. Well, these guys do. Hardcore miniatures, apparently. They actually do squads of them. Uh, well, I guess this is a preview of a digital sculpt, so I'm guessing they're not making them yet. Um, but they do, um, do some orcs. Look, you got these um, like tank tank buster boys. Rocket hammer, honestly, one of the coolest weapons. Yeah, rocket hammer that, is amazing. That just ever could exist. You got this guy. These guys are cool. It's like uh, he's got tank track loincloth. Oh, that's nice. The thing out of commando. Love it. Oh, he looks so fucking good. Man, I've not um, I don't think I've been on this site before. They've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, go back to the main page. They've got some really goofy stuff too. Um. They've got like um, these marvelous orcs, which are like Marvel boys. They've got like a Ghost Rider orc. Ooh. It's kind of fun. Oh, he's awesome. What should they say? Orksome. Orksome. Uh, I haven't looked at all their stuff though. They've got. Let's see some space dwarfs. Yeah. Yeah, they're. Well, they're space dwarfs. Not as dumb as squats. They look a bit more sensible. Um, not sure what, what the else. fuck are cyber animals? Why are we clicking on that? <laughs> Why do we instantly go to cyber animals? I don't know. I was just, uh, just having a look around. Where are the cyber animals? What's Heroes Never Die? Is that like undead heroes? Let's have a look. Oh, they've uh, only got one cyber animal, but he's fucking awesome. <laughs> what? It's the cyber moose. Course. He's here to wreck your shit. Why the fuck are you, would you make this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe someone commissioned it. Maybe there's like a Canadian out there who <laughs> really wanted the Cyber Moose. <laughs> what? Why? I don't understand. I, it's, it's really nicely done. And it is a cool model. I just don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea. Why not? Why not? <laughs> sure. Um, oh, look, they got like Sirius Sam and Duke Nukem, and Doom uh, Guy, and um, Mr. Half Life. Sure. Got a Frogman. Oh, from Battletoads. Yes. Yeah. Nice. All sorts of stuff here. Okay, cool. Here you go. Sure. Outside of the box. Yeah, I like that goofy, goofy orky. Are there any? I think there was one more huh? that you'd love. There's Bear. He's happy to be here. Oh, there's some really cool models in the Bushido ring. Yeah, they do have nice stuff. Um, where are the ones I was thinking of? Seen oh, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> just, just popping up. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. It's me, Cyber Moose, <laughs> the model you never knew you wanted. I thought this guy was kind of oh, cool. Oh, he's awesome. Like some kind of alternate town commander with like anime sword. It's oh, I seemed like he was like out of his. Um... Oh, is it far sight when he's out of his battle suit? Yeah, sure. That makes sense. Yeah, because it's the the shield and the sword. You're right. You're I don't totally know if right. He's animeing that sword. Maybe. 
No, you're right. That's just fuck it. Just use that model as your as farsight, farsight on a f- <laughs> like put it on a 40, 40 50 mil. mil base. Yeah, kind of funny. That would be cool. Uh, there's ninjas, yeah. and now oh, we saw the full version of that. Oh, that poor guy. He's having a real bad time. Or having an amazing time. Well, maybe he's loving no, it. Don't kick sing. That's true. If he's into it, good for him. We got these guys who are like the real classic rogue oh, trader heavy guys, weapons. These guys boys. actually look much cooler. Weirder proportions. And the the quilting. Same quilted armor again. Love, yeah. love old school quilting. And I thought you might like this guy. Oh, the Umbrella Academy. Did you watch that? No, I watched the first like two or three episodes and then just didn't get into it, so I stopped. The first season was kind of good. The second season, it kind of dragged. And then they had a massive cliffhanger. Oh, and then it got cancelled? I don't know. They might be making another one. But literally, the cliffhanger that they had at the end of the second season mm-hmm. was more... Like, seeing that made me... I was more interested in that than anything that happened in that entire season. Oh, my God. Like, mate. the premise that they put in that cliffhanger. Um, yeah. This guy's kind of cool. Kind of a bit Metal Gear. It's very big. It's very Metal Gear, isn't it? It's Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And I think that's all I've got for you. Oh, no, we got we got Grot pooping into a bucket. I've got, oh, well, first Ooh, of all, we've got this. Ooh, he's cool. Yeah, we've honestly. seen him. That looks great. Um, oh, oh, that dock. Oh, we've seen these guys before. We have seen these guys, actually. You're right. Looks great. Um, where's the old poopy Grot? There he is. Poop. There you go. Just some guardsman is getting shouted at by a commissar somewhere for losing his bucket. <laughs> yeah. And this goblin is just um, having like a fun little to think. fun little poopy time. What was the thing? thing? That guy's kinda cool. Hmm. That could be some kind of penitent engine quite easily, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Looks rad. <gasps> Ooh. Tiny boat. Tiny boat. Tiny toys. Very cool. Cool. And that's that's all what was new in Warhammer last week, I think. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. But you know what it is time for now? Tell me. It's the fantabulous adventures of Blorko. Oh, my God. Uh, have, what what were we doing with Blorko? We haven't seen Blorko for literal weeks. It's been literally a thousand years. What's Blorko up to? Here he is. He's very blue now. He used to be quite a pink boy. And now he's a blue boy. He's blue. Blah, blah, bleep, 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 bloop. He's got a big old mace. He's got his snappy tail with all the mouths. And um, he's got the head. What casts purple sun? <laughs> That's all he needs. <laughs> That's all he needs. The Adventures of Blorko. Um, what's his Blorko's world looking like these days? Okay, let's have a look. So Blorko's got 18 units with him, including his grand heroes of Power Core and BJ Roth. Oh, and um, Troy Bone. So he's got. He needs a Nurgle friend. And then he's got the power, all the Power Rangers with him. Nice, okay, yeah, the um, Planeteers. Mm. And he doesn't really have any good line infantry. He needs some of that too. He's um, he's just yeah. sacked Toddy's house. Nice. To see if we can summon him. Summon the Elect Count. Um, we've also got Grey over here. Okay, I see there's a lot of enemies around here. Um, doing some recruiting. And we've got Sonic Firestorm over here. Holding out, trying to hold out on this siege. Mm. Look, we've got um, we're being besieged by furries and marauder champions. Quite a lot of bad boys by there. Um, so it's fine. As soon as um, as soon as Grey is finished recruiting, we'll uh, we'll go over there and save the day. Uh, can we get boss fifty now? Yes, we can. We can. We're gonna take this all the way, son. Uh, we can't go all the way, but we can do another. It's like. Tw- I think we can go up to turn 100 now. I think it's turn 100 now. So we've got we've got a whole load uh, load, load more space to uh, maneuver around. And what have we got in terms of territory? Let me remind myself. So we've got the uh, Trollheim Mountains around here, which is like the main part of our empire. Ooh. And we've got the second territory over here, going on Trollheim, and the Ice Tooth Mountains. That's mm. right. So we got like a big payday from raiding the empire. Yeah. Um, yeah. We got paid 20 grand uh, by Chaos. Which is pretty sweet. So we've just done a massive upgrading program on all of our buildings. That's nice. We've only got the two territories, though. Okay, and what are our quests? Um, 
A mighty fortress, what's that? Get a tier five building, fine. Uh, construct an outpost, fine. Defeat six human armies. Can we do that? How many have we done already? Doesn't say. Okay. Um, carry an assassination attempt. Uh, earn 3,000 glory. Join a confederation. And have an income of three grand. Okay, that's kind of doable, isn't it? And the next time the portals open, we have to really get in there. Yeah. Because we didn't do it last yeah, time. Yeah, because a lot of people have kind of started doing that. Uh, oh, God, we've got two buffs going on that are reducing our upkeep. So when they both end, we might be in trouble. Sure, we'll be fine. What have we got Just running around our land? Rubbish. Got a few shit armies. That one big army of furries. No! That's a shit army. Okay, lots of tiny little armies running around. It's fine. And then we'll just do a quick, quick diplomo check. Um, anyone want a non-aggression pact? Clan mold will do, but the um, everyone hates them, right? Yeah. So we won't do that. Uh, anyone want a military access? No. Flaneshi Herald. No. Okay. Cool. We're in the game. Have we had Very any? Cool. Beautiful donors. Mm. Any lovely people wanted to help me open my Christmas present? My birthday present. Uh, we have. We have done. Um, I need to sign into a different sheet. Um, also, we might need to go on a little break. Oh, wow. Um, is it break time already? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um. Oh. Okay, yeah. And we need, um, we need TJ to sign into the, the big spreadsheet of name -a name -a -thon. Yeah. That's um, all those things and more. Um, but yeah, we might take a quick um, five minute break. Mm -hmm. and we'll be back. We'll be celebrating Ben's birthday. There will be some Your Hammer or Law Hammer coming up. <gasps> wow, 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 wow. Very exciting. Um, I, know, I hope you're excited. I know I am. Um, so yeah, we'll see you very soon. We'll be mm. through your messages. We'll be playing some Blorco, killing some dudes. Just having oh. just a great old Tom and Ben War Hammer time. I can't wait. I can't wait. Why are you making me wait? See you soon. Ben, ba ba ben, ba ba ben. Tom, 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 ta da tom, ta da tom. Ben, ben, ben. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. We did it. Ben's belated birthday bonanza. Ben's belated birthday. Can I put another layer, Tom? If you can answer a question, then yes. <laughs> Let me find the answers. Then yes. Then yes, you can. Um, ooh, well, I'm all about Dark Angels. You fucking ooh, love Dark Angels. I know some things about Dark Angels. I might so get that one right. If you get these wrong, then it means that you're fake. Uh, okay. Cool. High Lord Militant section. Mm -hmm. um, wow, that seems God, I fuck, that seems easy. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna skip it because it's too easy. <laughs> Which vehicle does the Master of the Ravenwing ride into battle? Oh, do you mean Samuel? He rides a jet bike, but he used to also be able to allow to be riding a land speeder. I need one of those. No, but there's models for both. Yes, but... Jet bike and land speeder. Mm, well, uh, this book has one answer. <laughs> so... Oh, fuck. Well, I, I'm pretty sure the land speeder one came out first and then the jet bike one. Um, so if I have to pick one, I'm going to say land speeder. You're correct! Hooray! It's a land speeder! Oh, that was close. I was worried. You can do it. You can open a layer, Ben. Yay! Well done. Happy birthday, Ben Bonanza. Oh, I pulled my, pulled my cable out. What the heck? Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, sweet. You got a birthday onion. What? Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Think of all the things you could do with a birthday onion. Is this some kind of weird Thomas child a birthday tradition. onion oh man just did you used to get onions for your every, birthday just think time. of god almost every meal 
God, you could put an onion in every meal. Well, you, I guess you can. And they usually make it better, but not always. Oh, but almost. Any savoury <laughs> meal, <laughs> yeah. boom, use an onion. Don't, don't put one in your trifle. No, savoury meals. <laughs> oh, oh, birthday onion. That's amazing. And there's a card <gasps> from Simon Lane of the Yox Cars. Wow. It's him riding a pig. What the heck? A, oh, man, a birthday onion and a card? <gasps> it's a law hammer. Whoa! Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Necron play or Krabnos is real? Oh, okay. What does this mean, Tom? So these are the two categories. I'm does closing down mean? chat. Close down chat. Oh, they're going to help me cheat in Lawhammer or Your Hammer, birthday edition. So, birthday edition. Don't. No, you've got to save that. Oh, what? And that's a good onion. You is know, it? chop it up, put it in, okay. you know, a bolognese. I, have to say, I can't eat it now. I've put save it, it for later. You've got to save it for later. Oh. Um, can't do anything nice on my birthday. You can uh, that and um, some some celery Ooh. and a, a carrot. Boom! What have you got? <gasps> Something slipped out. What? <laughs> what slipped out? Was this going to be on this layer or the other layer? That's on a different layer. That's on a different layer. Know, so I didn't see it. There was, just, <laughs> it was just a heavy thing. It's a heavy thing. There's a heavy thing in the next layer. Uh, congratulations, you, you, you did it. Um, okay, so Hit birthday. me with some law hammer, birthday law hammer. Right, what were the choices again? So in law hammer or your hammer, there's two stories about Warhammer law, one of which is 100% true and accurate, and the other one is just made up bollocks that Tom thought of. What did I write down on the You wrote card? down uh, Necron play or Krabnos is real. Okay, so Ben, let me take you on an adventure. <gasps> A mind journey. So, Hit right, me. the choices are. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the Necrons. Um, they. Uh, no, I need your full attention. Oh, I was just going to. Since you this is going to be going for a little while, I thought we'd, everyone could look at Blorco. Oh, nice. Because then there's less screaming as well. <laughs> less screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Which is nice. Uh, so, right, a lot of the Necrons have been awake for a long time. Mm -hmm. And they get, they get really bored. Oh. And so, are you familiar with the War of the Heavens, or the War yeah, in the Heavens? Yeah, War in the Heavens. That's when the Necrons and the Old Ones went to war, before humans even existed. So, it's a classic, classic tale. Mm. Um, so, the Necrons, you know, to entertain themselves, they decided to recreate that in play form. Ooh! And uh, so they have Necrons playing all of the parts, <laughs> and like Necron High Lords, they come along and they watch this play. Okay. And it lasts about a century. Wow. To tell the entire entire story. Oh my um, god! Uh, from start to finish, so, and you turn up and you have to watch the whole thing in one sitting. Mm -hmm. You have to sit uh, there for a hundred years, literally a hundred years, and watch the they, longest play ever. They do the play of the War in the Heavens, and the reviews are it's all right. <laughs> it's, it's okay. So hang on, who's acting in this? Necrons. Other Necrons. Necron theater Necrons. But are they like? Are they like Necron warriors? Are yeah. they just like programmed? Does someone put in there like, now I'll say your line. Sure. And then Necron just comes out and goes, there was once a great war in <laughs> the then. heavens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you got to fill a, a hundred years right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining it's like on the level of a school nativity play. Yeah, yeah, that. Like but... a Necron warrior shuffles out. <laughs> it's like, Awkwardly. many years ago. Many years ago. <laughs> There were frogmen <laughs> and necrons. <laughs> now let us see. And then like a necron comes down on a wire. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> it is bad! I am a stupid old one and I smell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's it. I love it. I want that one to be true. That's tale number one. Okay. Uh, tail. Oh, do the flayed ones put on the costumes? Oh my god, flayed <laughs> they put ones on their meat suits. Meat costumes. That'd be perfect. That'd be great. You can play all the Eldar. Oh, that'd be really good. Mm. So, yeah, that's story okay. number one. Story number one. Um, story number two mm -hmm. uh, Krabnos is actually real. I need a little more explanation than that because in our mind, Krabnos is the giant crab that once fought Kragnos. Mm -hmm. And um, there's not, we don't know a lot of lore about Krabnos other than he's a giant crab who is a great rival to. Staple of Warhammer lore, Kragnos. So, Kragnos is not his name. It's like Leviathron. <laughs> uh, okay. And so there is meant to be a giant crab mm -hmm. that lives in the sea outside of Marienburg. 
Okay. And uh, is apparently the size of Marienburg. Ooh. And some chaos cultists once tried to summon him, but failed. And all they did was uh, manage to summon one of his, like, spawn. <laughs> right. Uh, which was still a pretty big <laughs> right. mutant crab. Sure. Um, but there is a giant world-ending crab that lives in the Warhammer world. Wow. And this isn't even Age of Sigma. This isn't Age of Sigma. This is Warhammer Fantasy. Oh, my God. Where uh, there's meant to be a giant crab. And because they summoned its child, mm -hmm. that means it's real, even though this thing is a legend. Right. I see. Okay. And what its kid was just like a, like a building-sized crab. Just a big uh, tentacle-covered crab crab monster wow i want the necron story to be true because it's dumb mm -hmm. um but i feel like krabnos is probably true of course krabnos is true we've been talking about him for so <laughs> long then. such a long time but there is there's like warhammer fantasy role play source book set in marienburg that would have mentioned like a random cult that worships a crab that feels like it's probably warhammer lore it's not as silly. It doesn't have Necrons doing a uh, nativity play <laughs> yeah. of the old gods. Uh, the old ones. Um, Kremlo might be there. He's he's a <laughs> he's plan, an old one. <laughs> yeah, sure. Kind of. So kind he of. might he might feature <gasps> Kremlo cameo. Oh my god! Like, you're making me choose between Kremlo and Krabnos. <laughs> exactly. How could exactly. you do this to me, Tom? So They're like my children. Yeah. I can't decide. I'm go with my gut. Because my gut's sometimes full of shit. But not today. I should have gone with my gut with Shiv. Oh, yeah. Snappy Shiv. That's where I, I made my mistake. So I'm sticking to my guns today. Boom. Krabnos is real. Necrons. Oh. Stupid. Oh. You're wrong, man! No! <laughs> no, the Necron play is real. <laughs> that is actually. Does it really a, last centuries? That it literally lasts over a century. <laughs> Um, and it's just kind of all right. <laughs> and it's, eh, it's okay. I think <laughs> yeah. that's the review tr tries and the infinite or one of the goofy Necron Lords went to see it <laughs> right. and comes out. I was like, eh, it was okay. <laughs> yeah. But they had nothing else to do. And it's, you've <laughs> right. got a, sure. a, a century to kill. So fuck it. Yeah. Let's just go and see that play. <laughs> yeah. um, whereas no, the crab nose thing is completely made up. Oh. But you fell into the trap. I said it at Marienburg because there is the Marienburg source book. That I haven't read. <laughs> <laughs> that you haven't read. I but thought, I like, did the same to you. I made up a story <laughs> about a spooky poop demon that lived in a house in Marienburg. Yeah. Um, but, and I said it there on purpose yeah, to yeah, bait you with the Warhammer and fantasy. And it feels like something that could be a Warhammer fantasy <laughs> yeah. roleplay thing. You could just picture them. Ah, it's like the 80s. Yeah, they'd probably be something like that. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A boom! Oh, you played me. You played me like a fiddle. One point to Tom. Oh, well played, sir. Uh, well Ronald was Ronald was with me uh, was on uh, this part of the day. Mm. Um, <laughs> pow! <laughs> You're welcome. Poop demon is real. No, not the poop demon I described. The haunted there's, toilet. That there's was other poop demons. <laughs> yeah. um, it's in the infinite and divine. Boom. I've heard a few bonkers stories from that book. I should probably read it. So it's meant to be quite like a, a silly one. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of, I feel like I should do it. I feel like I should check that one out as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, well done, sir. Well done. I feel like because I, I won that, I'm allowed one of your little brownies. Yeah, that seems fair. Because I'm, yeah. I'm a good boy. You've been a very good boy. Well done. They're good brownies, actually. Yeah, and they Compliments good. to Ronald. Ronald did very well uh, getting these. Man, it's like brownies covered in an extra layer of chocolate. Mm. What the heck? Mm. Delicious. Yeah, and we know the haunted toilet had a miniature. That's what inspired the story. And then we had a good laugh at the miniature afterwards. Demon Doesn't make the story true, though. <laughs> Um, I think all of our units are done, so we can end turn. Ooh. We can go into the unknown ground of turn 51. Uh, someone points out that I should be allowed a bite of the birthday onion. <laughs> no, not, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to steal too many of your gifts. <laughs> I'll settle with just a bit of brownie. Okay, but, good. Man, good. So More lucky. onion for me then. <laughs> so lucky to get a birthday onion. <laughs> oh, um, Slanesh friend. Sure. Why not? Sure. Be a Slanesh friend. Hmm. Uh, so we do have some very generous donations. Uh, oh, we do. Super kind. 
Let's read some. Uh, like one from Symbolic Stance here. Thank you, Symbolic Stance. Uh, who do you think it's five bucks? Thank you. Mm. Is it Tom and Ben? Is it true Blorko made a Faustian bargain with Zinch for his demon hood, dooming all future Doomborns to death by treacherous visions from Zinch? <gasps> oh my god. Like that, that could be could be law. That sounds it's it's now it is now law. That's right, Blorko is the Doomborn origin story, basically. Wow. He's doom he's damned the whole line. Wow. That's deep. Uh they say also check out Twisted Gentle Folk Lancer Minis. It's a combo of two of Tom's favorite things. Oh, okay. For like not doing stuff <laughs> and <laughs> ass. Is that, is that the combo? That's the combo. Oh my God. Oh my Ooh, God. Look at that guy. He's actually pretty, pretty fucking cool. He's model. a Napoleonic centaur man. And also Mecha Horse. Mecha Horse is always fun. <laughs> yeah, because it's so complicated. It's so complicated. <laughs> if you have the technology to make Mecha Horse, you could probably make something much better. Wow, these guys are pretty fucking rad, rad, actually. Yeah. I like Oh, that. I like that guy with a little chimney oh, snack and yeah. his bowler hat. Oh, these are fun. <gasps> Sergeant Clark oh reporting God, that me. for duty. That's you with your four arms. I feel like I've seen that before. I have seen that model before somewhere, yeah. Oh, these guys are kind God. of legit. They're amazing. Oh, I'm sort of into it. Oh, they're rad. Wow. Centaurs. Very fun. Mechanical robo centaur men. Ooh. I like him a lot. It's awesome. It's really cool. Good shit. Nice. We'll look at these later. Yeah, we'll have to check out the whole range. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Weird nanny bot. <laughs> yeah. Bong, bong, <laughs> bong. Okay. It's lubrication time, children. <laughs> oh, God. Bong, bong, bong. Oh, okay, yeah, because they're robots, right? <laughs> yeah, because they're robots. They're robots. <laughs> yeah. Very different. It's different. It's different. It's robots. Fine. Robots need oil. It's fine. <laughs> um. Oh, thank you so much. Ooh, look at this. Honey Monster went up to rank seven. Wow. Very good work, Honey Monster. What the hell? Have they been with us from the beginning? Yeah, I think so. Good job. Good job. Uh, right, now we destroy Marienburg. I mean, Middenheim. Nice. Yeah, because Kravnos needs to destroy Marion. <laughs> yeah, we'll save that one for him. Um, oh, we got a 7% movement speed thing I need to give to someone. That's always good. Uh, Vidask donates 10 bucks. Thank you, Vidask. Thank you, Vidask. They say, chop me up. Uh, I'll get to play this myself soon. Ooh. But until then, I guess I'll have to live vicariously through you two bumbling fools. You shall. It's very true. Bumble we will. Thank you for Dusk. Thank you for Dusk. Uh, Tony of Earth. Uh, it takes 10 bucks. Thank you, Tony of Earth. Thank you, Tony of Earth. They say, Boris Tombringer and Benthazar Gelt. Mm. Looking forward to the return of Blorko. Finishing up some Necrons for my first 40k tourney this month whilst watching. Ooh. Chop me up for chaos and let my fish hands bring us glory. Ah. Oh, thank you very much. We'll put you on the wheel, sir. Fish hands. Fish very, hands are the best very hands. Glorious. Very powerful. All glory for fish hands. Um, and good luck in your tourney. Yeah. Hope Enjoy it. Necroning about. Hope it goes well. Don't let your turn take 100 years. <laughs> nice. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Most privileged of uh, Gabriel of Nottingham. Did it's five bucks. Thank you, Gabriel. Oh, thank you. And they say, didn't think you wouldn't be here when I called you General Melchick, Tom. And what definitely didn't know it was your birthday when I called you Season 1 Blackadder Ben. Um, well, oops. You still said it, and I will never forgive you. He's uh, the worst Blackadder, Tom. No, it is the worst one. Also, uh, General Melcher. Man, I'll take that. Oh, yeah. He's having a great time. Just Exactly. Just <laughs> yeah. tons of fun. That's ex literally who I'd want to be. <laughs> yeah, if I had to be anyone in Blackadder, definitely General Melcher. Yeah. Because he just is never punished. He never has any consequences for his actions. No. Does whatever he feels like all the time. Exactly. Just and, um, just, yeah, just having a good time. Just fucks around. Yeah. Um, tons of fun. Uh, they say, uh, here's some tower, I guess. But... Uh, oh, I don't have a... I can't post a link because I don't have a thing. Oh, a keyboard. I'm back. I'm back, baby. Oh, I need 
It's like, I think I'd rather be Baldrick than Season 1 Blackadder. Yeah. Yeah, Season 1 Blackadder. He's a real nerd. He is a nerd. I guess that's why it's very appropriate for you. Oh. Uh, why are you order? <laughs> These towels look great. Ooh, good towel. Yeah, nice, nicely done. That's like a whole army. Oh, like the old school style. Yeah, you're like partial old color scheme. That. I, man, I really like it now. At the time, it was like, nah, it's not like I it was, was just the standard. But now, like looking back at it. Yeah, I remember at the I time don't... thinking it was a bit dull, and I preferred the other alternate paint schemes. It's funny, isn't it? Just at the moment you don't see anything anymore, it becomes cooler. Yeah. These guys really, really cool. Supreme Very good. Champion. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, and indeed. I'm going to bring Blorko home to heal up. Okay. And resupply. I feel like his work here is done, right? Is there any uh, Is there any other, other factions down there that you want to wipe out that we're at war with? Well, should we That's... wipe out Toddy's faction? I think so. He's got two territories left. I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, if it just means that we don't have to worry about, in 20 turns' time, a fucking stack of, like, spears and yeah, piss and yeah. turning up. Just, fair. just get rid of them. Wipe them out. All of them. Uh, power cord and it's five bucks. Thank you. Oh, thank you, power cord. And they say, Oregano, time. Uh, been trying to get back into cooking, and I really like those spices on air fried roast chicken. What's your guys' favorite dish to make? And what's the weirdest dish that you love, but other people look at you weirdly for? Kermo came from. Hmm. Uh... That's a tricky one, because I'm not like a big. Like, gourmet guy. Like, I enjoy food, but I, I rarely can be bothered to put a lot of effort into it. Mm. You know? I hate you. Um, I think, like, working out favorite thing to make is it's a hard one to quantify. Depends on how, how you feel at the time. It's right? highly how I feel. And I think there's, like, a, you know, there's some kind of diagram of deliciousness and ease mm. and I feel like you know you can make more delicious things that are more complicated but I think because they're more complicated it'll just take longer they wouldn't be my favorite thing to make despite I still like them yeah um maybe like uh fajitas oh yeah that feels like a treat or um like nachos covered in um chili with cheese because that's so actually like, um, quite easy but super also easy. really feels like yeah. a treat when you have it because you don't have it very often um, roast dinner. So I like making a roast dinner, but it just takes a long time. There's a lot of like elements. There's a lot of mm. shit you gotta do. Roast is almost more effort than it's worth. Like it is fantastic. Mm. One of my favorite things to eat. But you're kind of really committing to like doing a lot of stuff, and there's there's a lot of things going on. Oh, Whereas like shit. fetus, boom, super easy. You can just like smash that shit together. Oh, what's going on? Um, this fucking Kislev guy has just turned up to burn down one of our settlements, Tom. What is the settlement like? Okay, I guess we're fighting. We'll find out. Well, we, we have to fight it. It's a garrison oh. thing. But I think we've built, like, extra units here. I think this is a, an enhanced settlement. Mm. You've got some good troops here, actually. You've got Forsaken and Horrors. You've got Shooters and Choppers. Shooters. And you've got a lovely, like, Chaos Star oh, to shoot. defend. Ooh, Star Forts, man. Um, and weirdest dish you love, other people would look at you weirdly for. Crisp sandwich, man. <laughs> just double up on those carbs. It like, if I'm like, if it's, it's just in the laziest mood ever, and I'm just, mm. like, I physically need something inside of me. Yeah, it will care. fill you up. I don't care if it's good. Yeah. But super easy, delicious, <laughs> crisp sandwich. Once when I was a kid. I was so lazy and so hungry that I put frozen peas into a sandwich. Because <laughs> there was just like nothing left to eat. And I was like, I don't just want to eat bread. <laughs> so you're like, oh, how do I jazz this up? Frozen peas. <laughs> that, is, that is psychotic. <laughs> that is insane. Crunching through frozen peas. Yeah. Oh. What? It was it was more interesting than just of plain bread. Of course, it's more interesting, but like <laughs> putting a shit between there or gravel would be more interesting. But well, it certainly tasted better than shit or gravel. Frozen peas—that <laughs> is insanity. 
It's not the worst. I'll tell you that right now. It was fine. But like I said, I'm not much of a gourmet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of a gourmet. <laughs> but my speciality is frozen pea sandwich. <laughs> I only did it once. And, yeah. You know, I didn't regret it, but I also okay. didn't do it again. Okay. <laughs> so Dave, you know, take that as you will. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's uh, wild. <laughs> You're a wild boy, Ben. <sighs> My God. Uh, right. Where is that tower pointed? God. Speaking of food crimes, I once saw someone tweet at Gordon Ramsay, an uncooked um, sausage in a hot dog roll with toothpaste put on it like <laughs> mustard. Okay. <laughs> he tweeted at Gordon and Randy and said, like, rate my dinner. No. And it just underneath said, you have been blocked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love that. That's, uh... It really made me laugh. That's pretty... Uh, pretty good. Absolutely disgusting, <laughs> but fun. All right, do we try and hold the front line or do we let them come? Um, I think, like, a back... Can we put a barricade up? Not there. Not further down. Hmm. I really wish that these barricades, you could put them anywhere. If you got like a little thing, bonk, and you could let it like clip through. I stuff. think you could like break the AI a bit. If you oh yeah, you, de you definitely would be able to. But I feel like a lot of these barricades, I just don't give a shit about No, because this little garrison here is like... Uh, I, well, we could try and hold this, but then they just walk past us, yeah, right? they just walk around like... I don't know. I guess I like, haven't played it very much, but... I don't know. Okay, we've got three places they're attacking. We could try and hold each point. I think we could do a okay job. Maybe. Or do we just like hold back? Make them come to us. Hmm, I don't know. They they're gonna outshoot us. I think that's the thing. They've got quite a lot of bows that are gonna shoot over everything. See, these are guns, gun axe. Oh, are they gun axes? Oh, okay. Well, then maybe we should hold them at this choke point because they won't be able to put enough firepower on us. Because, like, some plebs, like, make them come through and then try and pin them and just, like, blast them. Mm. Might be able to avoid some of the shooting. I wonder if it's worth putting, like... And then get the, like, tower to, like, yeah. blast them at the same time. Maybe we should only fight two of them, right? Oh, and but like back, half yeah. our army on one, half our army on the other. Try and wipe them out quickly and then pull everything back to fight the third one. I don't think we'll be able to wipe them out quickly because I can't go out to fight them. Because if mm. I go out to fight them, I'll definitely lose. I just but, worry that like evenly spreading our forces will mean everything kind of loses. Whereas yeah. if we just smash one part and then move, move on to the next and then just do a center hold against one of them. Yeah, that's probably smart. Okay. That's probably okay. Uh, we've got Robo Wizard has donated. Robo Wizard, Robo Wizard, he is a robo wizard. <laughs> That's their theme tune. <laughs> and they say, Tom of Ben! Ben of Tom! Important question. If you were to be a demon prince of the Chaos God, which would you serve? And why would it be Malal? Much love. Um, I wouldn't know if I'd go for Malal. I wouldn't go for Malal. He's, uh, honestly, he's my second to last. For me, it goes corner at the bottom, then Malal. Malal's just got a lot of hard work. Yeah. He's like fighting an uphill struggle and... It's a bit of a fucking edgelord, too. Got a bit too much of that in my life right now. I want something easy, easy mode. Yeah. I think it's, it's Nurgle or Slanesh. Because again, like Zinch would be cool. Like who doesn't want fish hands? But also exhausting. It's a lot of reading. Yeah, thinking. I think, I think the Nurgle guys seem to be having the best time. You've got to do gardening. You know, that's pretty chill. You don't have to. It's, you know, you can leave that to the guy on the slug. Could be a slug wrangler. Could be a slug wrangler. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Be cool. Hang out mm. with the nerglings. They're probably probably kind of kind of entertaining. Hmm. Uh, yeah. No good slug wrangler. Because I reckon I'd get bored of being Slanesh within like a month. No. They're gonna keep jazzing it up. And I'd just be like, oh. You know, my body, my body can't keep up. Do we wait until we get? How much better are you? I do more armor piercing. It's more damage. 
They didn't get faster. Oh, fuck it, just make two of them. Thank you, Rebel Wizard. Um, don't eat the fish me. Has donated. It's a new name. I don't think I've heard that one before. Oh. Thank you, don't eat the fish me. Maybe it's meant to be fish men. But or fish meat. Or meat. But they just stopped to me. You see, catching live since the pandemic started in America. Love you, boys. Um, since you make great background noise for grinding through my video game narrative course. Kremlo came from space, chump me up, and make me a war hero. Just go on the list, sir. I didn't realize the lockdowns had kicked in in America. Is that a thing? Oh, no, I see what they mean. They mean they've been watching us since the pandemic. Not that it's kicked off there. I see. Well, thank you, dude. Thank you for donating. We'll get you on the wheel. See if we can get you to be a war hero. Get him on the wheel. Uh, Fruit King Eldurian has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, hi, Tim and Tam. Chop me up, if applicable. Just heard I'm getting my fourth jab next week. I'm going to be on 6G. What and, the heck? Oh, man, you won't get any service at all. Because, like, I bet your phone doesn't even go that high. You know, it's like when... Um, it's like when everything switches to, like... Do you remember when we had to turn all the analog TV signals off? It's going to be like that. Where, like... Okay. Yeah, yeah, like if your phone, if your TV didn't have digital, it just stopped working one day. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Mm, no, don't get too far ahead on your Gs. Please cost. Please cost now. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, I love that new, the way the health bar works now, and you can see how much damage like a spell's done. Yeah. Ooh. No idea if their heroes are any good. Yeah, me either. Mm. Um, anyway, do you know how Beathan combines skiing and shooting in a sport event? Yeah. What? The old ski and shoot. The old ski and shoot? Is that what it's called? The Beathan? Bi biathlon. Um, do you guys know if there's a Warhammer equivalent of that? Blorko! Hmm. I imagine there is. I'll be honest, most of the army books don't really talk about um, sporting events. It <laughs> doesn't come up very often. The only one I know of is Blood Bowl. Oh, God, you nearly lost your, your How bloody is he general. He's dying so much. Oh, is he getting gun, gun axed? Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, they're just sat in the thing shooting guns at him. Fuck, I thought he was out of range. I thought he was in cover. No. Nope. Fuck, well, that's He's bad. Got shot. Well, that ain't what I need. It's not what you needed. Oof. Oh, these guys. Big old dose of feels bad, man. Yeah. Oof. These Kislev guys don't uh, fuck around, do they? Uh-oh. The horses. They're playing me like the AI would. I'm getting played like that guy holding up the keyboard on those noise marine miniatures. Yeah. 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 Oof. Yeah, no, I couldn't couldn't tell you about Warhammer Sports, but I imagine that it's so grim and dark that no one's allowed to have fun at any time. And they don't do sport. Uh, no sport, only fight. Only fight. Uh, Daffy Dice Blade has donated. Thank Daffy you very Dice much. Blade. And he says, hey, boys. Been a while since I donated. Unbelievably hyped for Warhammer 3. Not only for the awesome game yeah, you guys have been showing, but also for all the DLC to come. Going by the pattern of the last two games, the race pack should be the first thing out of the gate. are. I do hope that the, they've got to do. Um, yeah, yeah, I feel like Curse Wolf should be pretty near the top of the list. I mean, obviously, Ogre Kingdoms are going to be the first DLC, but I think you you get it if you buy it within the first week. Okay, that's good. Cool. Um, and then hopefully, yeah, Chaos Wolves. That's the race I'm most excited for. So hopefully they're up next. Yeah. 
And then after that, hopefully, um, 14 more Skave infections. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Big fan of that. <laughs> Although, go wrong. jokes aside, I do want to see um, Thankwall. Yeah. It'd be weird if he's not in it by the end. They've got to. Surely. Surely. Uh, rip and tear your dicks has donated. Thank you very much. If I don't do that, I don't recommend it. And they say, bam, blip! I've been ever so long, I've been a little vodka goblin while I went ahead and found happiness, a good career, and a crippling new plastic addiction. Uh-oh. Ooh. Have a photo of my first ever mini in thanks for the hours of entertainment. Kremlo's blessings! You didn't actually put a link on there, dude. But congratulations on finding happiness, work, and miniatures. That's, a, that's the, the power combo. It's two out of three, ain't bad, eh? That's very cool. I'm happy for you. Well done. Well done. For chaos. And um, post that link in chat, I guess, if you missed it off on the donation. Yeah, let us see. Let us see your minis. Um, Pretensis has donated $39, Tom. What the hell? It's the magic number. Oh, God. They uh, say, for the Emperor. It's for me, Tom. It's for me. Oh, it's for me. I guess you can open a layer. I'm going to open a layer of my present. I Thank you, Pretensis. You'll have to do a quiz in a second after the battle. Wait, I'll, I'll find an easy one. Oh, okay. Can you... Eldar. Mm-hmm. Uh, boom. Which Chaos God was created during the Eldar Fall? Slanesh! Uh, correct! Hooray! I did it! I didn't check the answer, but I'm gonna I'm just going to assume you got it. Well I said it with such confidence. That it's Thatcher's Gold! It's a, it's a delicious It's a delicious beverage. cider. Many other ciders are available, but this one is mine. A delicious beverage. Thank uh, you. Um, wow. I'm going to have a little birthday drink after the stream. Renal. Renal. What, what a lovely boy, Aww. Renal. Thank you very much. Also, I believe you dropped some more party poppers. Did I? I did not. Ah, you're right. Do you want to do a party popper? Uh, sadly, I've got uh, a Kislev party to pop right now. Ooh, you did oh, it. Oh, that one actually worked. Oh. Oh. Smoky. 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 Happy my birthday, Tom. Uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow, so stringy. It's so immersive. <laughs> Do you feel like you're part of it now? Uh. Oh, did I press a button? Sorry. Hit, hit a button. He's moving my birthday onion. <laughs> Your birthday onion. <laughs> Careful. Don't lose that. That's a good that's a good onion, Ben. Did you pick it special? I didn't pick anything. Oh. Ronald. Ronald is very supportive of <laughs> onions. Right. They're so versatile. They are versatile. You can you can chop them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Literally do all of that. I mean, mashed it's, onions doesn't sound great. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not, not really super familiar with mashed onions, but you know what? Could be good. Why not? Mash Why not? An onion, uh, fry it up, probably a thing. Yeah. That's probably like a fancy, like traditional cuisine somewhere. Oh yeah, somewhere. Mashed fried onions. Del <laughs> delicious. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ronald. I have to get that in the fridge. I'm having my, my, myself a warm sitter right now. Yeah, that ain't the dream. Very cool. Oh my God, Deacon. Deacon IX has also donated $39. What the heck? Oh my god, Deacon, thank you very much. Uh, okay, well, um, what name is given to the Adeptus Mechanus tech priests who are fielded in Imperial Guard armies to maintain and repair vehicles? Oh, engine seers. Ooh, probably. Is that the answer? I'm sure I got that one right. Uh, is that, is that it? Oh shit, apparently you, you might be winning. Shall I pause this? 
Like, the bar's gone better than it was at the start. Yeah, man, it's been great games. You're not good at games, Every even though you lost your general. People are like, bleh, tell them bed, they never take the game seriously, they're not playing properly. Like, you know, look at the fucking win race, you nerd. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, it is an engine seer. Hooray! Oh. Thank you, Deacon and Pretensis, for unlocking Layer Unlocked. Good job. Uh, Num, 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 num. Ooh! Models? What have you got? What have you got? What did oh Renald get? Oh, God, Renald has been very generous. It's a box of Sisters of Battle Retributors. What the hell? Didn't you always say that you wanted to get some Sisters of Battle models and I... start test painting some? I did say that. Wow, Renault must Renaud. have listened at oh some my point God. and got you those. Thank you. I've always been... The Sisters of Battle models are just really good, and I've just always always wanted to paint some up. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God, how do you know Renault? Ren Renault? What the heck? Does he watch the streams? I don't think Renault... I feel like Renault's got better things to do. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm going to build my very own glass cannon S. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Uh, look, they've got the little robo babies what hang around with them. Robo babies? Who doesn't want robo babies? They just FAQ'd these, actually. You can only use one of these per turn now. Uh, Whereas before, you used to be able to use as many as you wanted. Oh, yeah, because, man, and you just turn one. I'm just go like eight multi melters. <laughs> Great, cool, yeah. My unit of five multi melters fires eight multi melters. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, very cool. Aw, oh, thank you. My, my gene stealer dice. Wow, Ronald. So cool. Such a cool boy. Ronald's amazing. Oh my god, it just. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, did you win that unwinnable battle? Yeah, even after losing my general at the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and just not playing it for five minutes while you looked up quiz answers. Yeah, man. Just really good at games. Just the best at games. What's the trick? I was, I was too busy reading donations. I didn't actually see how you managed to win that. What was the trick? It was um, melee units either side of a gate, brain stuff behind, so they had to come through. Ah. Because once their stuff is shooting, you just charge the stuff. and The old blue shoot, horror sandwich. Then just shoot at them. Nice. Did you, do you reckon the shields helped at all? Did you like pull you guys out to regen the shields? Nope. Nope. Not even once. Not even once. Holy shit. You've saved me a lot of pain having to like retake that settlement. Those Nurglings did fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Tom? They killed one guy. <laughs> they killed one guy. It was so bad. <laughs> um, but man, the, um, <sighs> the Forsaken or whatever. Oh, yeah. Forsaken God, of Zinc. guys pretty reliable. Yeah, they did like 9,000 damage to some of them. Holy smokes. Oh my god, okay, who are we going to dedicate this to? Um, I can't remember what we're aiming for, so I guess I'm just going to say Slime Edge because we've got the least of that. Sure. Do we need to get one of them up to, like, X Oh, we number? do, yeah, I need to look up which which one that is. Uh, oh, Throt! No, no Throt. Throt, stop. <laughs> Nobody Please. likes you, Throt. Can we just, like, block Throt? <laughs> yeah, just change our number. Yeah. Oh, God, what is this? Um, okay, so the furries stopped sieging because they moved up the relief army. Right. Um, but I've, I've gone only just within his movement, so now I'm going to retreat. Nice. He won't be able to follow up. <laughs> he won't wait, be able to follow wait, up. He might be able to kill these guys fast enough. Yes. So I didn't account for the smaller... The, the small army must have a little bit more movement left that I didn't account yeah. for. <laughs> but the main army doesn't have enough movement to reach such, us. Such a good, <laughs> such a good like classic, classic Ben, um, ben moment. Oh God, we didn't even name these guys. Well, um, we've probably, named the general. It's probably good. It's grey. Well, they'll they'll all survive, so it won't matter, and then we'll name them afterwards. Because we just need to murder that um, those two characters. Yeah. In within two minutes, and we'll be fine. Yeah, because the rest is like uh, Norse veterans and um, furries, and that's going to be super hard to do. Well, I'm hoping this will give us a turn off the siege, get us the garrison regened. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Because it had been um, attrition for like four or five turns. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's good. Um, and it will give him an extra turn of attrition, and this should be able to tip the balance now. Oh, nice. 
Do we have any boys? No boys. What do you go up from? No. What's her spell do? She's she's a Vazard. Oh god, they're far away. At least at least demonets are fast, right? Uh, drop. Melee. Melee speed. So as they try to get away, I guess we can just come down. Is that really a, a teardrop effect? Expanding tear-shaped effect. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, one of them's running. We got a runner. Okay, one of these is a speed debuff. Yeah, but I think I'm only pretty wide of range. Oh. Yeah, he slowed down. Captivating and horrifying. Captivating and horrifying. Oh god. Plague boys. Plague boys are slow boys. This is known. Okay, get in there. Chop, chop, chop. Oh wait. How long do they arrive? Uh. Oh, 33 shit. seconds. 33 seconds. That's not enough. Shit. We're going to lose. Yeah. Don't, don't no, don't, worry don't fire into combat there. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. I beamed it. I didn't see this little, st little tiny stack. God, why are they taking? Why are they fighting him one at a time? That's so annoying. Like surround him. Come on, ladies. No, don't form an orderly queue here. You can get him. Like Moshlots, Moshlots style. Reinforcements are approaching. She. Well, we'll try and deal with these, and then just form ranks and... Oh, now he's broken. They held on just long enough. Yeah, they knew what was going on. They knew. Oh my god, literally like five, ten seconds would have made all the difference there. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just try and snipe out his good units before we die, I guess. Make the siege easier. He's just trying to get some damage in. I think we can do a little bit of hitting. Where's going? Oh yeah, the horrors need to go back on shoot mode. Yeah, I might need to get a little speed bump out. Man, she's actually pretty fast. Yeah, she's nippy. Just crabbing around. Can do that. Maybe give them the debuff when um, melee attack. Not a terrible idea. Ooh. Blight Rose says Slanesh units get double the charge bonus when hitting the side or the rear. Really? Did not know that. Good to know. Mm. Oh my god, look! Those werewolves are getting absolutely wrecked! Yeah. I know the rest of the boys are going to get us, but if we can wipe all his werewolves out, this will have been a not bad trade. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh shit, the general. Move the general out. Yeah. Sorry, I'm backseating hard. Come, come, come. Um, so Deacon says, Happy birthday, Ben. Have a layer on me. Enjoy your second birthday. I finished up my first batch of Necrons. I hope you like them. Let's have a look. Sorry, I got so distracted by the layer that I didn't even read your message. What the hell? Um, this is Deacon's Necrons. Ooh, they're very crisp. Oh, they look ace. Oh man, I really like um, white necrons. I like the bases. I like the unified basing scheme. Very cool. Very crisp, very clean. You painted all your tubes. I always like the painted tubes. Oh, did you find some blue ones? Or did you? They do look like blue ones. Yeah. They look awesome. Very nice. Yeah, it's a really nice color scheme. Thank you for sharing your toys. Everyone's melting. Oh, look at this model. If it's got a um, oh companion cube. Companion cube. Oh, and a QR code. Wow. Dare, dare I? 
Dare I scan? I do, because this will not be shown on stream. Oh yeah, well, it's inevitably uh, just a rickroll. Something, something. Oh, maybe it is a rickroll. Uh, it's an audio clip. I'm not playing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some kind of audio clip. Uh, we're dead, Ben. Oh, we're dead. Please tell me you killed some werewolves. Uh, I don't know if there any actually died. Oh, is it still alive? Oh, that'd be funny. That would be funny. Well, I don't get it. Is this a portal thing? It's the song, the song at the end of Portal. I've still alive. I haven't played. I haven't played Portal 2. It's, it's Portal 1. It's huh? the Portal 1. It's the song. I haven't played Portal 1 either. Epita Science. I haven't played it. We do what we must because we can. Good killing. Everything very low on health. Yeah. We did lose Grey's army. Grey's anatomy. Ooh. Oof. Oof. That feels bad. I thought, I'd, I thought I was being a real clever, clever clogs. <laughs> Had it all planned out. Zinch works in mysterious ways, Ben. They do, don't they? They sure do. Um, but at least it means... Where are they? Sonic Firestorm has had a chance to regen their um, where is it? The Forbidden Citadel. Yeah, look, their garrison's got like completely regened. Oh, that's good. Um, oh shit! Okay, but the furries are now in attack range of the place that just got attacked. Oh. That has got like a depleted garrison now. Oh. Ruh <laughs> row. And they are out of attack range. Ruh row. Jeez, Louise. All right, well, we just got to do more recruitment because. Yeah. What can you do? Listen. Um, some plague bearers. Uh, so, uh, Kish Kabob, 1995. Didn't Ooh, it? Well, thank you. It's a great emperor and court jester, Tom. Uh, hope all is well. Chum me up. Oh, chum. Uh, so you want to just be covered in fish guts? Yeah, who doesn't? Uh, on the orders of Ben, I ordered some water transfers for my Imperial Fists. Is Microsoul slash set absolutely necessary? Um, I Normally for transfers it's not necessary, but I have never put on a good Space Marine shoulder pad transfer without it. Mm. Because the, it's so curved. And the flat transfer like tries to curve to it, but then parts of it like flick up. Yeah. And you have to sort of cut little grooves in it to let it settle properly, and I always end up fucking it up. So I always use Microsoul. Because it lets it, it melts it down so it perfectly contorts. It's smart. Um, but plenty of people don't use it. I'm just cat handed, I guess. A sponge. Use a sponge. Hold a sponge on it. Oh. That worked too. That's the trick that I often would do. Hmm. Is it also opinions on Imperium magazine? We just got it in the US. Is that the one that just comes with some Space Marines? And Necrons. Bits. And Necron spits. So some of, the, some of the issues are very good value, and some of them are not. Um, and probably overall you save an amount, and if you want all those models, then it's good. Yeah. And if you don't want all the models, then it's less good. Yeah. And I guess you just have to do the maths on how many of these models do I want, how much would they cost, is buying yeah. the magazine cheaper or not? Exactly. It's up to you. Um, Smart. But if you are looking to build two armies slowly over time, it's actually pretty good. But otherwise, it's certain sets are very good. Like, there's an issue with the um, first issue is great because you get Space Marine Man and Necron Man characters mm -hmm. and dice and booklets and posters and stuff. But it's like three pounds or something. It's yeah. like amazing value. And then there's one where you get the aggressors that's very good value. Mm -hmm. so that's like eight pounds for three aggressors. Same with the Necron Destroyers, whatever they're called. Yeah, the big walkie boys. Yeah. That's a good value one. Yeah. Very cheap. And. Um, uh, Detsky Trevsky donates five bucks. Thank you, Detsky Trevsky. They say, Ahoy! Ben and Barry. I know last week was stressful since Tom quit abruptly to move forward with his knee-based OnlyFans career. <laughs> but it was a fun stream all around. Keep up the good work, lads. 
Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Glad. I notice you've uh, you've removed your knee-based content from this stream. Is it exclusive now to your? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we all knew it was coming, I suppose. It was only a matter of time. Yeah, Tom, Tom knee art. It's a thing. It's a thing, apparently. Uh, Pliny the Elder. Uh, I think it's 15 bucks. Thanks so much, Pliny. Is it Tom and Ben? Happy second birthday! Thank you! I've uh, been getting back into painting minis, uh, mm -hmm. but through D&D miniatures. Uh -huh. uh, you can get some real good stuff 3D printed on Etsy. Uh, mm, if you guys use nice. miniatures, if you guys use miniatures, any hot tips on where to get them? Hang on, what? Uh, Do you mean like 3D, 3D files? I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's a fun beholder. Very, Doing a great job on that. Very nicely. Very bold. nice. It's very bold. The eyes look great. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that Albert as well. Albert, classic. Uh, absolute classic. D and D minis specifically. Um, it's been a long time since I played any games with uh, role playing games with miniatures. Hmm. Generally, just don't bother anymore. Um, kind of like went through a phase of like we'd get everyone to use have like character models because we'd kind of like draw maps. But yeah. As but more time went by, moved further and further away from miniatures. I, base. I find it does like draw away from the game a bit. It's a bit distracting. Well, I think also just um, we stopped playing grid-based combat heavy games mm. where miniatures are, you know, really really useful into more abstract. Like kind of less, like crunchy combat systems where you, it just wasn't necessary, and yeah, you couldn't help handle it with theatre of the mind. Mm. Um, and also, like, I'm a really fucking lazy games master, and having to paint up like a whole set of miniatures each time. <laughs> a combination of that and just you got to like prepare more maps and stuff like that. And mm. I, um, just could be bothered. It's too lazy, and so just didn't. Yeah. But it depends what you're looking for for D&D &D miniatures. I mean, there's so many to choose from. Just like generic fantasy miniatures suppliers. There's hundreds of yeah, them. Yeah. Like, so much stuff. I'd love, I'd love to, um, love to play like a really crunchy D&D &D kind of game with fully painted models, custom like dungeons for everything that you're doing. I think mm. it could be a really fun, immersive oh, experience. What's it called? There's a company that do these sets. Um, where it's like a, it's an adventure, like a pre-written adventure that's like a good length. And you get, when you buy the book, you also get the 3D files, or you can have them printed, of all the monsters that are in that yeah. dungeon. And you get like, here's your eight character models, here's your boss, here's your 10 models of goons, depending on what that is. And it just comes as like this complete set and it would take you like three months to get through and it's like a reasonable price. And I yeah. cannot remember the name of the company that does it. Um, like, um, Dungeon in the Box? It called. might be that. Because uh, Steamforge games make the epic encounters. Yeah, which is very similar to that as which well. Which is cool. Mm. Uh, they're a bit more one-shotty. Mm -hmm. um, but those are really cool boxes. I, yeah, epic encounters is a good one. Um, also, I love their, like, the graphic design of those. Uh, very cool. I've not played any of them, but just like... Uh, we had one in the office, I think... Um, it was Humes's and oh, yeah. just like looking it was like ah oh, fuck there's like ten goblins in here there's like a whatever a troll mm -hmm. there's some characters I don't know 20 figures for this little dungeon run you've got everything that you need right here super cool and I think after yeah, you, good and also it wasn't like super expensive I think if you've got I don't know because they've released a couple of them now mm -hmm. after you've got a couple of those and suddenly you've got 50, 60 just random models, then you can start coming up with your own adventures and you start building this collection of just like random junk. Yeah. Um, it's a good way of doing it. Kind of cool. Um, probably fine with grids, leans more towards railroady. 100%. I kind of agree with that. Like, it, but you know, it depends on what exactly like what you're into, uh, what you're after. Well, that's it. Everyone's got a different preference for role playing, haven't they? Yeah, um, which is fine. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You just got to make sure 
You're doing it the way that people your, in the group, your group wants to do it. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if there's anywhere specific I'd say to look for cool G and D models. I think Etsy. Like, there's a lot of good stuff on Etsy. Um, mm. Although, like, you do have to be a little bit careful because there's a lot of scummy resellers on there that oh, are okay doing it without a license. Well, the there'll be people that will like license their like they'll whatever sell their files like oh c buy my whatever troll mm. for fucking three bucks or whatever but then people will be printing it themselves and selling on etsy without right. that person's without permission and yeah or, or they're not making a cut of it or um anything. which always kind of sucks yeah so then there's no way of you being really able to tell it's really hard to really hard to like ever get to the end of it and it's so hard for people to shut down these etsy stores mm. so like there can be some iffiness um no ideal um uh, but in turn like a lot of people are putting up their files for free so it's hard to really like get to the bottom of it but i've just seen some i don't know some threads written by people that like are selling their stuff and they're just getting sort of scraped and just people printing it themselves on um etsy sad boys Ooh. Um, Bashful Albert, do it's 13 bucks. Thank you so much. Mm. They say, Chop me up, please. Oh, well, they say, Birthday giver Tom and second birthday Ben. Chop me up, please. Thank you. Should we name some units? I've got lots of units to name now. Oh, yes. sure. Bashful Albert. Um, right, Bashful Albert, you're going to be one of these, um, Zinch Forsaken. Ah, for they're the good ones. They're all the good ones. Um, welcome aboard. Have we got someone who can be this corn, um, like, army general man? Sure, they can be Pretensus. Pretensus, cool. All right, more Forsaken. Uh, Tony of Earth. I'm just going at random from what we've got. Uh, Vidask. And then the last one is Symbolic Stance. What is that last unit? That's a flamer. Ooh. I like flames. Well, I like the... I like it, them in war. Like yeah, them. exactly. We'll see if they're any good in this. Yeah. And we've got some more units um, over here. We've got Sonic Firestorms. He's got a, um, a Nurgle Herald. Oh, with him. very cool. Uh, that can be Deacon 9 or IX or LX. Yeah, we'll never know which one it is. Sure. Uh, we've got some Plague Bearers. Kish Kabob. Kish Kabob. Welcome aboard. Uh, More plague bearers. Detsky, Trevsky. Why wow, is this like a whole fresh army? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not a whole army, but yeah, it's all but, fresh. Uh, some cool. demonettes. Uh, Rip and tear your dicks. Perfect. That's a perfect <laughs> name for demonettes. That's exactly what I want my demonettes to be doing. Perfect. Uh, I got some. Oh no, they're already named the blue horrors. We have got some furies. Uh, don't eat the fish, me. Bam. More Furies? Uh, power Core. And some Flamers. Uh, Gabriel of Nottingham and Rabbar Wizard. Three, three, three. Rabbar Wizard will cover you in pee. That's what they're known for. <laughs> Old Pissbot himself. <laughs> uh, right, how are we going to handle this? So look, the Tower of Karak is under siege from this army that is pretty mauled now. Sage. So we've got the reinforcements army here yeah. that could come up behind them, but then he might just turn around and attack us. Is that a fucking Middenland army to the left? No, it's a Kislev know. army. What the hell are they doing here? Um, I don't know. They, they did a lap. They came in <laughs> this way, and then they went up here. I think they're, they're realizing that all of these are quite well garrisoned. Uh, okay. Um, sure. I think I'm going to walk up. Yeah, why not? That's never gone wrong in the past. All right, so this is Middenland's last territory, I think, but it's under siege from someone else, so I can't actually go in and kill it. And then they've got two territories. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll go get that on the way home then. Let's. <gasps> Boris! What? That's Borker. Oh, he was on the map. Hang on, look, if I zoom out and find... 
says he's there. Boris Toddbringer. <gasps> Toddy! My boy! Maybe he's wounded. Oh. And so he's off the map and it shows you being in the capital. Uh, he's probably map. like drunk in like a cellar somewhere. <laughs> he burnt it down. He hasn't realized that the whole city's no, burnt no, down. He's going to wake up. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Oh, no. uh, Who did this? <laughs> Kazakh <what are? laughs> And uh, they're just, boom, he's off to Lustria because he heard there's a beast man over there or something. Yeah, perfect. Wow. What the hell? And then when he comes back, everyone's already rebuilt it. Yeah, yeah, fine. it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be okay. <laughs> Sounds like not my problem. Yeah, wow, Toddy. You crazy boy. Okay, we'll go get his last territory then. Boom, yes, yeah, wipe him out. I'll do some oh. regening on the way. Um, that was a really good impression, Tom. Thanks, man. Thanks. I, I hope to tell him one day when I meet him. Like, do it, show him. I think I don't think he'll like that. No, I'm sure he'd love it. <laughs> I bet he'd love people doing impressions of him. <laughs> uh, so, D M C K Rogers, D McRogers. How we're saying that? Uh, they say Tom and Ben. Hello. Uh, I've discovered some spicy lost Primark lore uh, oh. that has been staring us in the face for so long. <gasps> the scriptures. Have been misquoted. Oh. It must be known that Kremlo came from Jimmy Space. <gasps> Not just space. Oh. Uh, chop me up as Dave Diplixto, if possible. Oh my god, it's so obvious. It's been staring us in the face all wow. this time. Kremlo. Kremlo came from Jimmy Space. Although, pretty sure Kremlo was around before Jimmy Space was even born. Oh, you're right, because he's um, a slam. Yeah. Which, like, the war in heaven ended, like, before the Emperor was born. You're totally Literally right. millions of years ago. Maybe he un unlocked the Primarch knowledge from Kremlo. Amazing. He's like the, uh, the proto-Primarch. Yeah, okay. I like that. Deep. Um, deep, rich, more. I'm going to do a teleport. To teleport into the city. Or should I just attack them? Should we just get in there? Let me fancy. Sonic Firestorm. Sonic <laughs> move! What do you think about this army? I mean, it's kind of, kind of fucked, isn't it? Yeah, uh, doggos are scary and the chieftains are going to be tough, but... Oh, no, but they're all below half strength. His four berserkers are winding me up. Um... I believe in you, Tom. Sure. Wow. Uh, oh, we can the garrison. We can seduce. Oh. We can take like his best unit of. Ch oh no, they still cost the same amount even when they're depleted. Oh, that sucks. It does suck. Can't seduce characters. Oh, none of these are actually worth getting, then, no, are they? The only ones good. we can get are the um, javelin yeah, men. Don't worry about it. Uh, boar bound. Uh, do six bucks? Are you boar bound? And they say, butt sniffer Ben and toe sniffer Tom. Trademark. <laughs> Jeez, Tom, looking young. Uh, you were looking real, you were real tired looking last week. Glad you're feeling less barry. <laughs> uh, whatever that means. I've uh, been re-watching all of the XCOM files. Uh, just got to the first instance of gear explosion. Good fun. Nice. We did often... When you take more gear than you put on your men, there's a little pile of it in the Sky Ranger, so you can run back and get it if you need it. And the amount of times we'd let off an explosion too near the ship that would just wipe all the spare gear out and we'd <laughs> like rebuild it all. It was uh, bad times. It does sound like bad times. Um, I'm going to deploy over here just because it's a nice part of the battlefield. Okay, we get to see what these flamers can do. Oh, yeah. I think our characters are going to have to like be roadblocks. Yeah. So I, I purposely built these flame, uh, uh, Furies. I think they might actually be really good because you can do hit and run attacks with them right early on in the game. You can charge them into a unit, do some damage, get hit on the shields, then fly off. Do they have shields? Oh, no, shit, they don't. Oh, crap. So when, I, when we played as Cathay last week, the Zinch Army's Furies had shields. Oh. But I guess that's only if you play as the Zinch faction. Maybe. Rather than Blorko. 
Flames and Ghoul with their little flame dresses. Oh, they've got fish hands. Kind of. <laughs> Bit fish handy. I like them. They look cool. Okay. Well, good, good luck, Warbound. The XCOM Files is not a short series. <sighs> You're in for the long haul. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, we probably have to get enough as each favor. I forgot to look at that. Yeah, there's some favor thing unlocks we need to get. I need to look it up. Oh, do we have to attack them? Or are they coming? No, they're coming. Right. Oh, Lord, they're coming. Uh, Archie Malk has donated. Thank you. Archie Malk. And they say, Tome Bean. Hello. First time dono, fresh out of the pile. Ooh. Finding you was one of the few high points of the last year. I was wondering, what's your favorite unit from your most favorite faction? Kremlo Ken Rob's Bath! What, in this game, or...? Let's narrow it down to this game, yeah, just because otherwise there's a lot to choose from, right? Um, See, my favorite units in this game are not my same as my favorite units in, like, tabletop. Oh, okay. Like, I really like, um... Doom Wheels. Doom Wheels are Doom Wheels really are very fun cool. in this. Um, I do like them in tabletop, but... Big Boys. fan of them in here. And the same goes for the motorbikes, right? The, um, yeah, I didn't really like those in tabletop at all. No, uh, but in this, they're really cool. I like a lot of the Skaven units. Like, I love, um... Uh, warp Fire Throwers and Chazales and... Um, poison Wing Globe it is. They look awesome. Mm. Um, well, like some of the other... God, I feel like there's a couple of units that I just fucking love and I can't think of them. What are other, like, top Tom favorites that are often requested? Slan. Gotta love a Slan, right? Slan's cool. Uh, <laughs> spirit. Get Spirit Leeched, nerd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you Shapti, they look awesome. I like them a lot. Shapti... Pump wagon, the steam tank. Steam tank's kind of fun. Pump wagons were kind of cool. I do like squigs, blotos, necrofex. Both excellent choices. Mm. Big, really big fan of blotos. So they're super dumb. Uh, oh, shit, I thought this was in chaos boy. Ah, oh, well, he's still getting leech left. Nice. Okay, come oh God, <laughs> just half their health in one barrage. I'm so glad they made Horrors a missile unit rather than a casting unit. Yeah. Because in tabletop they were magic users and it was just a pain in the ass. Yeah, if you if they just had a single spell or a cooldown or something, it'd be ugh, just more of a pain. That's um, good. Grail Reliquy? Grail Reliquy. Uh, I don't know. I didn't... I like the Grail Reliquy a lot. So, so, I really like the idea of the Grail Reliquy. I hate using it in the game. Oh, the yeah. Same with, like, corpse cart. Yeah, the, the small buffing units don't really work in Total War because they're taking up a slot for another yeah. unit. Yeah. If you could add them on, like, a magic banner to a unit or something like that. It would be much cooler. Mm. But they just, it, you, I just can't justify putting in something like a War Shrine or a, or a Grail Reliquy or something like that because I'd just rather have another unit of good troops. Yeah. These guys not see. Oh, fuck. oh, do they need line of sight? Oh, crap. Well, that's good to know. Apparently, they don't have a lot of ammo, chat says. Which is good, because it means they get to, like, do, do all of their damage very quickly. I like that. I like a low ammo missile unit. Um, what are other cool units? Oh, well, they're not dead. That's a tough one, really, because my favorite factions don't necessarily have my favorite units in. Mm. Woo! Eh. No, that did quite a lot of damage, and they're not even very densely packed there. I think against a big block, that would do a lot. Like, Lizardmen are one of my favorite factions, mm. but they don't have many of my favorite units. And Tomb Kings, another one of my favorite factions, aesthetically. Mm. They don't have a lot of units I love either. What's like some of the cool artillery 
do like artillery a lot in this game. Mm. Like in the field. The rockets? Rocket batteries, Empire rockets? Rockets are kind of fun. They look um, amazing. The animation's really cool. Doom divers? Doom divers are kind of fun. Um, oh, what's the big, the big Bess? Love that big oh, Bess. Oh, yeah, the Vampire's um, Mega Cannon. Like that, very guy's, good. that guy's super cool. Um, Queen Bess, is that it? Sounds about right. Hopefully, that's, that's enough. It wasn't exactly our favorite unit from our favorite faction, but a lot of our favorite units there. Mm. Thank you, Archie Milk. Um, Q. Q. Is that how I pronounce that? Q. Q. Okay. Q. 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 Thank you for donating. I say I haven't donated in like a year, and I started to notice unchump like features in the mirror. I can't be having that. So have my money. And take away my chiseled jaw and massive dingus, please. <laughs> ah! Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, it's very noble of you to sacrifice. Uh, if I can, I want to see if I can kill this lord. Just to stop him. I think we have enough movement to, um, to follow him up and auto-resolve him. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Oh, they're kind of doing it. They're kind of doing it. Read, read me another, Ben. Read me another um, story. And not an owl, honest. Not an owl, honest. Has donated twenty-five dollars, which is very generous. Wow, thanks, Sean. And they say Tom, Ben, Tom, and Ben, Tom, Ben. Thanks to a promotion at work, I finally have a schedule that allows me to watch you live. Ooh. And also the disposable income to show my appreciation for all the hours of entertainment you've provided. Oh. Crab Lab came from Spa! Oh, thank you very much. Very kind. Very generous. Thank you very much, Not Al. That's incredibly generous. We appreciate it. Congrats on your promotion. Boom. We did it. Oh, it's pronounced Koo. Koo. Oh, like Goo. Desserts. Goop. Goop. The coop. Pretty nice. I like this. Congratulations. Oh, the next layer of my onion gift, Kish Kebab says. What? Can I have another layer, Tom? Please, Tom. Please. Please, yeah, Tom. If you can, if you Please, can do Tom. A, if you can do a question. Please. Sure. What do you want a question on? Sure, let's do... Uh, Something we haven't had yet. Let's do towel. Ooh, towel law. Um. Uh, where was um, Koro Kashatar raised? I'm never opening my press. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. Tau, the home world of the Tau. <laughs> uh, no, it was in an orbital above Sasir. Well, of course, how did, you, how did you fucking know that? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, where's this book? Oh, Shazla Kais was born in which sept? <gasps> you should know this one. Isn't isn't that the um, guy from Fire Warrior? Oh shit! No, that's Ka Kais. But it's spelled it's spelled K A I S. Oh, you're right. Shazla Kais is the Fire Warrior protagonist. He becomes a Chosen of Corn, which I thought was amazing. Well, I thought that was in, always like the the thing, like he was chosen by Corn. That's why he was so like violent. Yeah, so in it, I don't remember if the video game goes into it, but I read the novelization of Fire Warrior, and um, he becomes this absolute Rambo badass behind enemy lines and murders everyone. And it's because there's this like Corn Demon Prince trapped in an artifact that's like fueling him with like all this bloodlust, and yeah. it slowly as he gives into it more and more, he becomes more and more badass, which is why like he's able to kill everyone in the in the computer game. What a badass. But it's really unusual. You don't often get a lot of like demon possession for Tao. Um where is he from? So what sept? Um I don't know if I could name the only septs I could name are the Farsight Enclaves, which he's definitely not in them. Or like, there's one called like Borkan. Um but it's probably not them. What sept? I'm going to go with Borkan. It's the only one I can remember the name of. No, uh, Shazlakai, the set they were born in, was Tau. Is that a set? Yeah. Fuck! 
Not very good, Ben. Oh, but... no. Uh, okay, which renegade fire warrior commander was assassinated Yay! in a conspiracy oh. between the water cast and the Imperial Inquisition? Oh, shit. When you said renegade fire warrior, I was going to say Farsight, but he wasn't assassinated. Also, I will need their full name. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, no birthday for Ben. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> so are you giving up on this one? Um, I'll call him Sh Shaz O... You got the first F bit right. Sh <laughs> Karaleth Schlizzle. Ooh, no, Shaz O Tashvar. Old man, Bakak, Commander <laughs> Brightsword. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, okay, who said of the Kroot, mm. at least in space, they cannot eat their enemies? Oh, Jesus. Uh, full name again, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I, Anun Seorch Nanthutep. No, it was Coral Dalith Dashthi. Fuck no. <laughs> I don't want any more Tao questions. <laughs> you said you wanted one that we hadn't had before. <laughs> okay. What sort of device is used by members of the Watercast to translate alien languages? Oh, you'd like that one, Ben. Oh, I would like that one. Um, what's their Universal Translator called? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Universal Translator. Sadly, it's the polyglot hedron. <laughs> of course it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what sort of vessel is used to mine hydrogen with electromagnetic scoops? Oh, is it the um, is it the the, the not squat, the demiurg brotherhood stronghold ship? It's the demiurg stronghold commerce vessel. I'll give it to hey! you. Got I got one! Well done! Oh, the Scoopinator! I remember because in Battlefleet Gothic, they could absorb blast markers. <laughs> hoover them up and then shoot them out. <laughs> nom, 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 yeah. nom. Cool! I did one! Get your, open yourself a layer Yay. of your... Um... Birthday layer! Do, 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 do. Oh, it's not an onion! <laughs> <laughs> what did you get then? I got some Haribo Tang Fastix! Wow! These are, I'll be with you! I fucking love these. Aren't they your favourite sweets, one ben? of my favourite sweets. Can you guess which one? The cherries, because cherries are the They the are best. the cherries! I would buy a bag of just cherries and cola bottles if Everyone, I could. Yeah, I think they know people would buy that, and they don't sell cherries. it because... Because <laughs> they would never sell normal no, Narrow Bow no ever again. No one the other fucking shit in there, they just want <laughs> cherries. Would you like a cherry? Oh, yeah, because they are the best. <laughs> Thanks, man. Mm. Wow, Ronald knows you so well. Oh, Ronald, you hero. So many presents that are all amazing. Good job. Mmm. Um, we're going to have to take another break. Got to do another break, Ben. Oh, my God. It's break time. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, you guys, um, we'll be back. We'll, we've got more messages to read. It's going to be more Warhammer. We're making mm. some armies and naming some stuff, so... We are. You might be able to get in. Um... You guys stay tuned. There's more wrapping to be done. Some mm. more your hammer and law hammers coming up. Oh my god! Oh my god! And I'm not gonna lie, the third one is a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta, you, you gotta hack. You gotta get through the second one. <laughs> you gotta get through the second one, which is fine. <laughs> but the third one. I love it. Third one's a pretty good one. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm excited for it. You're such a salesman. Hang on, I've got to spend Sonic Firestorm's XP's. Um, but yeah, uh, there's some more layers to get through. And yeah, not going to lie. <laughs> not every layer is is a winner. <laughs> well, I, I mean, they can't all be onion layers, they can they? They can't all be a birthday <laughs> onion. But you know what? Birthday, there's so many things you can do with a birthday onion. So many things. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, you can only do one thing with Haribo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How you? Yeah, you can't do much with it. No. Birthday. Un- I'm not eating a Haribo stew. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you can't put that in a stew. Ooh. Oh, you can't horrible. Make a delicious stock. No, um, you can't fry it up. God, just. Harrow is garbage. <laughs> Birthday onion, very good. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in five. <laughs> see you soon. Hey! Uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome it's back! Wednesday, Wednesday with Warhammer. Uh, <gasps> we should- we should copyright that. Warhammer Wednesday. Warhammer Wednesday. We're the only people who can do Warhammer on Wednesday. Anyone exactly. else is copying us, and we will litigate the shit out yeah. of them. Yeah. We'll sue you into the ground. Bam. Bam. You heard it here first. That's the dream. Mm-hmm. That's the dream. Take Good night, DJ. It's now time for oh. Tom and Ben birthday after dark. <gasps> oh, my. It's lucky that uh, you didn't get to the old... Um, butt plug dildo uh, drumstick yet because uh, uh, <laughs> are you going to ask for a bite of that too <laughs> like you did with the Haribo <laughs> play my drum man play my drum you shared everything else with me man <laughs> exactly it's teamwork it's teamwork <laughs> it's just an elaborate way of buying yourself the things you want yeah yeah exactly that's exactly what it's for um I mean, Ronald. Ronald did it. <laughs> Ronald. Ronald. It's all Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, so. New torso unlocked. Uh, a lot of these torsos have this thing that only triggers when we're down to 10% health. Yeah, I'm definitely a bit more cagey with my boy. Just don't want that. With my baby boy. I don't want it. My baby Blorco. Um. Some of these spells are hard to understand. Um, that's what I that's what I've been saying for years. <laughs> yeah. I don't cast any of them. <laughs> Let's have this one. It gives more shields. Oh, and he's got some shoulder pads now. Oh, that's there nice. Okay, pretty cool. Yeah, we should just play Fashion Souls. I'm kind of bored of him being blue already, though. You know? Blue's fine. Blue's all right, but I need to mix it up. Uh, so, Cat Wolf Song. Mm. Uh, Donate six bucks. Thank you, Cat Wolf Song. Thank you. They say Battle Cruiser Ben and mm. Tempest Tom. Ooh. Renal, bless the belated birthday boy Where's with me? either Dark Angel butt pearls or lack thereof. Your choice. Oh. March in Fortune, lads. Thank you, Catwolf Song. Uh, I choose. No butt pearls. Feels like an auto resolve. Ooh, Gaunt Angry Feeder. It's the guy we're. Allied with. Yeah, we just got like ogre friends here. Cool. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Killing that one dude. <laughs> I think, yeah. He, we needed it. Uh, join the war against them. Nah, you're right. Yeah, we'll, we'll have, we've got enough of our own wars. Yeah. But thank you for the offer. <laughs> yeah. uh, son of Sarnath. Then it's 10 bucks. He's Son of Sarnath. And they say, Congratulations! Ben. Thank you! Well, thank you very much. Some sun. Very kind. Very me. kind of you. Uh, and Dark Beacon uh, donates an unknown amount. Oh. And they say, Tim, Brian, I'm happy to announce the end of June. I joined Team Paleontologist. <gasps> been on the field ever since. Oh. They claim there's not much action, but that's BS. If I don't go to the field, they get the fields, they always say, <laughs> often enough, it becomes a real mess. AKA, I got a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have figured out that that's what that meant. <laughs> the field. <laughs> okay. You've been playing the field, Tom. The field. <laughs> well, congratulations, Dr. Beacon. Well done. Cats are fun. I have a cat. I yeah. approve. Approve of this cat message. For a long time, I wanted to get a cat. But then I, was, I found out I'm, like, I'm a little bit allergic. Oh, no. A little bit. A little bit. That's not what you want. Uh, when I lived, lived somewhere that had a cat. Oh, caused problems. And. Oh, it's such a nice cat. 
Oh. Like when I would sit and like play computer games or watch TV, the cat would come and like just sit on my lap. Aww. And I was the only person in the house that likes the cat. And he was such a lovely cat. But he made but, you sneeze. But it was just like, oh, I just got like kind of itchy in my like armpit. My Ooh. armpits. My elbow pits, I mean. Like, just like, ooh. I was like, ah, oh, sorry, kitty. Oof. Um, oh, it's sad. What's a sad story? It is a sad story. I don't like it. No more sad stories. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, rip and tear your dicks. Then it's five bucks that you rip and pay. Thank you. Pay your dicks. And they say two to boo. Rock up my models. I uh, will. Well, as soon as Tom lets me. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, you don't have to shop me up twice. Thanks for the show. Grab a from space. Ah! Ooh, Orcos. Uh, bonk. Here we go. Link in chat. You guys looking cool. Ah. Hazard stripes, always amazing. Do enjoy a hazard Man. stripe. I love the big white skull face on your boy. There. Very cool. Oh, these guys are red. Good uh, orcs. It's I'd good say you gotta, you gotta get those bases sorted out. Yeah, the bases really let them down. You gotta get those bases done. I feel like people don't listen, Tom. People don't listen to us. What the heck? I told you about the bases already. Do your bases. Turn the fucking bases. Just adds, just adds so much to the model. Um, these guys look great. Yeah, cool. Has good, stripes. Good always. And green, the correct color. Yes, we learned that earlier <laughs> in the quiz. <laughs> There were already streaks ahead of us. Yeah, well <laughs> they done. knew it too. <gasps> oh, okay. To life. Oh. We're going to get portals life. soon. Okay, that's thinking mm. with portals. We got to be ready for the portals. Okay, have we dealt with most of our major it's threats crazy. around? Us? Well, there was an army right here, Ruh -roh. which was like in a bad spot for us. But I'm guessing that because they're not there anymore, they've gone into ambush stance. Sure. Um, so we've got rid of the marauders, but these guys still have a territory left. Okay. So I am gonna go. go and have a peek. Deal with that shit. I think we might be able to deal with that. I'm gonna these guys. I'm gonna teleport them over so that they don't run into that army that's probably ambushing. Sure. And we'll get them to hook up with these guys, and that should be enough to wipe Ooh. out the marauders. Okay. Um, Blorko's on his way. He's just got to burn down the last of Tolly's houses. Nice. And then hopefully we'll be ready to rock. Um, oh, it's him! He's here, Tom! Whoa! He's here! He's, we're at the Toddy's last house. Oh, Toddy himself. I was going to auto-resolve it. I feel like I'm still fine with the old... Fine with a, an off-screen Toddy death. Oh, Toddy. Toddy! Toddy. Well, you went... You got four points in red, Toddy. He did pick blue, though. He did pick cardio. That's good. Classic cardio beats cardio. chaos, but I don't know if you've done enough cardio. <laughs> oh, maybe we do fight him. Do you want to fight him? It's going to be... We could literally just watch Blorko pound him into the ground with that ma massive mace. Okay, we'll do it. That could be fun. We'll do it. We'll fight him. Uh, Matthew! Then it's five bucks. Thank you, Matthew. They say, greetings, Tom and Ben. I don't watch live often, but finally woke up from the dark swamp under the Vodlin pile before 9 a.m. Ooh. Can I have a silly troop that looks ridiculous, please? Oh. Ooh, I mean, you're in the right army for it. If we, we can spin the wheel for you. Silly boys in we'll our army. We'll see if Toddy can kill some of our silly boys. Oh, Toddy. <laughs> you beautiful bastard. He would have given us a much better run for, for our money if he was with his main house. Yeah, I wish he was defending the old uh, Minheim. Mm. But he was too busy off in someone else's land. He was off just <laughs> fucking around somewhere. <laughs> Classic Toddy. Yep. Oh my god. Boris versus Blorko. Oh, it's cl a classic matchup. It's a classic. Two titans of Warhammer lore. <laughs> yeah. Really, the only two characters who matter. Uh, yeah. No one I feel does. like this should be the final campaign battle. Yeah. For sure. Oh my god. This place is pretty elaborate. Nice looking city. Bridges and shit. Uh, Dresden has donated $69.69. Wow, that's the sexy number. Nice, nice. Double nice. Thank you very much. That is incredibly generous. And they say Deciduous Tom and Coniferous Ben. 
Mars. It brings me much joy to see you back in Total War again. I've got three months of VODs to catch up on, so I'll have to love you and leave you. Enjoy the funny sex number and put me down for the funniest or sexiest unit. We, oh. we can do that. We can do that. We can get you a, a Slaneshi thing. That's sexy. Doesn't get much sexier. That's real sexy. Uh, does that mean you need to do a, a quiz, Ben? Do you want to quiz? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they paid for another layer, Tom. Tom, 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 they paid for another layer. Okay, right. Ooh. okay you were just talking about Slanesh. So let's maybe have a Slanesh thing. Uh, okay, right. Where are we? Uh, be good, behave. Right, let's see, no. Imperial Navy. We've not had that yet. Ooh. Uh, right. Where are we? Hi, Lords. Imperial Navy. Okay, right. At the dawn of the Gothic War, Magus Astolax of the Adeptus Mechanus listed the symptoms of the plague he encountered on which merchant vessel? <laughs> um... Uh... The Valiant Endeavour. Mm, sadly not. It's the Shanksy. <laughs> the Shanksy! Uh, which naval officer found the Space Hulk that was later rebuilt as the Divine Right? Um, Fleet Admiral Carallax. Uh, sadly not. It's Captain Jacobus. Oh, Jacobus, of course. That old dog. Uh, Can we have a question that's not name someone you've never heard of? <laughs> that's what like, the last eight questions have been. Okay, fine. Which <laughs> alien species crewed the Sharak Fracker, one of the notable prizes claimed by the Divine Right? Alien species. Yeah. Um, the Hrud. No, it's the Fraral. <laughs> Fuck me. You've never even heard of them. <laughs> I want to know what they look like. The How do I spell it? F R A uh, yeah. Boom Dash A L. Fraral. Fraral. There you go. Well, there's a picture of a spaceship. Highly psychic something or others. Um, oh, well, this guy's imagined they look like that. Oh. That looks like a Necron ship to me. Yeah, that front bit, That's um, that looks just like the... the thing. They're a bunch of psychic nerds with no pictures. I'm guessing this was like a studio conversion of a Necron ship that they then did in a White Dwarf scenario or something uh, like that, yeah. right? Yeah, look, here we go, right. Yeah. Sure. Wow. Oh, wow, but they're also in all the Horus Heresy books. Never heard of them. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, well, if you can't do Imperial Navy, uh, according to the Tactical Imperium, when are wars won or lost? <gasps> When the battle lines are drawn. Correct. Hooray! You did it. <laughs> you did it, Ben. I knew that one. You can uh, open up a layer of the Ben present. Well done. Yay. You did, you did a... That wasn't even an easy one. <gasps> Chocos. Oh, you got some, <gasps> some chocolada. Chocolada. Wow, Ronald, be with you, oh, Ben. One day I can be strong and tough. Like the Milky Bar Kid. The Milky Bar Kid, that little and asshole. Um, Twix, legit, one of the superior chocolate bars. Boom. Very oh, good. Oh. Hooray! Good job. Well met. Hooray! Well done, Chocos. sire. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, oh my god, I've got so many sweets today. Excellent work. Oh. Lots of presents to go. You're doing, you're doing, you're just doing great. Who needs to be moving? Yeah, did any kid ever think that the Milky Bar Kid was like a cool dude they wanted to be like? <laughs> He's just the worst mascot of all time, isn't he? Just super lame. <laughs> the lamest kid. Like, he's like 
the kind of mascot all the other mascots make fun of. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Dix, yeah, he's the little, the little nerd. <laughs> <laughs> he's not strong or tough. He's mummy's precious boy, and only the best is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Not a cool, not a cool dude at all. I feel like he grows up to be Joffrey. Oh Game yeah, something like that, for sure. Some little asshole. Fuck the Noki Bar kid. That's <laughs> what I say. That's my hot take of the day. <laughs> okay, Blorko's in here, fighting, fighting Toddy. Oh, I want to see. Toddy is having kind he's... of a bad day. Oh, he's stood over there now. He's not fighting. Okay, Blorko. Toddy. <laughs> Oh, we dodged. He dodged it, Tom. Um, I just want to quickly. I saw uh, we've got the golden hounds, which I always <laughs> love. Yeah, it's a fun one. <laughs> Got that. Woo, woo, woo! Oh, it's going to me. <laughs> but father, we love you. Father, pet us, father. <laughs> Are we good dogs? <laughs> What if I never know who's a good boy? <laughs> that Walker, pretty ominous. He is, isn't he? He's just trying to stare Toddy out. Oh, oh that'll sting. See ya. You got Toddy. it. I thought he was dead. Oh, I thought he was dead for a second there too. Oh, someone's running. Is it Toddy? No. Body would he's, run. he's shunning Blorko. He has complete disdain for Blorko. He's just showing his back. Yeah. Oh. Ah. That distracted Blorko. <laughs> yeah. And now he's going to stab him. It's a classic Toddy bait and switch. Ah, oh, classic Toddy <laughs> trick. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> man. What a fucking man mountain Toddy. <laughs> I know, right? He's a big lad. He just tanked that mace hit. What the hell? He's a big mace. <laughs> yeah. Chop. Oh. Come on, Toddy, use your patented move. Come on. Jump with rune fan. <laughs> jump, jump with sword. <laughs> yeah. Love that trick. It's oh. never let him down before. Uh, he's kind of getting a bit wanged around right now. <laughs> uh, the Blorko is not super, super targeting him. Come on. Oh, here he goes. Oh. Oh, he just, like, willed him away. <laughs> Ah! Oh! Spin with Rune Fang! Spin chop! <laughs> Bonk! Ooh! Ooh, that looks bad. No! Tony, don't give a shit. Bonk. He's just like, yeah, whatever, chop. Okay, he's doing it. Ooh. Oh! Well, that looks bad. <laughs> that was a bad that one. That looked bad. You should have that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's throwing Ooh. him over the battlements. That's okay. a barricade. It's not really. <laughs> uh, it's kind of cheating, but. Oh. oh, I think wow. the barricade has a mystical barrier around it. <laughs> okay, fight on the, the barricade. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Blorko. Bonk. Try a different move, Blorko. Yeah. The, the jump is not, not doing damage. Yeah, that, that attack seems good. Mm. Just hit with mace. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's the one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, another one of those, please. Come on, you can do it. Good, we're really backlit here. I can barely see what's happening. Yeah. Can't really... Oh, that's better. That's a bit better. But then we just see... Oh, yeah, block his ass. What's happening? Uh, what? Uh... <laughs> what? Um... He's only taken 20% wow. damage! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my Fuck. God, Toddy! Right, I'm going to get some other boys involved in this fight. Toddy just absolutely owned Blorko there. Wow. Uh, not what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, turns out Toddy, kind of a fucking badass. <laughs> Blorko, mega nerd. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that's, a, oh. that's a dose of feels bad, man. He's only level six. And has no yellow skills. <laughs> <laughs> Blorko, what the fuck? Well, but he had um, took cardio, Ben. 
And what does Cardio do? Oh shit, beats chaos. It beats chaos. And we're just all chaos. We're all chaos. <laughs> we're like the most chaos you can be. Oh. Well, now he's coming for the rest of us. Yeah, that ain't good. Oh, Where's, wait. um... Let's transcend our... Who's fighting him now? Who's the name of this corn boy? Boom. BJ Roth. BJ Roth, you've got to pick up where Blorko failed. Come on, BJ Roth. This might look better animated because, um... <laughs> he's not 50 foot tall. Yeah. But we probably do need to concentrate on what the hell's happening. It's the... Oh, there we go. Oh. Toddy knew his mission had been won. He's just like, see you, nerds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get tongued. Just get tongued. <laughs> oh. Wow. They are just bullying him. Wow. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oof. Oh, Toddy lives to fight another day. Toddy, one kill. <laughs> one kill. That's all he needed. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god. So he, he hasn't died, he's just fled now. He's, he's just, left. He didn't even flee, he just kind of strolled off. Just walked off. <laughs> Barnabas! <laughs> yeah. I killed him! Killed him! What Animals else you got? Animals smaller, they don't count! <laughs> <laughs> and just <Yeah>. walked away. <laughs> Holy shit, fucking Lorca. <laughs> Okay, feels <laughs> bad. <laughs> feels real bad. How much damage? He even did a thousand damage as well. I wonder how many hit points Blorko has. I think more than that. I feel like the, uh, like, just check the... Was it like the crossbowman or someone who really got him? Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think those guys might have... 500 um, damage from crossbows. I think those guys might have helped a little bit. <laughs> well, to be fair, Toddy told them to. <laughs> Also, so. he, he did get the killing blow. <laughs> uh, so by D&D &D rules, that means he gets all the experience, uh, right? Exactly. Exactly. Boom. Toddy would totally be a kill stealer. <laughs> 100%. 100%. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we've got to press F for Kazar and Igrith. Oh, fuck. Who may have been the first starting horrors we had, because they were like oh, level shit. rank 6. Oh, God. They did well. They got like 5k each. Griffin Kazar, Rip and Maronis. We almost lost Whippy. Live to survive. Anyone ding? No one dinged. Oh, wow. Look, look. Um, Pretty fucking good. Yeah, BJ Roth. 8,000 damage. Very good. I like him a lot. Wow. Um, that's a raisin. An act of suicide. Oof. Block is level 25. <laughs> yeah. So many combat skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. Wow. Faction destroyed. Minland. Uh, we're going to have to just grab some rando lord. Um. Who's got the funniest name? Go for it. You, you choose. <laughs> Spurt oh. Mildew. Mildew. Spurt Mildew. That sounds just annoying to have that come into your house. <laughs> yeah. Alas. Alas. Soul Screamer. Crystalo. Falco. Falco's Falco's pretty punch. cool. Zemo. Oh, we need a Nurgle guy in this army, don't we? Uh, we don't have a Nurgle oh. guy, actually, yeah. Isn't the Spurt Mildew? What the hell? Mahal. <laughs> Mahal. <laughs> uh, old Poxhand. Aggressive. Sure. I mean, he's only going to be there for like three or four turns. Mentor. Feet of footed. Sure. The legend himself. Uh, right, we've got a ding uh, power core. Um, uh, so, uh, Clan Rat Dave donates five bucks. Thank you, Clan Rat Dave. Thank you. And they say, York with a K, Tom, and York with a C, Ben. <laughs> So well, I'm just wrong. <laughs> just wrong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you're the fantasy version of York. Oh, like an orc of your. Yeah. Yeah. A York. Uh, say happy belated birthday, Bon. Thank I you. I hope you enjoy Tom's Zinchesque present. Uh, cannot wait to continue Blorko's Bean Boys ba Battle Battalion Crusade into the inevitable Doomborn. Back to the tunnel for me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Glenn Red Dave. Uh, and Sutty Son of Man. 
Uh, it's next five books. Thank you. Thank you. Is a Trish, Brenda, happy birthday! Long time listener, first time caller. Hmm. Your dick films? Question mark. Yes. Uh, I made a concept trailer for one. Ooh. It's thrillers. You two kept me sane through the pain of edits and reshoots. I wanted to share. Wow, that sounds cool. I made a film. A film. Fill on. Oh my god, this looks like a real thing. Yeah. I can't um, hear it on that screen. You are here to die a slow, real. agonizing death. Just like, um... There can be no other explanation. Mm, must have to check that out after. Very cool. Congratulations. It's called uh, Codicil. Codicil. Or Codicil. Co Codicil. Codicil. A horror film, 10 years in the making. Google it if you want to see it. God, is it? Uh, I can link, actually. Bonk. Bink. There you go. Have a link. Oh, God. <laughs> Spooky Spider says, is the present fish hand oven mitts? Oh, my God, that'd be so good. <laughs> oh, I wish. Oh, that's such a funny idea. That would have been perfect. Oh, that's such a good idea. No, it is. I, uh, I wish Ronald had come up with that. Oh, two more Kislevites confederating. Always bad news. Ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's usually fine. Seek victims. Uh, am I here? Uh, the psychic pineapple. Oh, it's five bucks. These psychic pineapples. Oh, thank you. Is it Tom and Ben? You guys got me hooked in 2020 with your Rooster Teeth TTT collab. Ooh. I've enjoyed watching since. I've gotten some 3D printed Valor Corpse from mm. the Maker's Cult. Yeah, they look great. They're like, um... Any CNC welcome? They're like uh, the Death Corps of Krieg, but, um, you know, not a thousand pounds a model. And they're really nice. I don't think I know them. Uh, could I have a little, little link? Oh, that Sentinel looks amazing. Yeah, they're really nice. Is that, uh, is that not the official one? No. Not, those legs look exactly, I've built enough Sentinels. Like, those legs look so much like They're them. very similar, but they're a bit thinner and a bit less um, rivety. Oh, and it's only a three-toed foot rather than a four-toed foot. Mm. They were good models, though. These guys are cool. They mm. look great. Uh, I like the bases, too. You've done your bases. The bases look really nice. Uh, these guys look great. Good job. Paint more of them. Or not, you know, do what you like. Or not. Paint as many as you want. I feel like maybe I'd want like a um, a number or a marking or something on the Sentinel. Like mm. a little like boo. Just some like, well you can get transfers with like um, Roman numerals on them or something. Something or like, like that, like on one of those side panels or something yeah. like that. Just something to add like a tiny little bit of um, Like a little pop of another color. Like a uh, white or something. But that. Because they ask for comments and criticism. That's true. Not yeah, I think that would criticism. that would really help. Because obviously it's quite a flat grey. Um, but I think it looks it's really nice. Doesn't uh, need it, but it would improve and enhance. Uh, but super cool, really nice. Well done. Mm. Uh, uh, Easy flop. Donate 67 bucks. Whoa. What holy the heck? moly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very generous. It's a long time Vaudblin. Uh, third time. Uh, third time. <laughs> third. Donate. Oh, God, your spelling is just fantastic. Because it's, it's all spelled properly, but. So, like weird. donate about as in like bread dough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, during the Giga Plague, uh, I managed to A. Oh, wait. During the Giga Play, I managed to A, finish my PhD in theoretical astrophysics, wow. and also B, catch up on every single Bon Plus Tem strem. And to be honest, I mentally weight these achievements equally. <laughs> oh. oh my god. That's incredible. There's not enough hours in the day to do both those things, surely. <laughs> How is this possible? That's crazy. It is 
Although, like, how hard is theoretical astrophysics? But it's all theoretical. None of it's real. Yeah. So like, you can just... Oh, a spaceship is powered by farts. <laughs> yeah, that's my theory. Um, I'm imagining a pink star. What spins around a blue star? Whoa! Uh, it's theoretical. Theoretical. <laughs> Boom. Is that it? Did we get it right? Is that it? Have we just, um, you know, made fun of a very difficult <laughs> and hard subject? <laughs> Who knows? Oh. Uh, but that's enough for you to um, maybe get a layer. Of that's enough for a layer. Energy if, flop. Thank you. If you get a question, ah! right. right. Can it not be name a person you've never heard of, please? Yeah, it's going to be that. Right. What are we doing? Uh. Doing about Necrons. Ooh, Necrons from 2006. Oh, this will be old Cron law. Yeah, that's fun. Mm. This is going to be they, <laughs> really tough. They retconned Necrons pretty hard in like... They've done it a couple of times. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on which world was the Basilica of St. Gepelin? A shrine world destroyed by a Necron attack. Name a shrine world that was destroyed by a Necron attack. Yep. Ophelion 3. Mm, sadly, it's Verdus Prime. <laughs> uh, ooh, how many Necrons guarded the tomb of the Nightbringer? Oh, wow. Um, a thousand. Mm, close. It was four. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Four. Of course, four. of course it was. The Nightbringer loves the number four. Um... <laughs> Okay. Uh, where and what was is the Noctis Labyrinthius? Ooh! I think you might know this one. I know that word. <laughs> the Labyrinth of Night. Where is I don't know this one. Fuck. Is it like a pocket dimension thing? That like... Oh! It's where the, where the Void Dragon sleeps on Mars. Boom. Is that right? You know what? I'll give it to you. Oh, because, no, back in 2006, it wasn't called the Void Dragon. Yeah. It, it was like mysterious thing on Mars. It's a kept. mine complex in the northern reaches of Mars. Yeah. Give, yeah. You can open a, you can open a layer Yay! of your gift bag. Ooh. Ooh. What have you got, Ben? It's Jaffa Cake! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Congratulations, Ronald! Ronald, how did you know? Joffo Cakes. Well done. Well done, Ronald. Joffo Cakes. Joffo Cakes. Would you like a Joffo Cake? Yeah. Hey! Thank you, son. Mmm. Yummy. Thank Delicious. you. Thank you, Ronald. Delicious. Mm. Are we getting into the things I found around the office part of the present? <laughs> no, uh, Ronald bought those, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I do love Jaffa Cakes. Mmm, nom nom nom. Uh, so, best of Xerxes. <clears throat> Donates five bucks. Hey, best of Xerxes. Thank you. They say, I've climbed up from the pile. To praise you for your wisdom Ooh. Uh, in using my purple sun power. <laughs> I'd appreciate a pleb being named in my honor. Also, have you seen the movie Willy's Wonderland? I guarantee you would love it. Fuck, I meant to watch that. Oh, is that the Nicolas Cage? Nicolas Cage Five an... Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, but it's not Five Nights at Freddy's. But it's close to it. Mm. Yeah, I did want to see it. Although I have the vaguest inkling someone I know watched it and they said it wasn't as good as they thought it could be. Oh. Uh, I mean, I guess it's never going to be because the potential is amazing. Yeah. And it can never live up to that amazing potential. Um, is it true he like, doesn't say anything throughout the whole thing? Ooh. He doesn't speak the whole movie. He has no lines. Wow. Did, was that like a pay negotiation thing? Maybe this is like a style... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm. The plot thickens. But yeah, yeah, I want to watch it. I also really want to watch Pig. Pig? Pig. Pig. Um, I don't know what that means. It's uh, another Nicolas Cage film. And uh, I've heard it described as like, it's a bit like a less violent John Wick. 
with Nicolas Cage. John Pig. And his <laughs> truffle pig has been stolen. <laughs> Something like that. Um, and I kind of, kind of want to see it. It looks kind of wild. Um, when this world burns, I will oh, place Tetris you is here. The, pyre. the magic chicken. I will be friend with magic chicken. Sure. More like John talk. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I just kind of want to see it. It's just meant to be kind of, kind of. Yeah, like, I kind of want to see it as well. I don't normally like that kind of film, but the trailer looked mm. like goofy enough. Mm. Oh, it's happening! Oh, <gasps> portal o'clock, and we're getting sieged by Kislev. Ooh. But I have increased <clears throat> increased the defenses since last wow. time. Nice. So we can hold out for a while here. Okay. Um, but the portal time. So hang on, let me let me get a picture here. So we've got two portals here. Is is Blorco near a portal? He is. Wow, does he just want to like poop in a portal? I mean, he doesn't have. He's not at a full strength. He's down four units, and he's not there. Does he want to sit in a garrison, recruit some units, and then hop in? He could just globally recruit. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Okay. Three units. Although we don't have very much money, we'll only be able to afford one. Oh. We're super low on cash. Oh. Shit, I just spent loads of cash. Hang on, can I cancel a building to, like, temporarily boost our bucks? Have a look around, see what you can do. Uh, yeah, I can cancel both of these. <coughs> um, Jimmy Space donates three bucks. Thank you, Jimmy oh, Space. Oh, Jimmy Space, thank you. And they say, Tommy Wiseau and Neil Breen. Love Neil Breen. Uh, did you know, in Roman times, it was suggested that Vod Goblins should have to wear something to signify their lesser status. Oh. But it was decided against because if all the Vod Goblins could be determined visually, dot, 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 the Vod Goblins themselves would see just how many of them there were and rise up against their stream vermin masters. Oh! Jump me up. oh. That actually sounds accurate. Was that actually like a slave, Roman slave thing? They didn't want the slaves to know how many slaves there were. It's kind of amazing. I can believe that. Some logic to it, though. There were there was a lot of Roman slaves. Mm. You probably wouldn't want them. To unionize. To unionize, yeah. Okay, what units is this? does this army actually need? It's a real hodgepodge of shit, to be honest. Can you get, um, how much cash have we got? Can uh, we get one of these guys? Because okay. they're... The Forsaken of Zeech are pretty legit. Oh, can we get Exalted Plague Clarence? Wow, they take four turns. Oh, fuck. Okay, don't get them. Um, get another Forsaken of Zeech. Actually, maybe can I stick them. a Flamer in there? Get a Flamer and... Who the fuck? Oh, and maybe a Blue Horror. You don't want, like, a Plague Bearer? We're a little low on line infantry, don't you think? Uh... No, because once because we'll have two of them, three of those guys. I feel like one more shooter unit is probably fine, because we, we've got some guys to like tank. That's true. Okay. What have you fancy? What? Are, who is this? It's all spawn. Ah, yeah, fuck. Yeah, they take four turns as well. Yeah, jeez. Uh, sure. Okay, look. Oh, that's cool. Beaming them in. Oh, thank you, Jimmy Space, for your interesting facts about. Yeah. Uh, what are those? Well, they're just too disorganized. They don't trust each other enough. That's, That's the it. That's too the thing. Like, because they could, if they all work together, they could rise up. But they're too busy fighting each other, crab bucketing, to get to the top of the pile, and squishing each other down. <laughs> yeah, pooping and peeping on each other. It's just a nightmare. And they never forgive. Yeah, they never forgive all the poop that was dropped on them. So they they just want to drop it right back. Never what? forgive. Never forget. Those classic what treacherous gobos. Uh, Draco Power to these five bucks. Thank you, Draco Power. They say, Tom and Ben, I watched the video and I'm burdened with Thomas the Tank Engine lore. <laughs> However, there isn't enough room uh, for the options. So it will be in my next dono. Mm. Two are true, one are false. Oh. So here you go. More Thomas or your Thomas. Amazing. Perfect. Okay, Draco Power. Did you... Did you donate again? I... Did you donate again? Uh, I don't think you did. Hmm, not there at least. Okay, Blorco's back in action. 
<laughs> I think that was it. That was it. Oh my god, if you're still here in chat. Trigger power? Trigger power, please. I, I need I need the law yep. law Thomas in my life. Further the ruinous crusade. Uh, what do you do under a different name? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> this is what happens when you let vod goblins do things off. <laughs> They're not allowed. <laughs> See, this is how they can never rise up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's hot for... Uh, yeah, me too. You really... You really teased me there. God damn it. I don't okay, well, it might... It might show up later. <laughs> Who knows? What the heck? Uh, negligent money. Then it's 20 bucks. Thank you, negligent money. Thank you. They say, belated birthday boy, Ben, and belated birthday maker, Tom. Currently listening while doing some uni work. If you jump me up as something pink and sexy and slaneshy, I'll try to get the shiniest pearl in the pile for the birthday boy. Ooh. Try and, uh, and get you in. We'll try. Okay, how do you feel about this attack? Maybe. Two points could be our friends. I mean, we could siege them and let them come out to us if you think that's better. Maybe. We could maybe seduce them. Do the cash. Yeah, we have the cash. It's just which units come under the under the threshold. Okay, what what are we even allowed? It it dogs or marauders by the looks of it. Uh, the dog's anti-large. No. Oh, hang on. It says at the bottom of the unit. Okay. Uh, we can have... Yeah. It's any of the regular Marauder units. Or the dogs. Oh. Uh, Not the trolls. You know, spears could be okay. I don't really care about the dogs that much. Yeah, maybe that. Just because they can help fight um, skin wolves. Mm. We could try it. I don't know if it's. Um... We could try. Do the try. Would you, would you rather fight it in the field? I could siege them and they'll come out. No, I'm kind of down with trying to attack a fortress. Okay. Oh, wait. So we'll go for axe thrusts. They have axe thrusts. Yeah, these guys. Maybe they're better. More range. More range is more good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And these guys are pretty good um, chopping infantry up. Mm. Yeah, why not? But if this goes wrong, Kaleth 5, I'm blaming you. Oh, no. Uh, sure. Seduce. Point! Point! Uh, Chrome, then it's 10 bucks. See, Chrome. Thank you. There's a birthday boy, Ben, and mm. party man, Tom. Uh, what dump stuff were you told as a kid? Uh, here is a mm. short repertoire from my childhood. Mm. Square eyes from watching too much TV. Playing computer games would give me a computer virus. Ooh. Not the computer. Oh. Wow, that's dumb. My one was my friend's dad wouldn't let us plug our games console into his telly because it would break the telly. Yeah, I, th I think um, I've heard that one. Which was just the dumbest shit ever. Fuck, one. Um. One that um, I was told as a kid and mm. like... By uh, one of my sisters used to like ruthlessly bully me with this was um, that if you flick a light switch on and off too fast, the light bulb will explode and set fire to the room. <laughs> and like I'd be in bed and like she'd come into my room, I just like start doing it, and I would be oh my like, God. genuinely think it was going to explode, and like fire would f go out and like Burn land on everything. Shit. And oh my god! Genuinely thought that was true for That's a little so while. So mean. Um, <laughs> really did think that was was something, um, and I used to be like in like floods of tears by someone just like rapidly flicking the light switch on and off. Um, I don't know where we'd heard the that thing. Oh my god! That's so mean. Super awful. Um, <laughs> Which sister was it? Oh, it was an older sister. Okay. Fat sister or stupid sister? <laughs> it was fat sister. <laughs> right. um, yeah. Oh, Jesus. 
Um, what else? I can't remember now. I'm sure I was told some real stupid stuff. They don't have a lot of range. God, we could just no. like, plow up and no, just well, we... slowly try and grind our way through here. Sexually seduced his shooting unit. Oh, we, that, there's a green arrow over there, but we've got a chaos hero, um, a corn lord coming in. Ah, fuck it, sure. Over there, so may as well do it over there. Uh, we might. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke into two sides. I think, I think we can split a little bit. Uh, Half home has donated fifty-two dollars eighty. Tom, what the heck? <gasps> That's so many dollars. My dearest trinket teller Tom and belated birthday Ben. Hopefully Tom will let you open a present now. And since Tom is a two, true space marine at heart, here is a present. Here is his present, sorry. What? A game recommendation. Please check out Sucker for Love First Date. <laughs> yeah, is this, yeah, is this a, yeah. This sounds like a vampire dating sim. Oh. Your, Am I right? I feel, favorite, like, I feel like I'm right. Your favorite game, Tom. Uh, okay, well, if you can answer a question, then you can have a thing. Yay! Um, yeah, it is a vampire dating sim. Who <laughs> <It's hot. laughs> would have thought? <laughs> okay, present! Right. Present! Present! Okay. Thank you, Half Home! Uh, sure. Right. Do you want to know about the, the, the Tyranids? Okay. They won't have any stupid named people. No, sir. What the fuck even are two minutes in Was it just who killed the swarm lord? <laughs> <laughs> who killed the swarm lord? Uh, uh, where are they? Chaos Space Marines. Oh, it's not a vampire dating sim. Is it not? It's a Cthulhu dating sim. Oh, uh, okay. It's fun. I want to date. Cosmic Horror Courtship. Ooh. Sounds like my dating life. <laughs> Cosmic Horror? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is the tune of answers? Just a fucking idiot? Oh, there. <laughs> my bubble popped off. <laughs> Got too excited for my present. I popped. Pop it my bauble. Okay. Is that right? I don't know. Sure. Okay. Uh, which Inquisitor mm -hmm. investigated the rebellion on Ichar 4? Ooh! Inquisitor Cryptman! Which was revealed to be caused by GC Sealer infiltrators. I remember the battle for Icar 4. It was the first global campaign. Ooh. Where Craftworld Alatok, I believe, helped the Ultramarines and the Imperial Guard fight off the first Tyranid High Fleet. Wow. And I'm pretty sure it was Cryptman. Uh, it was Inquisitor Angmar. So. Fuck! Uh, well, that sucks, doesn't it, Ben? That oh. sucks. Uh, which. Uh, is the species name of the Tyranid Norn Queen. Oh, what? Oh, my God. There hasn't been a model for it. Um, I don't know. Dominatus Supreme or it's, something. It's uh, Tyrannicus Primogenitor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> uh, oh. On which planet did a Tyranid Carnifex survive the Exterminatus by entering a state of dormancy Ooh. in which it could heal its wounds? Um, McCrag. It's Aradani 5. Oh, fuck. Is that old one eye? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, man. Uh, okay. Gene stealers are believed to have reached the moons of Ngal. Yes. In the holds of a spacecraft returning from which death world system? Gene stealers live on Ngal. That's what I thought the question was going to be. <laughs> Ngal gene stealers. Certainly not, Ben. Ngal gene stealers, Tom. Certainly not. Ah! 
I don't know, Procyon 12. Mm, it's Tiamat. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> uh, by what name did the anointed congregation of the celestial womb on planet Gariel Fall refer to the coming Tyranid High Fleet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, I misheard that last part. Can I hear it again, please? By which name did the anointed congregation of the celestial womb on the planet of Gariol Fral refer to the incoming, uh, the coming Tyranid High Fleet? The Star Mother. <gasps> the Great Sky Mother. Yeah! That's close enough. I'll give it. I'll give it to you. You can have the great. You can have the great sky mother. Yeah. The stars are in the sky. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well done. Oh. Well done, sir. Oh. <laughs> present. 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 Pre I, I dropped my badge. Your badge. Can't can't be the birthday boy without your badge. No, no one will know. I mean, no one can read it anyway because it's green. <laughs> there we go. Birthday bond. I think Ronald's Ronald struggled to find uh, <laughs> birthday. Present, present, present. What have you got? This then? is a present everyone can share. <gasps> oh, it's a card from Ronald. Ronald has sent another card. It says Lorehammer with a picture of a coom dick. <laughs> wow, wow. And some, <laughs> some hearts. Quite a pointy one as well. Um, so the Lorehammer or your hammer is about either an annoying demon or a filling planet. Oh, it's meant to be filing, but filing I don't planet. think Ronald can spell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, Lawhammer or Your Hammer is a fun game where we make we Tom tells two tales of Warhammer lore, one of which is 100% accurate, the other is made up bullshit. Mm -hmm. Which is which? Okay, boom. Mm -hmm. So the first, the first tale. Um, so uh, the Chaos Demons, they like to fight amongst themselves. They sure do. And after a particularly savage defeat at the hands of Korn, mm -hmm. Zinch is a little bit annoyed with um, his sort of like generals, um, sort of like the Council of um, whatever they're called. Lords of Changes. Changes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. The Flock of Changes. <laughs> the Flock of Changes. And so uh, he is like, I got to got to get these guys into shape like they are they're idiots and so he blesses one of his special boys um with the amazing power of hindsight okay and uh he sets this demon amongst his lords of change to kind of explain to them what went wrong <laughs> um right. and then about a week later i'm guessing uh they almost have a civil war in Zinchland, because this guy pisses people off so much <laughs> right. that Zinch decides to uh, get rid of him and throws him into the webway. <laughs> wow. Uh, but they managed to get rid of some of the like shitter Lords of Change. Mm -hmm. So was it all by design or was it an accident? Was it part of his plan all plan? along? Oh my god. The Lord of Hindsight would suck, wouldn't he? He'd just be like, well, if I was there, actually, I would have not well, what, died. What you should have done is this. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> did Zinch make a Hindsight Demon to <laughs> piss off his generals and uh, almost have a civil war? Weed out the weak. More. Mm, okay. Is there a, a planet called Prol9? And uh, so this is a sort of administratum world mm -hmm. where um, they do all of the filing for the Imperium. <laughs> right. But Prol 9 is on the verge of a civil war <gasps> because they cannot store any more data there. <laughs> right. They've got too many books. Okay, um, and all the filing cabinets are full. Literally all the filing cabinets are full. Mm -hmm. And so they're on the verge of a civil war <gasps> of Two factions are rising. Mm -hmm. One, they want to colonize the world of Prol 10 <laughs> right. and uh, start filing stuff there. <laughs> right. And the other side, they want to start burning old files <gasps> and getting rid of it to free up space for new files. Wow. So. Oh my God, fucking book nerds. A is there them. the book nerd uh, Benwick planet? Hmm. 
Oh. Always the hindsight team. Actually, actually. Um, <laughs> Wait, well, you went wrong. I want, I want Birdo's to be true. That's what my heart says. Stupid, stupid, annoying, actually bird man. I feel like the the data planet could be true, but I feel like it's not grim dark enough. You know what I mean? I feel like if there was a story about like the filing planet, it would be ridiculous. Like they'd have already started like writing on all the files on the other side of the pages, or like um, they'd be fighting over something pettier, and the solution would be more ridiculous. I think rather than just like making another filing planet. That feels. That's my gut. I'm going to go with Birdo's hindsight bird. 2020 Lord of Change. Well, uh, actually, <laughs> you're wrong. No, the, the filing planet is real, <laughs> and the hindsight demon was just made up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> actually, I think you'll find actually. the clues were there all along <laughs> the whole time. Then, um, if you'd looked carefully, you would have seen. Because. Uh, K Kairos Fateweaver already kind of has that plan <laughs> of the hindsight power. Um, Shit. Sorry, Ben. Foiled again. Sorry, Ben. Yeah, Prol oh. 9. Prol 9 is um, a planet with, like, uh, maybe a paragraph in a war, one of the Warhammer fancy roleplay books. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the... Oh, one of the, like, like Quinster, Quinster ones or something. Or something. Wow. So, not super well known. <laughs> no. Well, that's where the best lore hammers come from. It's where <laughs> some of the most obscure stuff comes from. Oh, that was a good suggestion in chat. Just start tattooing the history onto all the people who live oh on the God. planet. That'd be, that'd be difficult. I've got to go d look in the graveyard to dig up the files from 4,000 years ago. Oh, God. <laughs> but don't worry, we perfectly preserve all the bodies. <laughs> Somehow that's better than writing it all down. You need to. <laughs> um, well, congratulations. Oh. You took part in another... Uh, your hammer or law? Oh, we did. That was a present for everyone. Everyone gets to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I put both my characters in the same spot. Oh, well. Uh, wow, they are just really scared of that army. Not of this one. Oh, wow. Run it in. Well, you guys just want to come up. Up as fast as you can. Thank you, Arthur. Double O'Connor has donated $39 as well, Tom. Oh, she is. Okay. O'Connor, thank you. Well, thank you, Double O'Connor. Are you ready for some more? Um, well, let's read his message first yeah. before I forget. He says, Ben's birthday opening fund. If you guys could have a theme song for every time you played a Warhammer game, what would it be? Enjoy the games. Back to the car. Go. Um... Wow, a theme song every time I play the Warhammer game. I feel like we already do. We sing a little song every time we do a stream. Yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of songs going on. It's often Lord of the Rings or Jurassic Park. But <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> Two great, great theme songs. Great theme songs. Not complaining. Um, yeah. I think if it's us playing it together, the theme, theme song should always be a bit silly. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Gonna, we never want something too serious. No. That ain't our style. We aren't serious people. But it has to be a little bit more serious than the Battle Boys song. That's oh, for God. sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I suggested that song as a joke to like, like show how bad a theme song would be. But also, and then Lewis just fucking loved it for some reason. I think it's because I didn't like it. <laughs> but also, it was when we were coming up with what we wanted to call the segment, and I jokingly said Battle Boys. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh my god, that sounds a good name. Yes, I'm a battle boy. Like, <laughs> yeah, really backfired. <laughs> Both of us. Got to, got to be careful making jokes around Lewis. <laughs> For uh, reels. Uh, who are you flamers? I'm not quite sure how this flamers going to get into this fight. Is that boy coming? Nine seconds. I should read those um, Inquisitor roleplay books. They seem like they're right up my alley. There's some really good stuff in there. All the champions. I don't think you want to fight them by yourself, bird. No one does. They're surprisingly good. 
Who's oh, actually wow. going to stop those dogs? Thank you, Double O'Connor. Double O'Connor's paid for me to open another layer, Tom. Okay. Should we save it till after the battle? Sure. Okay. We'll do it. Thank you, Double O'Connor. We'll do it in a sec. We just did one. Chainsaw Man has donated. Chainsaw Man. Thank you, Chainsaw Man. And they say, happy birthday to Bon. Happy birthday to Bon. Happy birthday to Bon. Happy birthday to Bon. And Tom is here too. <laughs> That's Oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, but the birthday, the, the Bon birthday stream would not be as much fun without Tom and Ronald to look after us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you need a bit of Ronald there. Um, Boar Chili's just donated, thank you, and says, Tom, Ben, Blorco, happy birthday! Hail! I'm still really into the Song of Ice of Fire game. Here is my partially completed Targaryen force. Ooh! Also, do you guys paint eyes? I find that my minis look worse close up when I do, chump me up. I generally don't, unless it's like someone with a really big eye, like a, like a helmet lens or a blizzard man, mm. I'll do it. But on a regular human, I usually don't because it ends up when I do it looking worse than not doing it. Yeah, I kind of get, get that get that feel. Um. Oh, here we go. Look at that. There's Magister Illyrio. It looks cool. Man, I really like the, um, the gold. Gold and silver. That looks great. There you go. Posted it in chat. We got a Drogon. That's actually for Serial. A little Mormont. Yeah, these look fantastic. They're really cool. Very nice. I've started painting up my Song of Ice and Fire, but Ooh. I haven't finished them yet. I'm excited to play with the new rules. Yeah, me too. Like, I do really want to give it a go. I played one game um, with Lewis last week. Yeah? I did my Lannisters against um, his Targaryens, actually. He used the Mother of Dragons. Oh shit, how's, how's that going? Um, well, they don't shoot anymore, which made it a bit more magical. Really? Yeah. Oh shit, because before they... that's. From what I heard, I never played against it. Mm. Um, they then just walking around, like just flame throwing you. You could never charge them because mm, they always stay out of your arc because they're so mobile. And um, they just did that, played that game, mm. which doesn't sound like a fun game the, for the other person. Yeah, just awful. Lewis have any Dothraki? He does have some Dothraki, yeah. He's got enough to make a few different armies, but he wanted to try out the dragons, and I wanted to see them in action too. Uh, it ended up being a draw. It was a dead draw at the end. Wow. Um, which was surprising. I basically just got a lot of objective points, and then he murdered all but one of my units. Uh, I did kill one dragon, and I got another dragon out of one fucking health. Which, oh, it was annoying. Nearly got it. Will it be in game tonight? No, no, we just played it for fun. We didn't film it. Wouldn't have spoiled it that bad <laughs> if it was filmed. <laughs> but yeah, I think um, after that game, if we played another game straight after and he'd got used to the dragons, he'd have smashed me. Um, uh, okay. I, I only got that first dragon kill because he wasn't, you know, used yeah. to using them. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Just charging two dragons into a unit just wipes it. Oh yeah, God, the, the damage output on those things are insane. Mm. Oh man, yeah, your Drogon looks awesome. Very yeah, cool. man, it's really nicely painted. It looks really cool. I like the um, added skulls on the base as well. That's nice. Mm. That's great. Thank you, Borchili. Um Age of Ligmar has donated. It says, Tom, creme de berry milk pan. Watching Yox for 12 years now, and the Warhammer VOD since 2019. Here's my Dono Cherry. I wanted to say thank you for being positive about non-hetero and trans minorities and by helping our mental health with your silliness. Ah, you are super, super welcome. You are super welcome. Yeah, I, I just don't even understand why anyone would have an issue with who someone else decided to bang or that kind of thing. Like, just do you. You don't have anyone. Fucking chill. Like, you chill. What the fuck? Mind your own fucking business. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Like, just what's a bit more positivity in the world? I'm a little bit worried because a bunch of fucking furries have turned up. 
as we talk about, you know, positive... <laughs> positive sexual positivity. Uh, <laughs> we probably should call him, stop calling this unit furries. They just look like furries. <laughs> They're fucking furries, man. <laughs> I'm not saying it in a bad way. No. Like, these furries are wrecking my shit. He is furry as you like, as long as you're not killing our armies. I don't care. Yeah, that's my only problem with them. They're killing my army. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, God, my dude. Mm. I've been trying to get him out, but he's an angry boy. Uh, oh, Nurgle Man is just hanging. This flank is going very poorly. Is that the one they chucked everything at? No, actually, it's the other one. Oh, right. Um, oh, shit, our general's nearly dead. Oof. Yeah. Oh, there's Sonic not, Firestorm. There's not a lot. Oh, actually, wait, is he not frenzy? Oh, yeah, he can get out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, tried. No, they pulled their entire, basically their entire army over to the other side with a smaller force. Uh, All right. Can we just like flag grab them, or should we like regroup? I want to regroup. I think. Wrap up those units. Uh, Big Kenneth has donated. Big Kenneth, Big Kenneth, thank you. He says, "Hey Tom, and kind of birthday Ben." Hey. Could you name a unit after me? Depending on what the god is, Bug Kenneth, Big Corneth, Bird Kenneth, or Big Cocketh. <laughs> Love all. Uh, personally, a big fan of Big Cocketh. That one's fun. Um, I love them all. Bug Kenneth, Bird Kenneth. It's perfect. You've really encapsulated what it is to be one with the Chaos Gods. Wow, they just wiped out that place. Yeah. I guess the um, the demonic morale is an issue. Once something goes, the whole yeah. thing, like four units just die. Like actually pops pretty fucking bad. Mm. One five uh Warren has donated, thank you, and says Tom Ben Blorco. I know Ben has some past in competitive gaming, but have you guys ever attended Warhammer tournaments? They get a bad rap. They can be a lot of fun. Also definitely read the Infinite and the Divine. I used to go to a lot of Warhammer tournaments back in the day. Um, I seriously got into competitive Warhammer Fantasy Battle um, around 7th edition. Um, and used to go to like something like 10, 12 a year. And I really enjoyed it. Until they decided that it shouldn't exist anymore. And then that made me sad. Surely. Um, but yeah, I mean, Warhammer tournaments can be hit and miss. Some, most of them are great. Some of them, probably not, like just by law of averages. You know, there's enough sort of... There's a, there's a small amount of assholes who play Warhammer, and if you get an unusually high concentration of them in one place, that's, that's going to be a bad time. Yeah. Oh god, he's getting fucked up. Who is? The corn boy. Oh shit. Why is he on his own? Oh, because he frenzied. This is why I hate corn. I'm gonna stop making corn boys. Frenzy is the worst. Frenzy is frustrating. We nearly killed oh. his guy though. Oh, Dr. Simon Clark is raided. Welcome. Hail. Um, Undead Innkeeper has donated twenty-five dollars. Very generous. Ooh, thank, you. thank you very much, Undead Innkeeper. And they say, Tom Ben, thank you for the years of sharing your awesomeness. Where am I from? Your. The High Five State. Bonus points. Uh, the city with a local. Hang on, the city with a singing local aerial network. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the year. Oh, don't look at it, because the answer's here. Um, Local aerial network. Area network, like a land. Oh. 
So you need to know the high five states, and they have a land. I don't. I've got no idea. Georgia. <laughs> That's a state. Yeah, I never would have got this if I hadn't read the answer. Holy shit. Uh, the answer is Michigan, apparently. It's the high five state. I had to call that. Really? Uh, bonus, Lansing, which I guess is the town. Oh. Okay. Oh, there you go. And, um, high five to you, Undead Innkeeper. Thank you very much. Michigan is shaped like a mitten. <laughs> oh, is it? What state am I? Oh. Okay. Every day's a school day on the Tom and Ben stream. Sure is. Never stop learning. Um, I feel like we're going to lose now. Yeah. What's happened? Bad. Should we turn off skirmish mode on those flamers? Do you reckon they can beat up a nearly dead unit of marauders? I've got no idea if these guys are like... Yeah. Got any punch or not. Flame has been hard to get a lot of value out of. Yeah, because they need line of sight, right? They need line of sight. They're not very long range. They're always getting blocked. Mm. They can't shoot over anyone. Yeah, I just, I, they were just kind of a high tier unit, so I thought I'd get a bunch of them. But didn't yeah, pay off. You just never thought something else. Bugger, I was hoping we'd wipe these guys out. They've been a pain in our ass for ages. This is their last settlement. Uh, Lokvik has donated and says, Tom and Ben, as always, I love the stream. If I'm not already a chump, could you please chump me up? Also, Oof. how does Tom feel about Rivian's toddy Googling? I don't think Tom's going to get it. Did Rithian, did Rithian not know who Toddy was? Well, there's a thing from an earlier Armchair Admiral stream where someone Googled Todd and they became a Todd Googler. And that's a bad thing. You don't want to be a Todd Googler. And then Rithian... Tried to find out something about Toddy, and then everyone realized he was now a Todd Googler. Why is it a bad thing? I can't remember. Just an Andre Arnold's meme. Yeah? I guess they, they don't have a lot of memes, right? <laughs> There's no Kremlo, is there? <laughs> There's no fucking Kremlo. <laughs> but what, that's, that's like their, that's their top meme. <laughs> you Googled the guy called Todd. <laughs> okay. Just don't Google Todd, or they will call you a Todd Googler for the rest of your days. Okay. Okay. Fuck, that was a wipe almost. Oof. Um, we lost Sonic Firestorm, Rip. We lost the new Plague Man. What was he called? The, annoyingly, it doesn't tell you on the screen. It'll come up in a minute on a okay. pop-up, actually. We'll find out then. Um, Kish Kebab is dead. Deadski Trevsky is dead. Tony of Earth is dead. Rip and tear your dicks. That Norwegian guy, Gildenstern. Don't eat the fish me. Power core, symbolic stance, Gabriel Nottingham, Robo Wizard. Ah, oh, Robo Wizard. And parenthesis. Ah, oh, fuck, the damn seduced Chaos Marauders lived. Um. Oh, yeah. At least they just go home. <laughs> Do they just go back to their thing? They got a load of XP as well. What the heck? Shit. Um, what the hell? Rip and tear your dicks. They've only got six kills. That's going to be like a good unit. Yeah. Um, wow. Rip. Oh, if only we had a follow-up army to, like, wipe them out. Yeah. Shit. Retreat. Um, oh, Deacon IX, of course. It was Deacon. Rip. Also ripped. Um, we need a new leader, and it's not going to be a corn boy. Sure, Slanesh one? They've never let us down. Sure. Give me a name for this. They can't be called Double O'Connor. You're in. You made it. You are in. Thank you, sir. Um. Okay, flee. Flee the battle. Uh, so Griswold Dudemeister. Don't it's five bucks. See Griswold Dudemeister. Is a Tom Ben Botgob reporting in. Can't wait for Blorco to lead us to victory. Thank you. 
Ooh, me too. If he doesn't die to Toddy. Chum. Um, oh, I see the word. Uh, oh, Leia! Birthday Leia! Chat's right! Oh, shit. Someone paid for a birthday Leia. Uh, it was it was Double O'Connor, the one we just named. Oh, well, perfect. Uh, birthday, okay. birthday, birthday, right. birthday. What haven't we had? Um, oh, Imperial Vehicles! God, this will be a fun one. Okay. What the fuck is the Imperial Vehicle section? Behave yourself, Ben. Feel a box, Tom. Something box shaped. Ooh! I'm excited. I'm gonna eat one of my birthday sweets while I wait. What the hell? Oh, Imperial Vehicles. Key. Okay, great. Is it a key? I've always wondered. Is that a dummy or a key or something else? No. What, do you, what do you call that, chat? Cockring. Cockring. Uh, who designed the original Metal Dreadnought model? Oh, my God. Um, Jez Goodwin. Uh, it's Bob Naismith. Classic Bob. Uh, what was the name of the Imperial Titan destroyed by the demon Sherebel? Oh, fuck. I've read that book. That's from the Eisenhorn series. <gasps> Cherubal. I always pronounced it. Don't know if oh, it's right. It might, it might not be right. Um, I forgot he killed a Titan. Oh, I've got no idea. I've read that book. Um, I don't know. Um, um, in Indomitus. Rex. It's a uh, Kruer Vault. <laughs> right. Close. Uh, wow. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay, right. Uh, what is the top, uh, what's the maximum airspeed of the standard land speeder? <laughs> oh, I bet it's surprisingly not as fast as you think it is. I'm going to say, like, 300 miles an hour. Ooh, it's 350 kilometers an hour. Oh, is that close enough? Um, <laughs> nice no. one, chat. Is that an no, African or European land speeder? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh, uh, ooh, what is this? Okay, well, um, what were the three original types of Imperial Dreadnought? Ooh, God, there's a million now. Um, Furioso. That's got to be one. Um, oh, fuck, I can picture them. These are the, like, Rogue Trader era dreadnoughts, right? Um, they all had angry faces. Um, oh, it's before the OG Boxy Boy. Yeah, before uh, the Boxy Boy. This was yeah. the um, the weird little wiggly ones. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to... I'm just... Um, they might have their names, though, Ben. I need a... Uh, okay. It's these boys. Yeah. That guy. Um, fuck. I'm pretty sure one was a Furioso. One of them might have been a Contemptor, that they re reused that name later. And then I'm going to go with Furioso, Contemptor, and... Um, Inferno. Oh, so there was the Fury Bundus, <laughs> shortened to Fury, uh, the Contemptor, which was Chuck, and the Dorito, which was Eddie. Dorito, of course. I remember that. Oh, fuck, I was kind of close. Uh, what is the unladen weight of the standard Phobos pattern Land Raider? I was about to say, I was going to say laden or unladen for Monty <laughs> Python. A Phobos class land raider, fully loaded. Un no. No, unloaded. Unladen. An unloaded land raider. Um, oh, holy shit. Well, a car, like a small car is like a ton, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like 20 tons? It's 72 tons, Ben. 72 tons? Big tank. 
What? Big, big heavy tank. That would fucking sink <laughs> like into the ground. Like, is that not too heavy to drive with? Um, the tracks aren't that wide. I honestly feel like that would just fall into the ground. But how much was the mouse tank weigh? <sighs> thousand tons. I feel like it was like a hundred tons. Oh, right? hundred tons. And the rat was a thousand. Yeah, but they never built the rat. Yeah, but it was like the theorized, right? Because this was like the biggest tank ever built. And they only built the prototype. They never like put it into production. Um, where's the weight on this thing? Mass. 207 tons. Oh, it's 200 tons. Okay. Oh, well, I guess 75 is, could exist then. Fine. I take it back. Uh, what real life vehicle was featured in Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader as the fabled mount of the mercenary bike warriors? What was the first part of that? <laughs> Sorry. What real life vehicle was featured in Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader as the fabled mount of the mercenary bike warriors? Oh, was it like a Harley Davidson? Uh, it's the Vincent Black Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to open my present. <laughs> Name uh, at least two features of vehicle recognition an Imperial infantryman should check before deciding to open fire or hold. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Is it those stripes the Imperial tanks have on the side? <laughs> <laughs> say you can just say anything you like um, uh, does it have well, just like markings right you gotta look for the logos like the imperial aquila at least like, two features of vehicle recognition and imperial infantry the silhouette or, and the insignia Ooh, no it's the turret the armament the track assembly the hull vox and signal masts. Oh, just check all those things before you shoot every time. Okay, right. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is a big old list. Uh, let's see if you can get all of these. <laughs> uh, which Imperial vehicles could GC the Colt armies use in second edition Warhammer 40,000? Okay, okay. Lehman Russ. Boom, yes. Sentinel. Yes. Chimera. Yes. Rhino. Yes. Predator. Yes. Basilisk. Oh, no. Ooh. You're going to have to be careful. How many wrong can I get before I'm out? I'll let you have two more wrong ones. Okay. And I'll give you a hint. Mm -hmm. There is one more Space Marine vehicle, and there is one more Imperial Guard vehicle. Okay. Because I remembered they could use Space Marine vehicles. That's why I went with, like, Rhino and Predator. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need two more vehicles, but if I get two more wrong, I'm out. Yeah. Um, but it's second edition, so a lot of vehicles didn't exist yet. I feel like you can take that space room one off real, real quick and easy. Wow, I feel like my my brain wanted to say Land Raider, but I wondered if that was like too special for Gene Steel Colts. I'm just gonna say um, you said Land Raider. I'm giving it to you. Yay! Tick. They can right. have Land Raider. Two guesses okay. at what the last Imperial Guard vehicle is that they can use. What was an early Guard vehicle? I don't know if Demolisher counts as a different vehicle to the Lehman Russ, or if it was. What other Guard vehicles are there? I'm surprised Basilisk wasn't on there. Um, I'm going to go with Demolisher. <laughs> One guess left. Um, Look at chat. Griffin? Oh, that's a good guess. That's probably what I would have guessed, but you're wrong there. Hellhound. It's not Hellhound. Because <laughs> I was gonna, oh, I was hoping you were gonna say Hellhound because everyone in chat was saying. Yeah. Uh, it was the um, Imperial Guard Land Speeder. Oh my God! <laughs> Which I never would have got. I, it. I oh. never thought you'd guess Imperial Guard Land Speeder. That's a, <laughs> that didn't. Ex a, that's a first edition thing. It didn't exist in second edition. Uh, but it even uh, says dropped when the Imperial Guard Codex removed that vehicle. Well, yeah, that's why I wasn't gonna say it. Here it was. Here it is. These cool guys. Look at them go. But yeah. Man, you do not want to break too hard in that thing. No, because you fucking <laughs> die. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Why? What is this one? Um, Marine Artificer Simagus discovered the means to create what Imperial tank? 
Hang on. Who discovered the Imperial Means? Simagus. Simagus. Uh, Razorback. Oh, it's the Land Raider Crusader. Oh. How many Space Marine Dreadnoughts took place in the largest recorded Dreadnought versus Dreadnought confrontation <laughs> which took place in the Third War of Armageddon? <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> um, 72. Ooh, 17. <laughs> oh, that's not many. I, I know, I've, I've seen tournament armies with more dreadnoughts <laughs> yeah, than that. Exactly. <laughs> wow. It's disappointing. Uh, you, f you failed every single Imperial Vehicles oh, thing. I guess I don't, I don't, know, don't know anything old. about Imperial Vehicles. Um, Your questions are so weirdly specific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so hard. <laughs> God. Uh, okay. Fine. Do you want an do you want an easy one? I don't want like a vehicles? super easy one. Like don't don't go to fucking pleb level because they have the <laughs> super easy. Give me like one step up from pleb level. Okay. Right. We'll go to veteran. So they have veteran imperial vehicles. I don't know if they have a veteran uh, imperial vehicles one. Veteran. History of the Imperium. How does that sound? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll try right. that. Let me just find the answers. Veteran. History of the... Oh, my God. These are fucking dumb. <laughs> are any of these tough? I mean, this was written before Horus Heresy got like oh, okay, super fleshed fine. out. It, like, I think a lot of Horus Heresy stuff was niche information in 2006. Yeah. Uh, what was the name of the Ogren who became famous bodyguard of Colonel Grace? Of the Katachan second. Was it Nork... Nork Dead Dog? Yeah! Yay! You did it, Ben. Ah, oh, present! 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 <gasps> it's the best layer yet, Tom! What did you get? <laughs> it's another birthday Whoa. onion! Not a second birthday <gasps> what onion! What a treat! What the heck? Oh, um, oh that's... Oh, man, oh that's really lucky. Oh, man, I... I could have eaten the other onion earlier. <laughs> there was another one. Second birthday onion. Wow. Ronald must <laughs> really like the event. Such a lucky boy. Where is my first onion gone? <laughs> have you lost yours? <laughs> oh, no, here it is. It's under the cart. Now I've got two. <laughs> oh, blessed day. <laughs> two birthday onions. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh. Monsieur, with this <laughs> double onion, you're really spoiling us. Man, think of, think of the things you could make. Oh, French onion soup. Oh, oh. This just makes the questions worse. How <laughs> 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 you go through all of those questions? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Second birthday. Oh, that's, that's great. Oh, man. man. That's really What can lovely. I make if I put all of my birthday treats together? <laughs> Jaffa cakes, Haribo, cider, um... Milky Bar Twix and <laughs> two onions. I'm going to make the best birthday cake ever. I feel like you could make some kind of uh, semi-tasty soup with the cider and the onions. I feel like that could uh, that could work. <laughs> I don't know about putting too much of the Haribo, Haribo or chocolate in there. Or maybe the Haribo can be like um, caramelized, like sugar. Oh, that could be good. And then the onions can be like fried in the in the caramel. That, that sounds just delicious. Mmm. This fight doesn't look fun at all. No, I think this might be a lose. Um, they've got a lot of this. bows. There's the snow leopard. Is that a character? Oh, let's have a look at him. War beast. War beast. There's the snow leopard. I've not seen him before. He's got cold feet, Tom. Oh, he's very cold feet. Let's warm those up, baby. Mmm. Give him a cuddle. Yeah, this, this feels like a big, big bad sad time. Yeah, but this is quite an important territory, so um, please don't lose it. I will do my best, but this is going to be a bit like that fight that we did before, but we got <laughs> more, more stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's true. We've got more stuff too. That makes you feel any better. Yeah, but not. I don't feel like that's much more. No, we were um, two turns off building the next um, layer of garrison upgrade. Uh, which is a shame. Chaos Mario 
Um, oh, there's a couple of people in chat asking how much the game is. Um, it's uh, it's not out yet. It's Total War Warhammer 3. It's out in like two weeks, I think, or a week, in a bit. And it's um, not cheap. I can't remember, it's like 40 or 50 pounds. It's a big one. Um, we're not uh, sponsored by them or anything at all, but no. holy shit, like, I feel I would happily pay 40 to 50 pounds for every single one of the Warhammer games. Yeah, I've had hundreds of hours out of all of them. Literally hundreds of hours. I've enjoyed them all um, mm. immensely. We're, we're big old Warhammer nerds. Yeah. That's our jam. Um, and I've not played a ton of uh, this one so far, but I've been very much enjoying a lot of the changes they've made. Boom. There you go. Chaos Knights of Bam. Ooh, Chaos Knights. Do you think it's... We're not a fucking brand risk. Nah. What are we? Time will tell. Play your rust. So. Um, Gassy Fox has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, Timmy and Billy, have you heard of the weapon the Flemish used during the Middle Ages? It's a large spike, a large spiked club called a Gogdendang, which means good day. Presumably because that's what you say to the person you hit with it. What does it look like? That sounds amazing. A large spiked club. I like clubs. Give it a good, give it a goog. Let's Google it up. I want to see a spiky club. Uh, God den dag. God den dag. Oh. 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 Is that I, the golden dag? Yeah, they have these in Battle Brothers. Have you played that? You can give. I have played. I played a bunch. Of it's that. actually incredibly strong weapon in that game. I've got no idea if it's actually like effective. It's just a big spike on a stick. <laughs> just fucking poke someone with it. It's kind of <laughs> yeah. cool. It's like a short spear, but heavier, I guess. Good, probably good for. Um, I guess you can still wang someone with the side, or you can give them the old poker poker. Yeah, pretty good at piercing armor, I guess. Going through yeah. like the plate mail. Club spear. Mm. It's cool. There you go. I like it. It's real thick. Dick. I think I'd still rather have a halberd, because that's yeah. a chopper and a poker. Chopper and poker. You know, and it's got reach. Feels like a good weapon to have. Yeah. I'm not saying it's the best. I just feel like it's one I could use for a bit until I got tired. Oh god, they'd be so heavy. And it would be heavy. I feel like I'd like a boom, morning star. Just club someone. I reckon I could fucking wang someone with one of those pretty pretty hard. <laughs> what, Witch King style. Yeah. Oh man, I'd love to have like a flail. Apparently flails didn't didn't ever exist. Really? It uh, was never a thing. No. Never a thing. I don't believe that. They're so prevalent. Never a thing. Apparently. Maybe. Uh, and that makes me sad, because I love the idea. Um. I mean, they're dangerous. I wouldn't want one. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> like, I've always loved kind of like chain weapons. They're always just ridiculous. Oh yeah, we're just ignoring that back of the butt. Oof. Just not enough, not enough mans to go around. Studded armor never existed. Really? You're ruining, ruining history for me. Guys. Can I have some more dollars? Um, Mega Harold has donated. Mega Harold. Suck it, lesser Harold. Yeah, all other Harolds <laughs> suck. Mega <laughs> Harold's here. God, that's just the name that always, always just sparks joy. <laughs> I know, it's a good one, isn't it? Just always, always makes me pleased. Um, they say, Rapunki, when he joined the Seven, Temba, his <laughs> arms open. Ben Edgar. When the Nihangs got battleshipped. Zima at Anzo. Shaka when the walls fell. Arnok at the race of Naftara. Kailash when it rises. Mirab with sails unfurled. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Mega Harold. <laughs> Thank you, Mega Harold. <laughs> That's a Star uh, Trek. That was a Star Trek. This is one of my favorite Star Treks. I know that. I know that reference. You get it now. 
I evolve. feel like we could actually communicate entirely through Warhammer memes at this point if we wanted to, in that Star Trek style. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. We'd just be like, you know, you could ask me questions and I could respond with Warhammer memes. You'd be like, oh, how did your game go? And I'd just be like, the brothers doom bond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that would work. That'd be fun. Um, what are you going to do about it? Toddy, his eyes wide. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just fucking Toddy. <laughs> okay. Wow, that Snow Leopard came in and has got pretty fucking wrecked. Bad call, my dude. Bad call. Well, oh, chat. Chat's exploding. What? <gasps> ben! What? I don't think I'm going to win this. There's another fucking... Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know there was another army. I don't think that this looks as possible now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what the heck? My boy. <laughs> oh, Ben marches army into forest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is... This is the fucking end times, my dude. Oh, no, we haven't really got anything to stop this army what if it breaks through here. Shit. You're not entirely sure what what you want me to do. I want you to die. You guys go up. Uh, Gifted Socks has donated $139. What the heck? That's a layer, Ben. That's a, more than one layer. They say, happy birthday, Pemperer. Chump me off if applicable. Or is it chop? Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. How do I not know which it is? Preferably something expendable, like that one orc in Lord of the Rings. Oh, man. Gifted Socks. If we had a, if we had a Bloto, it would be yours. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll certainly find you something. That is an incredibly Feel generous donation. Very kind. Thank you so much, Gifted Socks. <laughs> mm. Well, they're very chill. They're just pretty relaxed boys. <laughs> These guys are not. <laughs> These guys are not as chill. Uh, let's have a look. I want to see those Chaos Knights. Yeah, yeah, I just need to make sure everything's all right. My things are ticking over. Okay. God, there's a lot of fucking enemies. Where you got Chaos Knights? They've got a two plus save. They've got a fun hat. Sometimes a one plus save. Ooh, that's the dream. Uh, Gifted Sucks. Well, we're definitely going to do a layer. Thank you so much. As soon as um, Tom's not focus mode. Yeah, sorry. Oh, wow. Apparently, when you play Nurgle, your legendary lord can summon um, exploding Nurglings that act like Blotos. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. There's like five boys here. Just die. Well, they're fleeing. They're not going to rally, are they? Yeah, but I wish they'd just be dead. Yeah. It's really frustrating to wipe out units in this game. They don't like it. They don't like to do it. Uh, Dumpster, Dumpster D has also donated and says, Tom the birthday planner and Ben the birthday enjoyer. I've been enjoying Warhammer VODs for years and finally able to catch the boys live. Keep up the good work and make me a real stupid unit that's dumb and dies really stupidly. <laughs> I think it's any in our armies. There's not many noble deaths, is there? No. Hmm. Not enough money. You'll require more supplies. I guess Knights are getting shot by something. No. All right. No, it's because everything has a gun. Jeez. Oh, well, they've got shields, so maybe we can cycle charge them and like regen their shields and maybe cheese them real hard with those. That's the dream. I need some other units to come and do stuff for me. 
You guys come back. Where's my wizardo? Um, Frederick Yule, thank you for donating. Hey, happy birthday, Ben, and also hey, Tom. Praise Ronald for your birthday onion. You should listen to the Bretonian marching song, Chant de Lyon. The song also works great when painting the tiniest of toys. Happy birthday. Uh, Thank you, Frederick Yule. I shall, uh, I shall give it a goog. Um, Chant de Is that the song? Is that the marching song about the onion? As someone who doesn't speak French, I might not understand. Uh, it's fun. When are they going to start singing about onions? Oh, I'm feeling all birthday oniony already. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank you, Frederick. Um, Spike has donated fifteen dollars. Thank you, Spike. Oh, Spike, thank you, Shane. And oh they my say, God, that did so much Oh my damage. God, it really did. Um, little magic spell. Oh my God. Oh, what's his other spell? Is it needed? It's um, an armor reducto. Mm. So we've got forty-five mana saved up. So. Yeah, but I feel like if I can get them bottlenecked. Yeah, so. actually, I mean that was super effective. So maybe just more of those. And uh, so Spike says, hello, long-time Vodkobo, who hello. finally got to drop into stream to pay the tithe. I knew nothing about Warhammer before watching these streams, but I started playing Blood Bowl. I'm really looking forward to Warhammer 3. Back to the pits via the Goblin Goop Slide. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. That's an addition to my uh, headcanon now. Ooh. There's a Goop Slide. Oh, God. For the Vod Goblins. They're self-lubricating. Uh, that constant, like, stream <laughs> coming down. As they just... They, they slide down, they leave like a mucus trail as they go. <laughs> that ain't what you want. It's not what you the want. The old snail trail. That's what you got. <laughs> Man, looks like they just charged all their cabin to die. Yeah, but I got another um, big blasto into them. Oh, very and good. it did excellent damage. Oh, the corn boys are out. Yeah, right. Uh, they did not. Oh my god, there's so many! <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like I could do like a fun little defense for a bit, but my boys are not gonna hold. Holding up. Like there's just too many plebs around. Uh, Spicy C has donated $39. Ooh. Thank you, Spicy C. It's a Cornate Warlord Tom and Zinch Wizard Ben. I've been watching since the first XCOM and I've never been able to donate now. So here, now I can take my dono. Oh. Thank you, Spicy C. That's generous. Welcome. Welcome to the pile. Oh, man. I kind of miss the XCOM streams. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can talk Lewis into under equipping my boys again. Yeah. Because he was my Ben, and I was yeah. his Tom. What? I did the Tom work, and he did the Ben work. Does that mean I need to be Lewis's Ben? Oh, to complete the chain of the 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 old reach around. <laughs> the chain of streaming. Yeah, yeah. The human centipede. Streamapede. Ooh. <laughs> Uh. Oh, well, that's that's brought me a layer. We can do that after this battle, I suppose. 
I don't know how much uh, more work we're really getting done here. So they're now just bringing up shooters. Oh, uh, and we've run out of shooters. Yeah. Well, you fought valiantly. You basically wiped out the whole first stack. Yeah, like the first army actually managed to beat them, which feels good. Mm. I was a little worried about that, but now... Now they just brought up a hundred thousand archers. Now they've got a lot of boys. And it ain't, ain't going as good. Can we spend any of our like supply points? Is there any tower spots left, or are they all, all gone? Uh, they're basically gone. Basically gone. Yeah, yeah, you don't get many tower slots in this. No, I, yeah, like and they're kind of all in slightly wacky positions. Mm. Oof. Um, Flower Boy is donated. Thank you. Flower Boy. And they say, Dear Tumbleweed Tom and Bellflower Ben. Hey. Hola! Me got spoopy night haunt models. Ooh. Me thick pretty with flowers. Question. Me will paint skeletons soon. Which paints you recommend? My dissertation is killing me. Thank. Happy B days. Hmm. The morale broke and everyone just melted. Yeah, that's, that's the way it go. Um, the Nighthawk models. There's a lot of very good guides on YouTube. Or yeah. Like the internet that you should check out. Because it's so much easier to see what they're trying to say when you've got photos and videos to explain. It's really hard to paint, explain painting techniques. Especially like a ghost style paint, which is yeah. a bit more involved where you want to do like fades. Also, you can really get away with like lots of washes on those spooky ghosts. Mm. Yeah, like translucent, translucent, I can't speak. Translucent washes where you can see it lets the fade work so much better. Mm. Oh, that looks good fine. Many dead Kislevites. Uh, man, I don't know what that snow leopard is all about. Is that like a little weird character assassinator or something? I guess. Like, it feels a bit weird for a whole unit, just one little monster. Mm. Oof. Yeah, that second wave was just like good shit. Yeah, there's just so much of it. You wiped out the Griffin Legion. That's pretty cool. Which is cool. But. Oof. Sad. Um, oh, Double O'Connor. They didn't get away. That's a lot of knights. Shit. Yeah, they, they ain't living through that one. Nope. Rip. Rip Double O'Connor. Rip. Uh, Hordred Cool. And Vidask. Owie, owie. Oh, God, we're actually in trouble now. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh, well, Ben, you got a layer if uh, you can answer some questions. Yay, present! Right, which section haven't we had? Um, I want something that isn't just going to be fucking some weird dude's name. Ooh, alien and chaos vehicles. That's Ooh. When's that ever going to be bad? <gasps> oh my god, look how many stacks this guy sent in. So the, the, the Kislevs who took the Tower of Karak, he's Ooh. got the stack in there that you fought. They've got oh, another yeah. stack here, no. another stack here, another stack no, here, and another stack I'm here. Not. Wow, they really do not like, do not like us. Wow. And Blorko is very far away. That's a sad, sad time. Demon Prince. Holy moly. Okay, Ben. Yes. What's me. the maximum number of Tau troops that can be transported by a Tau Manta? Oh, God. Okay. A Manta can carry... I think it can carry four Devilfish. So are we going to Russian doll this shit? Um, and it also depends on battle suits. Each battle suit takes up like a certain number of spots for an infantryman. Um, 
Oh, man. There's so many different ways to answer this question. What's uh, the maximum number of Tau troops that can be transported? Well, according to this book, there's only one way you can answer it, Ben. 48. It's 188. 188? I guess if you don't put any vehicles or battle suits in, it can fit more infantry in? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, how many uh, Imperial encounters have been recorded with Necron pylons? <laughs> Fuck, so back in 2006, when that was the only four-droid model Necrons had. Yeah. Um, three. Seven. Oh. oh, of course, I forgot about the Kadrak 4 yeah. incursion. That's the one. Uh, what's the... Ooh, this, this you should know. What's the name given to the variant of the Vampire Raider which forgoes transport capacity in favour for increased armament? They just released a miniature for this. For Adeptus... Oh, Air Space Imperial Aeronautica. Shit. Because this didn't exist in Epic. Because they had the Phoenix Bomber and the Vampire Raider. If it was an Epic unit, I'd remember it. Um, I don't know. The uh, what's an Eldari plane name? Uh, the Void Hunter. Oh, it's the Vampire Hunter. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, what Tau vehicle is the larger version of the Barracuda fighter? Serves as a fighter bomber. Oh, um, the Tiger Shark. Hey! Hey! You did it! I've got two of those in Epic. Yeah, you do. Boom. Crack Hooray. yourself. Crack yourself. Open a layer. I there. got a layer. Crack yourself. Open a layer. <laughs> Hope it's another birthday onion. <gasps> Even better. What did you get? We've got party poppers. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Hooray! Is it wrong that I really like the smell of those? No, that's <gasps> fine. Double Milky Way. Wow. That's one for each onion. <laughs> that's fun to go with every <laughs> onion you have. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for my Milky Ways, Ronald. What a layer! Good job! God, I'm gonna clean all this fucking mess up. Yeah. <laughs> there is party poppers and wrapping paper fucking everywhere. Um, you did. You're doing great. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, Smuggledwurf for the next five bucks. Thank you, Smuggledwurf. Thank you. It's a benevolent <laughs> emperor birthday boy, Ben. And oh, hi, Tom. Oh, hi, Tim. Oh, Tim. I don't even know my name. <laughs> Uh, I'm horrified we're of this frozen pea sandwich, but it's still not as bad as the weird ketchup jam cheese monstrosity. There was no jam with in a, that thing. With a pint of gravy to wash it down. <laughs> anyway, what's your favorite Blorco law? Um, what was that fucking sandwich? It was peanut butter, it was, ketchup, it was, it's cheese. It's butter, peanut butter, cheese, and ketchup. <laughs> and you can't knock it until you've tried it. <laughs> <laughs> why no why no peas why no peas <laughs> why no <laughs> that's, every time I have a sandwich I'm just like why are there no peas where are my peas I specifically asked for extra extra peas <laughs> my god my god Ben oh wow oh. monster <laughs> And your favourite Blorco Law? Um, my favourite Blorco Law is that he is vastly inferior to Toddy, oh, yeah. like to a <laughs> massive degree. To the fact that, like, despite the fact he's like massively overleveled, five times his size, covered in like runic charms and magic spells, he can't even put a dent in Toddy. Yeah, like we were watching that, and the whole time I was like. Block is gonna fucking destroy this. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna come out with like he'll lose ten percent of his health. <laughs> Todd, you'll just be destroyed. It'll like, be great. We turned the um, camp like the HUD off because we yeah. were so secure. And no, he got his ass fucking kicked by a super underleveled, badly skilled Toddy. Yeah, he didn't have any yellow skills. Apparently, he gets a new regen rule. Oh, um, accordingly. Really? But Is it? He still Ooh. shouldn't have been able to win that. Yeah. Insane. 
So yeah, Toddy, uh. Toddy fucked up Blorko, so that's a fun, <laughs> fun bit of lore. Maybe Blorko's not all that. Yeah. I kind of think that maybe the, the shield thing, you're supposed to use it hit and run. Because once that shield yeah. is gone... Uh, You've probably given up a lot of stats for that. Well, because when you take shield, almost all of those things that would be you take instead of having a shield have armor on. Mm. And so actually he's quite squishy without Yeah, shield maybe up. he should be more of a skirmisher. Yeah. It's fair. Um, so yeah, that's lore. Um, eh, Maria! Maria! Uh, these five bucks, thank you. Eh, Maria! It's a party starter, Tom. A birthday boy, B. Trans Bob Goblin here. It's nice to see the Yogs build a community supportive of us. I have an old 2009 Tau starter box from my childhood I never finished. What's your favorite Tau unit? Chop me up. Mm. Uh, as a unit named Emma. I, I like the ghost keel. I think that's a cool looking battle suit. Is that the medium one? It's the one that jerks you off. Um, Ooh, okay, that one's good. It's like the stealthy, it's the big stealth suit. Is it, I, it just mainly because it looks like a, um, it looks like a Titan. Oh, uh, okay. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's just quite coolly proportioned and it like fights behind enemy lines. It, mm. fake, it has like a, um, Stealth field. Oh, and I can man, just... I love people that do like uh, this paint job. Mm. It's so fucking actually, cool. This one's even better because normally they do it like with texture or gravel or something, but yeah. I actually quite like it going That's... from the black and white, the, the, like the, yeah. the grayscale That's into the really, color. Like really subtle. I think it, uh, if this, like the colored part popped, like it was a brighter color mm. or a bigger contrast, but it looks so fucking good. That um, one's quite cool. Uh, I quite like a lot of the battle suits. Almost all of the battle suits I like, especially broadsides. Oh, um, the new broadsides look great. But what is the thing called? Is it like the... <laughs> what part jerks you off? So there's just this like obscure lore about how the pilots fall in love with the AI that runs the suit. And um, and they, they have, um, you know, they're behind enemy lines for a long time. And what happens in the field stays in the field. They get lonely. With nothing but like their Cortana for company. I quite like I quite like these guys. Oh, the Tetras. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're very cool. Um, I like because the Tau have got like legit scout units. They've got the marker lights, which is like yeah. a laser target like finder. So I really like that they have like a cool like recon unit that no one else really gets anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, the Tetras are good. Look, there's, there's a lot of good boy. A lot of Tau stuff that I really like. Um, oh, fuck. Um, boom. Uh, best thing. Boom. There you go. This. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big roly-poly ship. It's not even a sphere. Oh, my God. Look at look at building that fucking yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> you drop it, it just fucking explodes. <laughs> just why? Why does the crew have this? I don't understand. And it just rolls through space. Like, is it maybe like, it's a gravity thing, right? I think it's like no, they're all on like a big treadmill inside. <laughs> it's like a fucking hamster wheel. Right. That's how we always like imagined it. Uh, the fucking crew war sphere. Super dumb. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. Oh, well, they've got all the um, demiurg, Nick Sardau. Yeah, that's cool. Baby spheres was that a thing? I thought they only had like the big. No, one. I think that's homemade. Oh, okay. I don't remember those ever getting released anyway. Oh man, I had this fleet. Hmm. The Forge World one was much nicer the than Forge the Forge World one compared to the fucking Games Workshop one, which mm. were some of the worst looking models I think Games Workshop had. Look, ever here we go. They can compare. So this is the, the Forge World Tau fleet for Battlefleet Gothic, which looked pretty rad and fit the aesthetic of Tau ship. It looked a lot like Tau, Tau stuff. And then. This was the... No. No, that's a homemade one. Hang on. Um, this was the, the official... Yeah, see, the, the frigates, um, the escorts, all all absolutely fine. Yeah, They're big but those ships. battleships just looked real shonky. They looked like they were from like some terrible third-party spaceship game. Yeah, they, li they just looked like nothing. Uh, will you give me a big picture, please? No. 
Yeah, like what is that? It's that it's just really like just turrets and lumps stuck together. Because uh, at the time, like the Gothic models were so detailed, mm. like there was so much like texture, so much mm. greebling going on on them. Whereas these were just big panels of just like a bump here or there. Yeah, none of it really made sense. They were really ununiform. Hated it. Really, just yeah. boring, lame ship designs. I quite like the um, the. S Even then, they're just not as good as the four-jawed ones that came later. Like, yeah, the yeah, ones the four-jawed ones were just way. really good. Really liked them. Mm. So yeah, bam. There's a lot, a lot of the tail tail vehicles. I always kind of wanted to make like a tail battle suit army. Yeah. The, most the, the thing that stops me is the um, crisis suits, which are the mainstay, are the um, the least the least cool looking ones. You know, the bigger ones are all great. Like the broadside looks cool. I wonder if you could convert um, convert like cooler crisis suits from from broadsides because like the, the first one was a bit well, chunky and lame, but then they brought out like this guy. But the old awesome. crisis suits were really static, and the later gen ones were a lot more poseable. That's only the commander. No, um, they did upgrade. Did they actually update, update the the basic boys as well? They did become more. Oh, poseable. I didn't know they. Um, he updated them because this is how I imagine them, like yeah. Boxy boys, but no, they um, because they basically like you had to have them stood pretty static, but they gave them a lot more posability in the joints. Oh, that's cool! Oh, that looks so good. Changing Putting, the head makes such a difference, and the also, shoulder pads, giving it shoulder pads, um, giving them hands, yeah, because normally they just have the weird little like the stubs. three finger stubs, You're right? These little changes, literally just sticking a shoulder pad, a head, and a hand on it, makes it look so much cooler than this guy. Yeah, he looks more like a Lego boy. Yeah, I do agree. Oh man, like that guy on his knee, like oh, they're yeah. fucking ace, really nicely painted. Oh shit, they're really cool. What's this one? Is that is that the commander suit? That big yeah, the commander suit's got longer legs. But yeah, they're cool. I do actually quite like their um, Titan one. They're I one get them those, mixed up. There's quite a few of them. They're one of those, those big fucking thighs. Oh, the Thunder Thighs guy. Yeah. Like, um, those, big, oh, those big thighs. Do you mean this guy? Look. No, the next one. The one with that the big one. gun. Yeah, look at those fucking, all oh, those thighs, <laughs> man. He doesn't even have arms, does he? Yeah, but he's cool. He's still fun. I don't care for the, don't really care for the, the bigger one. I kind of guy? don't think that Tau should have a Titan that size. Well, yeah, because in Epic, they always had, um, instead of Titans, they had basically orbital spacecraft would come into orbit and like fly around it. You know, like they had, a, like the Manta Ray was that one of their like, Battlefleet Gothic scale fighter ships yeah. would fly down to the planet and you'd have this enormous giant flying thing. fortress that goes over. Yeah, like an Independence Day kind yeah, of mothership. Does like blasting. I always liked that. that that was their version of a Titan. It was quite different. Yeah, yeah, like really cool. It was a nice different style. You know, they didn't want to be stuck into like static warfare. Um, yeah, again, hands and head change. The hands do really, really help. Also, I've seen some like really nice ones where. People have got, uh, you can get, I don't know what you call them, special effects for your oh, yeah. anime figures. Yeah, like um, like a sh crackling shield dome. Like crackling shields where they've got like, you know, cool anime blastos, blasto things. Do you mean like um, this kind of like thing? Like that. Oh, it looks like so cool. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Like a, the bullets are hitting the force field. Like. Ah, like, it looks so good. Like love really it. cool. Um, really like that style. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, they're pretty rad. Mm. Yeah. Pretty rad. Cool. Um, right, what are doing? Okay, we're recruiting a new army. Now we've got to choose. Blorco could run on home to try and save the day, or he can jump in this portal. Whatever you want, baby. Oh. Whatever you want. I feel like we've we missed the last portal, so we kind of have to do this one. Sure. Um. Oh shit! No. I told Sven to finish this I one settlement you. off. Sven is a liability. Like, we wiped out Nordland. They resettled this one before we could finish them off. It was hardly anything there, so I said, Sven, go get it. I'll go off. 
and he didn't fucking do it, and now there's a 20 stack of <laughs> shit spearmen, presumably, there. They come and, come and give us the hurt. Oh, god damn it, Sven. Um, okay, we need to rename these new demons, and then we're going to jump in that port. Sure. Um, what did we recruit? We've got flamers? They could be called Emma. You're in. Flame me a river. Uh, we got a new blue horror. Flower boy. And Forsakens? Uh, that can be uh, spicy. And then we've got this new general. Perfect. Oh, they could be gifted socks. Perfect. All right, into the portal we go. Which demonic <coughs> lair should we invade? Never. Oh god. We got a cornland, plague land. Why does cornland have a little star? That's where um, the Kislev army's gone. So we guess I. We could go there and try and two birds with one stone it. Knock out Kislev. Stop them getting a, a ding. What, what have people already got? Uh, Kislev have already done Zinch. Oh. I guess we could go. Or is that just going to be even harder? Then we need to be like fucking in and out so we can get home and... Yeah, probably. That will slow us down and make it harder to do. Let's go to Sexland. Sexy land! So I guess we just flew over Nurgle land. Is that sex land? That's the sexy land. This is the corn land. Angry land. It's pretty crazy. Magic land. Oh, no, this looks a bit... Oh, that's just looks looking sexy already, sexier. isn't it? There's tentacles. So we have to go to each of the four realms, defeat a demon prince, claim their soul. And once we have all four demon prince souls, we can go to where Bear is. Okay. Why? Because um, he's behind a magic force field. Boy, do we need all of these people's souls. Because we can't get to Bear Land because there's a force field in the way. Okay. Wow. Sex land. Very sexy. Hmm. Confronting Slanesh's champion will not be easy, for they are found within the six circles of seduction. Ooh. As you journey inward, you shall be tempted. In the center lies the palace of Slanesh, a monument to perpetual lust, excess, and debauchery. Hmm. Mm. Slanesh, the palace of Slanesh. Um. Enter each circle of seduction through the gates. If you accept the riches and sins on display, you will be ejected from the realm in progress lost for the reward claimed. Oh shit, so it's gonna keep offering us, like, if you leave now, you can have all this stuff. Ooh. Um, many of Slanesh's servants will try to seduce you. And there are others that do not welcome your presence. Demon hosts will attack. Uh, it's not a realm for mortals. The longer you spend here, the more your mind will become unhinged and your lords are fixed with chaos traits. However, this can be mitigated on the mortal plane through buildings from the production protection chain. Okay. We have to go there. Into the Yonic Tower. Mm. Meaty. So meaty. It's Yonic and Phallic. That's the power combo. That's what you want. Uh, right, that's it. He's used up his turn. Okay. So that's over here, sort of, sort of on the map. Uh, boar bound. Today six bucks. Thank you, boar bound. Thank you. They say, oh well, back to the pile I go. It's always six in the morning, but I wanted to be here for second birthday. Take Aww. my filthy uh, Australian dollars and name something really cool after me, like I can watch die in the vod. Kramlo went back to space nice. because he was too tired. Aww. Thank you, Boarbound. Have a good sleep. Uh, spooky Boogie. 
uh, it's next 10 bucks. Ooh, spooky Boogie. Thank you. And uh, they say, Krabnos Forsaken Tom and Kragnos Favored Ben. Uh, happy birthday, Ben. Godman here. Dirty Vod Boy and even filthier Stream Vermin. Wow. Uh, the only Warhammer slash Lawhammer content creators that matter. <laughs> Thank you for all the amazing content. Crablo came from space. Oh. oh. Thank you, Spooky Boogie. Thank you. Uh, and Diamond Boots takes three bucks. Thank you, Diamond Boots. And they say, Tubal and Bolgo. Uh, quite a few weeks ago, I ordered the Admec Battle Mech Force, mm. but it only arrived now. Oh. Oh well, between that and the combat patrol, uh, I'll have many fun minis to build. Mm. And Skittles. So many Skittles. <laughs> Skittles? Also, I haven't slept at all tonight. Sad face. Oh, sad face indeed. Skittles. You mean like Skittari? Is that their nickname? They're called Skittles. That's a fun, it's a fun thing to call them. It does, it works. I like it. I think it's a fun, mm. fun way to refer to them. Hmm. Uh, the Ronaldo doing five bucks. Thank you, the Ronaldo. Thank you, Ronaldo. And they say, Tom and Ben, all praise. <laughs> all this praise of Ronald has compelled me to remind you that while Ronald may sometimes forsake you, the Ronaldo you is always with you. I do this out of concern, and certainly not jealousy of Ronald. <laughs> Happy certainly belated not. birthday, Ben. Ronaldo Thanks. is with you. Thank you. I cannot be stopped. Uh, cheese balls. 472 to next nine bucks. Mm. Cheese balls. I say, Tom and Ben, this is my first time dono, long time lurker. Mm. Just started my first Empire campaign last week and almost immediately got destroyed by Chaos slash Dark Elf Rogue Army. So here's hoping my second campaign goes better. Oh, yeah, jeez, you're gonna get blasted. Blasted hard by a whole load of armies. Yeah. Constantly. Um. Ooh. Yeah, the Rogue Armies are a bit of a bit of an oof. I didn't know that rogue armies turned up in the empire, but yeah, usually your first go at a new campaign. Well, we don't actually have enough cash. Oh, he's also got a defiler. Ooh, that's a bad. That's a bad time for everyone. I didn't know that. We might be a bit behind the curve here. Yeah. Thanks. You got exalted demonettes. This is the first army we've come up against. They've got quite a lot of good boys. Yeah. Good luck, Tob. Oh, should we try running away? Sure. We avoided them. Okay, that's good. That's good. You are nothing to me. Oh, Throt. Oh, God, Throt. Every time we talk to him, he has more enemies. <laughs> Skaven make good, reliable partner allies. Yeah, do they? <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever said that in the history ever. No. That's just a filthy lie. God. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, okay, I'm really glad we avoided fighting that stack, but now yeah. I'm terrified of what we are going to fight. Yeah, we just need to run. Can you um just demon jump down the uh, all the layers? He's going to guess not, because that would be pretty... Yeah, no, the disabled teleport starts yeah. in the war. Um, I guess we can just keep ahead of them at all times. Me. Yeah. Oh, I can go go through this gate. Sure. <gasps> the circle of oh my god, fifty thousand bucks! Whoa! Already tempted. <laughs> Already, <laughs> god, I'd be so bad at this. Because <laughs> we could do that fifty thousand bucks. We we could make a whole new stack with that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Run. No, leave. Move on. Because there's going to be better temptations. They shouldn't have told me I've got to survive six of them. <laughs> so you know that you shouldn't go for the first one. Never take the first off, Because it's, right? it's always going to be better later. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we must move on. Jeez, we should have done this in the first um, yeah. First time the, the, the portal. Yeah, away. fuck. I didn't realize that was a thing. I didn't know that's what was going to be here. If people have told me there was going to be temptations, I'd have yeah. succumbed way early. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, I don't think we're going to be able to afford a stack. Oh, uh, if you get a couple of grand. Um, maybe if we build some, like, shitty marauders to bulk it out. Let's get some, um, just regular. What do the boys, or what do the whippy uh, boys do? 
Shielded meat shield. That sounds great when your unit's called a meat shield and it costs more than your basic troop. <laughs> Just get like three units of marauders to bulk it. So, um, uh, add eight. Uh, do these five blocks need add eight? Is it greetings, Tom and Ben and Ben and Tom? Greetings. Merry Birthmas to the best boy Ben. I need a name for a D and D bad guy who is an evil monk slash cultist. Any good suggestions? Much appreciated. Uh, the thing is, I I don't think in, in roleplay you want to be giving names that match what they are. Unless it's obvious. I don't know. If he's like a sneaky boy, don't call him like, um, you know, Sorath Darkmane or whatever. Like, that's an amazing name. That's obvious. That. He's obviously a fucking villain. Um, you know, if you want it to be a person. But it, I guess if you know, if you, this guy's an evil cultist, then you can give him an evil cultist name. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you could call him like, I don't know. Um, yeah, Sorkoth Darkmane. Why not? You, you're better at names, right? Uh, call him. What could, like? I need more, more, because like, what sort of monk? What mm. sort of cultist? I need like a, a few more like details. Can you give us more details? Are you here? I guess a monk wants to have like a, um, like a long, like a multi-syllable name. They want to be called like Tobias or, um, Sorogoth. They live in the mountains. Okay. Yeah. Are they a human? Are they uh Sidious Doom Punch? <laughs> like that. <laughs> They're affiliated with air. They're like an air, okay. air chap. <laughs> <laughs> like Doom Punch is a fucking name. That's cool. Uh um, okay, something with the air. What's like a good hmm. The wind. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I always I find names really hard to do, to be honest with you. I've never been good with, with making up names. Uh, Dimitri the dirigible. <laughs> Um, oh, oh army Zephos flag. Windbreaker is a pretty <laughs> fucking good <laughs> that name. That one! Zephos That's Windbreaker! It's a pretty fucking good name. Because if you say it like really deadpan, yeah. people might not think he's farting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Or maybe you change the name Wind for like a, you know, a homonym with a synonym of Wind, but yeah. not actually Wind. You know, like he's Airbreaker or, um, uh, not Gust. What other words are there? <laughs> I need a Thesaurus. Gust Breaker, Gas Breaker, Breeze Breaker. Oh, Breeze Breaker's not bad. Um, mm, wafting, Whiff. <laughs> whiff Breaker. <laughs> A breeze breaker's all right. Breeze breaker works. Yeah. There you go. But is the, instead of Zephos at the front, can you get a, a? Is there a good B name? A B. I like just the alliteration, like you know. Oh, right. I thought I was thinking Balth of bees, Balth the insect. No, but like <laughs> Balthazar B, Balthazar <laughs> breeze breaker. Yeah, there you go. There. People will remember that for sure. Um, I'll try running away from this if I can. Boreas oh, is God of North. Sure, Boreas Breezebreaker. That's not that's not a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Balthazar Breezebreaker it is. Love it. There you go. <laughs> Solved. We did it. Can I open a present now, Tom, before we do a long battle? Please. Please, Tom. Well, uh, from somewhere, then it's 39 bucks, Ben. Oh, from somewhere. Thank you. They say Tom and Ben. I hope you are doing well. My fiance and I got a rescue cat. Aww. Six years old, has only one tooth, Aww. and is allergic to chicken. Aww, Despite that, like a right special case. he's the most, <laughs> most uh, loving cat we've ever known. We love our dopey orange cuddle bug. Aww. My cat, when I was a kid, had to have his teeth removed because they got rotten. And um, then his tongue always stuck out because his teeth wouldn't hold the tongue in. He was like, um, all the time. That's super cute. One tooth ginger cat. What a cutie. <laughs> so 
<laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, I like that. I love it. Thank you, From Software. Uh, from somewhere, obviously. Um, what, pre what question do I have to answer to open my present? Well, we're going to find you in the news section. Uh, okay, right, here we go. What do you want? Famous battles? Hmm. Not had that yet. I'm just worried if the answer's going to be all super fucking boring. Yeah, Garalax 9. That'll be one of them, for sure. They look kind of boring, but we can try a couple of these. Okay. The battle for Messina Hive took place on which world? Oh, uh, Armageddon. It's Bladen. Oh. Shit. Bladen. Bladen. What the fuck? <laughs> it's Bladen. Uh. Oh. The... <laughs> I love how none of these answers ever have any context. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, which Orc War started on Gylus the second? Gylus two. Uh, uh Gazgal. No, it's Wag Gogard. Oh, Gogard. Classic. Okay, right. Gogard. We're going to go to something that will be more. Interesting. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we'll get to that one. We'll get to that one in a second. Uh, I wanted to go to the Zinch section. I thought that'd be fun. Oh, yeah. But Horus Heresy, old school Horus Heresy. Oh, yeah. You'd be able to do that. So this, these may not be no longer correct because this book would have been written before the novels came out. So some of this stuff might have got retconned. Uh, which Orc Warlord was beheaded by the Emperor himself during the battle in which over 100,000 Greenskins died for the loss of only three Custodian Guard? Oh, wow. What's the name of the Orc? I don't know. Grog, Gog, Gog, Nog. It's Garkle Blackfang. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, which ancient sword... Is carried by Azriel, Supreme. Oh no, that's not. That's a bit gross. sort of secrets. Uh, no, I was, I'm doing Horus Heresy. <laughs> uh, on which day of the siege of the Imperial Palace did the Emperor teleport onto Horus's oh, battle bar? Oh God. Okay. On the 14th day of Secundus, the bombardment began. That's the classic opening line. How long did the siege last? I feel like it lasted like three months. So that would be, I don't know what three months after Secundus is. I don't know why I'm trying to work this out. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever May is in the Imperial calendar. <laughs> Quintus. On the 28th of Quintus. Uh, it's the 55th day. Oh. oh, that is like three months, though. Well, not really. That's like Three months is month like 60 days. I was five days off. No, three months. Uh, there's like 30 days in a month. Yeah, so 60. Three months. 60 days. That's two months, Ben. Oh, Ben. You're talking about 90. You're confusing... I'm uh, confusing 60 and 90. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at it upside down <laughs> oh, okay. in my brain because I'm an idiot. I'm tired, all right? I've been up since 6 a.m. <laughs> this is why I'm getting my Warhammer wrong. I haven't had my presents, and I'm cross. Uh, in the Horus Heresy collectible card game, how many flags is the Horus card oh. worth? Okay, so the Horus Heresy card game existed for like six months before it went out of, um, <laughs> like that is a real old reference. You couldn't even buy it in the shops. Like it was so short lived. Um, how many flags? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> um, oh my God, four. Uh, it was 11. <laughs> oh, of course. Fine. Um, Okay, we'll do, we'll go easier then. We'll go back to the trooper section. <laughs> How many points are there on the Chaos Star? Come on, it's eight. But <laughs> come on, come on. All right, do you want a veteran one? Uh, which was the first world in Ultramar to be invaded by High Fleet Leviathan? Oh. I don't know, McCrag did get invaded by High, High Fleet Leviathan, but it wasn't the first one. Mm. Um, 
Tyran. Tyran. Uh, I've got to find the answer I section. Did. That was the first world invaded by the Tyranids, but it might not have been in Ultramar. Really? Mm. Really? Really? Where is that? Uh, oh, no, it's... Um, What did I just ask you? Something about oh, number seven. Hopefully, sure. seven. Sure, it was uh, Prandium. Prandium, of course. Which Hiveport was attacked by Orc submersibles during the Third War of Armageddon? Oh my God! Um, Hell's Reach. Yes. Yay! It's Hell's Reach, man. You did it. Congratulations! Uh, you can open up a, a bit of your thing. Yay! Present! Present! Can do, can I do have got present. a present! We must be getting to the end now. Ronald has made many layers, Tom. I can see it's getting smaller, so... <laughs> it's getting smaller. It's a Kinder Bueno! Ooh. Delicious! Congratulations! Yeah, not every uh, layer is a winner in the... Uh... <laughs> so much chocolate, Tom. This is literally going to keep me in sweets for the next, like, six months. I'm sure the, bo the boy can the help The boy me. can help me. Oh. Um, bam. Well, uh, that was all thank you to From Somewhere. Thank you, thank you From so, Somewhere. Uh, right. Okay, we've got... Um, Cantonim has donated as well. Thank you, Cantonim. And they say, hey, Tom and Ben. I've just found this series, and I've been loving it. If you name a unit after me, call it Chegg. 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 Thank you, dude. You're welcome. Enjoy. If you've only just found us, we've got like five years of VODs you could check out on the Yogg oh. Live channel. Save yourself. Flee. <laughs> Flee now. <laughs> you still can. Yeah. That way, madness lies. <laughs> I wonder how many hours of Tom and Ben playing Warhammer there are. Too many. Right, there are not hundreds, maybe. Too many. The aesthetics are lethal. Right, and Reformed Ocelot has donated and says, Howdy, lads. Howdy, partner. And happy late birthday, Bon. Yes, Was just wondering if either have seen one of the other recent movies, Color Out of Space. It's a great adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft book with the madness of Nicolas Cage acting. Um, I did up. watch it. Yeah, uh, I wanted to see it. It's cool. Although that movie suffers a lot from... That story is all about a color that cannot be described. Cannot, right. You cannot describe it. That does work better in a uh, non-visual medium, uh, like a novel. But the problem with that movie was that color was pink. <laughs> <laughs> I want to spoil it for you <laughs> for the whole time. Yeah, they're like, what is it? Lad. It was pink. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there you go. Just uh, help. Oh, uh, shit. Like I said, I don't need to watch that now. Help solve that. That little mystery. Fuck me, these guys are fast. Ooh, don't want that. Slanesh units fast, yeah. Uh, but really fast. Do they have um... a 10 inch move? They can march 20 inches. Oh, wow. <gasps> they got whipped. I think they probably like that. Um, there is some great llama action in that movie. I will definitely say. Llamas? Are they llamas? Or no, they're alpacas. Oh, I love alpacas. Um, Puzzly. Maybe pink didn't exist back in Lovecraft's day. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's a modern invention. Maybe. Um, I know, but I, I enjoyed the movie. It was kind of, kind of goofy. Um, but it was fun. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I do find, like, it's hard to pull off cosmic horror in a film. Man, um, if you want good, oh, if you want a good Lovecraftian feeling thing, mm -hmm. I watched Archive 81. Archive 81? And honestly, it is the most Lovecraftian thing I've ever seen. Um, I watched um, a fucking weird, like, sort of body horror do you think it'd be better if it was black film. and white? I think. It, oh, black and white. And picture check Oh, no. I feel like Color Out of Space, if it was black and white, I think would actually be better. What if the undescribable color was like the Gary's Mod texture missing? Yeah, that'd be cool. Like black, be black and pink. A bit like meta. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, I'll go with 81. I haven't heard of that. I might check it out. There was another film, a cosmic horror film I watched maybe three or four years ago that you've seen as well. The Ritual. Where they're in a, like a hospital. The... Uh, and there's a cult. Uh, the Void. The Void. That was it. Yeah, I really liked The Void. Um, so, when I say... Um, Archive 81 is the most Lovecraftian thing I've seen. There's no, it's not, there's tentacle monsters, it's not gory. The sort of um, existential crisis, this idea of like, are they going mad? Is this stuff real? Or oh, okay. are, are the people crazy? Like mm. this constant feeling of not knowing what is real and what isn't. Oh, but it's done cool. really nicely. It is quite slow, mm -hmm. but I, Really enjoyed it. The premise was really good. Okay, um, cool. The acting was great. The main dude was amazing in it. Really, really liked him. Um, I, I highly recommend if you want something Lovecraftian, but it isn't just like a tentacle a fish man monster fest. Yeah. Well, I always found that the least interesting parts of those stories. Maybe yeah. Once, once you know that what the monster is, it's not. Very oh yeah, it's not. It's not spooky. It's just like oh, it's like a it's a fish man. A fish great. man. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> God, all these boys are getting a fuck up. What's this? What is that? What's happening? I ha Do you not see the magic wheel I have? Yeah, I don't understand. Me neither. Oh, fuck. They're breaking through. This is going... The heroes are getting wrecked. Yeah. Those heroes. Oh, I see minute. Heroes down. Yeah. Do something, Blorco. Save us. He's casting spells. Got level two chaos somatic, whatever that does. Strong damage, strong versus 25 or above. Zyza has done it. Zyza. $6.90. Nice. Nice. So I was clean for 17 years. Now I'm back on the plastic crack. Uh oh. Thank you, Pusher, Ben, uh, uh, and Peddler Tom, for waking up my old love for tiny little toys. I even read some 40k books for the first time because of all the dumb lore I heard on this stream. Thanks. I feel like you haven't been listening. <laughs> no, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Good for you. Uh, Red Kite has donated, thank you. This is Tom and Bon. I have moved. Time for Where Was I From? <laughs> okay, love it. Perfect. A town in the north of England, known for water, tea, and gin. Um, York. If you get it, Bon, can unwrap another layer. Blooka, 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 blooka. Oh, it's called the York, right? I, don't, I haven't heard of Yorkshire gin, but it's in the north, and they have tea. It's up north. And they have water there. That's true. No one's gonna, no one's gonna deny that. The screen's gonna fuck you again. The screen has gone fuck you again. Um, Liverpool? I'm gonna go with York. Is that right? Are you here, Red Kite? Are you here? Red Kite, they said very close. Oh. Um, Harrogate? Really? Hull. Hull's not near York. Famously a town, not a city. I don't know. I don't know. We're not very good at geography. That's why we never win this game. Chat got it. It's Harrogate. Oh. Oh, bam. They would have guessed. Does that mean I can ramp a layer? I guess I no, didn't you get didn't it. get it. You didn't get it correct, Ben. No. You're naughty boy. Oh. Um, <gasps> Shit, our boys. Yeah, beautiful man, boys. They, like, just did not pull their weight at all. No, they got giga wrecked. 
Um, Honey Monster died. Yeah. Oh, like, rank seven pinkies. No, they broke through the front line and just ate them. Um, Ouch. Those Slanesh Cav are insanely fast. Wow. Who did well here? Oh, Ash the Slanesh Cav. And Pirita Benny did very well. Mm. Um, oh, wow, the, fly the flies didn't pull their weight like they normally do. They, were, I just had to use them to block. Mm. Um, oh, Physics Duck did very well. 5,000 damage. So wait, I think these guys... I don't know. Someone. Someone did a lot of blasting into um, the old... Uh, the Their robot. Mm. Robo, robo crab. Shit, these guys got zero kills. <clears throat> Mr. Schlippy. Come on, my dude. They might be the people on the front line who had to tank RoboCrab. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually get a look at the RoboCrab. I really wanted to, but I was too distracted by the donos. He was chopping. He was ripping on the Terran. I wanted to see that boy. Hmm. Well, she. Oof. We really need to get Blocko home and get him some better units. He's been so he's been away from base for so long. He's just like really undersupplied. Yeah. Um, oh, can we make peace with these fuckers? Thank oh, God. Yeah. Okay. I'll cool. Take it. Never darken my door again. That's uh, so a gothic guy. It's nice 15 bucks. Need so much gothic guy. Okay. Oh, hang on just a sec. F for <gasps> BJ Roth. Oh, Ripperoni. And Troy Bone. Rip. Uh, Gothic Goy says, hey, happy birthday, Ben. Uh, Thank you. Hey, it's the New Yorker from last time. <laughs> New York. I guess I uh, understand why you guys can't accommodate my schedule. As annoying as that is, can I have a Tech Island as the consolation prize? <laughs> Uh, catch you from the vodka pile. Hey, I'm not watching here. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Perfect. It's not racist. That's fine. No, that's the way he wrote it. That's how they wrote <laughs> it. We're just reading it out how they wrote uh, it. Yeah, they wrote that phonetically. <laughs> yeah. um, that's how I had to read it. Exactly. Can't blame yeah. you. Do you have a tech island that we can give to a gothic guy? Only no, I don't have any, any islands at all. Uh, Shutter Strand. No, it's 15 bucks as well. Thank you, Shutter Strand. Thank you. And they say, Tibia and Mandible. Mm. Uh, I was listening to the new album uh, from the band Black Country, Rapture. New Road. And they have a song called Chaos Space Marine. No law, but oh. if you're into chill experimental rock, it's a fun album. Mm. Uh, Crabnos is real. Kremlo came from space. Oh! Wow. Sounds cool. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Um, oh, Big Kenneth uh, donates three bucks. <laughs> Big Kenneth, and they say this is a petition for Ben to ask Tom a question to add a layer back on. <laughs> oh God, it's already the time that it is. <laughs> like we're uh, never going to get to go home. <laughs> also, just from like going through these, I don't think I would have got any of these questions. Like every now and again in that hard section, there's like one or two that. Maybe, but 99% of them are just bonkers. Yeah, and to be fair, like, Tom's done a lot of prep here. Um, I have no problems with him feeling all big and smart. That's <laughs> his, as his reward. My little treat. <laughs> yeah. They will never know the Wow. Okay, how are we, how are we looking, Blocko? Um, uh, Alpha Cap, and it's three bucks. The Alpha Cap. I say hello, Ben and Tom. Uh, I've shown this to Ben before, but maybe Tom has not seen it before. Uh, but it's fun. Please look at Vespa 150 Tap on Google. What is Vespa 150 Tap? Have you seen it before, Ben? Is it a type of uh, bike? Oh yeah! It's oh, the, I have um, seen it. It's the yeah, yeah. the gun, the scoot, the bazooka scooter. Yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, we yeah, that's he's a good cool, one. He's a cool boy. I like it a lot. Um, oh my God, Tom, they're offering us forty grand and hundred percent 
healing. Wow. And 100 growth in all provinces. For 15 turns. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to. I don't think our army's good enough to beat this realm. Yeah. Yeah, at all. I think we should just take it so, and upgrade. Yeah. And then next time we'll do two Chaos Regions at once. Yeah. <laughs> promise. We'll do double next time. I promise. <laughs> no, I guess it's worth just like sending an extra one into the Slanesh one just to grind some, grind yeah. some stuff. Yeah. Just send a pleb stack in to try and um, yeah. get some free bucks. Um, I, don't think, I don't think that we will survive to get to the next round of this as well. No, we probably won't. Sure. Let's have a taste. Oh. Yeah. Delicious. Circle of gluttony. Om nom nom. Oh my god, wow, 40,000. When we went in there, I was like, they, there's nothing they can offer me. <laughs> but it's the combination of our army not really being good enough so to do that. So 100% fucking regen is pretty, pretty legit. Yeah. 100 growth a turn as well, fuck. Yeah, like we can make a tier 5 capital really quick and start getting some strong units. Yeah. Um, very good. All right. Uh, so DJ Monkey donates 114 bucks, Ben. Whoa! What the heck? Um, Holy moly. So Thank you, DJ Monkey. They say, team, making my way downtown Tom, and walking fast, faces past Ben. <laughs> I finally escaped the Vod Goblin pile. Uh, what's the first full Warhammer 3 campaign going to be post-release? Oh, I don't know. I kind of, a bit of me really wants ogres. I want mm. ogres in my life. Um, but I don't mind. Like, I want to play all of them. I want yeah. to do all of them. Yeah, exactly. I do all of them. Um, I'm not not feeling fussy, to be honest. Yeah, I think ogres are like the weirdest ones compared to all the others. Mm. Honestly, literally any of them. I believe he does kind of want to do a corn campaign, just because I like I kind of like some of the corn units, and they get stupid fucking motorbike cannons. Yeah. And we haven't really built many corn units. In yeah. This um. Yeah, it's pretty tempting. Uh, hmm, I'm actually going to save um, money for a minute. But thank you so much, DJ Monkey. Yeah. Um, that's another layer, Ben. Yay! We need, we need some questions. Uh, right. Let's see. Let's see. Can you can you answer a question? I can try. Slaneshi Herald. Um, okay, right. Uh, what is the title given to the world in the Eye of Terror, which is now home to the Thousand Sun Space Marine Legions and the City of Light? Planet of Sorcerers. Boom! Got it! <laughs> that was Yay! in the Lord's Light Militant section. Well done. Oh, man. Present! Present! I can open presents! Good job. What did you get, Ben? I think I just got party poppers this time. Was <laughs> it just party you poppers? Just just no, open, open a second one. <laughs> open another layer. Do you want to do a party popper? Sure. Ah. Actually, wait, no, I don't want to, because at the moment I've got plausible deniability on any tidying. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as someone who made zero messes, you, uh, it's your birthday. Um, yeah, you can have another layer on that. If you get another question. Okay, hit me. What is the battle cry frequently uttered by the Thousand Sons in a ghostly whisper? All is dust. Wow. Yeah, man, you nailed it. Two for two. I know about the Thousand Suns. I like Sweet. my book nerds. Good stuff. Good boys. Present, 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 present. What is this? What is oh, this? Oh, my God. It's Jelly Baby. Nice. It's candies, <laughs> man. You got some candies. Love it. I would open it. But I already have quite a lot of open candy already. What other open candy do you have? I'm, I want some of your candy, Ben. Oh, nice. Jellies. Yeah. Love that. Oh, my God. I could not even... Ronald, you are spoiling us. God, I didn't even bring a backpack in with me today. I'm going to have to cycle home. What the heck? Without all my goodies. Oh, so many right. goodies. 
Delicious. Very good. Delicious. Handmaiden of mm. dark delight. Uh, mm. Mm. uh Brightwall donates three bucks. Thank you, Brightwall. Thank you. And they say, well, if it ain't my two favorite onion knights, Sigmire Tom and Sigward Ben. Perfect. Weirdly, I spotted a GW slash a GW water slash paint pot in the wild this week. Oh, really? After Ben brought it up last week, spotted it on Rahul Kohli's Twitter feed, showing off his space marines. Boom. Who's that? He's a dude that's in um, Midnight Mass and oh. the haunting of TV shows. Um, he's my new favorite boy. Um, and he likes Dark Souls and paints Warhammer. Oh, wow. Very cool. Love him. Very cool. Just all round cool dude. Perfect. I can get into that. Mm. Well, thank you, Bribble. Thank you. Uh, Orids donates five bucks. Thank you, Orids. Thank you, Orids. And they say, hi, Bob and Matt. I hope you're doing right. well. Uh, I think you guys would ever go back to playing Magic. Love the streams. Oh! Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I always enjoy it. I just can't keep up. I, I wouldn't play it enough to, like, be able to play, like, uh, you know, like, modern. Mm. I definitely play, like, some EDH or something, though. Yeah. I don't know, like, I'd like it if, um... Like, if they released a set, and then we just got into playing one set, mm. only cards from that set, Yeah. you know, whatever the... Like, choose a thing, just get into it for, like, six months. Yeah, Waste buy a box, do some drafting, and... Masters. Do some drafting, make some decks out of it, mm. like... Um, yeah, I could get into that. You, like, just choose, like, great... Um, whatever their, like, starter boxes are. Mm -hmm. Have, like, a... If they're, like, okay, right, there's a black and white deck, there's a blue and black deck there's a green and red deck just mm -hmm. divide up the colors and be like cool right you're doing just red and green i'll just mm. do black and blue and just make a couple of decks like that mm. and get like into a set um i i really like the um the guilds of ravnica set that came out a few years back because mm. that yeah that did the color combos really nicely i, pl I played a fair bit of it on them we did a brand deal um, when the Magic Arena came out. Oh, yeah. And I did a whole bunch of, like, sealed drafts with Lewis on that. And it was really fun. Because it made deck construction a lot easier. Just going, okay, I'll try this guild. I'll try the red-white guild. And yeah. Combo yeah, that like, Ravnik is always, like, a really, really kind of cool vibe. Um. Uh, oh, shit. The Doomkeep is under siege. Uh-oh. Oh, that's annoying, because we're recruiting. So suddenly... Six units aren't getting a recruiters that were about to be recruited. That is a dream. Surely we can just um, chase them off with our massive garrison. Yeah, just auto that. Oh, we've yeah, got those. a fucking Lord of Change in the garrison. Wow. Big Budgie says get wrecked. Pain and pleasure. Perfect. Killed Flux Rot. Um. Come on, Blorco. You've got to come home. Come home, my boy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, definitely get back into magic. Something I've always enjoyed. Mm. And just dip into and out of. For sure. Uh, Sunbro Smo. Dude, it's 45 bucks, Ben. Whoa! Thanks so very Sunbro much. Smo, thank you very much. You say hi, Ben and Tom. Hello. Ben, if you need some help unwrapping those layers, just remember to praise. Oh, and a Sunbro will happily chug Sunny D while you fight the wrapping paper. Praise the Sunbro. Man. Praise the Sunbro. Okay, you ready for another another question? Yep. We can stay in um, Zinch. Apparently you're pretty good at Zinch. I like Zinch. He was yeah. always my favorite Chaos God over the years. I'm leaning more to Nurgle these days, but for the longest time, I was all Zinch all the time. Oh, yeah, they're, well, they're the two, two coolest ones. Uh, wow. What does the Thousand Suns player receive after successfully pinning an unit, an enemy unit, with the Twisting Path power? <laughs> so this would be like, Fourth or fifth edition? The Twisting Path. 
Yeah. The, the twisting path to do in fourth or fifth edition. If you pin someone... Well, what was there that they could get? You know, you didn't have, like, command points <laughs> or, um, like, magic cards or... It, you didn't have any, like, resources to manage. A victory point? Some form of victory points? Do you think a final answer? Yeah. It's 50 victory points. <laughs> <laughs> so, one is, isn't quite enough for me, Ben. Uh, yeah. Which do you want a gift is conferred on Thousand Sun Space Marines aside from aspiring champions and characters by the mark of Zeech? Um, what they. I don't know what they're trying to. Which say. demonic gift is conferred on Thousand Sun Space Marines aside from aspiring champions and characters by the mark of Zeech? Which demonic gift? Come on, Ben. It's, well, it's, it's a psychic one. Because it's not doesn't go on to champions, so it must be for sorcerers. Um, the the thing, the wizard power, whatever the wizard power was called in that version of um, demonic some kind of demonic thing. Demonic essence. Yeah, it's demonic <laughs> essence. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Crack yourself open a layer there. Yay! <gasps> Is I slow? Ooh, toys! Toy! <laughs> <laughs> now, but now doesn't want an ungrateful Ben. <laughs> you can't be ungrateful, Ben. No, I would never be ungrateful for a present. Because all presents are lovely. It's the it, if you ignore the thought, the thought doesn't count. The effort counts in this instance. <laughs> because the effort is delightful. The thought is mean. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Renault has given me the, the Space Marine Mario Kart buggy. Wow! <laughs> you could use that in your Space Marine army. I could. I could put it in my Dark Angels army. I can paint it black and put the Ravenwing things on the side. Man, if he didn't build and paint that... What kind of a fucking asshole would he be <laughs> if he didn't build and paint that sometime soon? Just, it's just the best model, isn't it? it what, of all the Space Marine models, who wouldn't want to go, meep, meep, I'm a Mario Kart! <laughs> <laughs> I could do a speed run with it. Mm -hmm. That's what all the cool yogs are doing these days, is they're speed running Mario Karts. And now Man. I can do it too. That's so cool. That is such a thoughtful gift. <gasps> this one's easy to build as well. It's push fit, no glue. <gasps> That's even better. Even better. I mean, if even anything, that means I should get it built and painted even sooner. <laughs> even less excuses not to have it built and painted. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. What oh, a thoughtful gift. I could do a stream. I could do a painting, a Mario Kart speed run paint stream. Where I put the timer on and I have to like un uh, open and glue and paint the mm -hmm. whole model in less than two hours. <laughs> I like that. I'm into that. You need to get a belt. I think for that to happen though, I probably need to. I can't just do that on my own. I have to be competing with someone for that to be. Yeah, it's up like, on their leaderboard. They'll probably let you in. <laughs> it's close enough. It's close enough, right? <laughs> Oh, okay, that's a thing. Oh, well, thank you, Ronald. Lovely models. Wow. I've got some some really cool models. And this one, too. <laughs> what are you so saying? cool. What you, thank you, you Ronald. Why do you say it like that? But only someone really ungrateful wouldn't build that and put that in their army that they definitely could use it in. Yeah, I could put it in my cabinet next to all the other models I love. <laughs> It's really cool. It's really cool. Thank you, Renault. Wow. Man, and that there are more layers still left in your your thing? There are more layers. I think there's at least two. Maybe more. Wow. My god. It's, we're running out of time. We are running out Can of time. Open more layers. Uh, you know what? I think Renault will treat you to one more layer. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Renault. If uh, if that's what you fancy. Um, 
I was like, just eat, eat your sweets. <laughs> <laughs> they're just hungry and they're not filling me up. And so I'm just consuming. Do you want Jaffa cakes instead? They're a little bit more filling. No, no, I'm okay. I need to, but you can take these back because otherwise I will just sit and fucking gobble them all. <laughs> right. um, mm. Okay. Do you have another question to have another another thing? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, question me up. Some of these questions are good. Okay. Ah, well, this, this is... Okay, we're moving down to the Commissar section. Uh, who currently re wields the Axe of Morkai? Ooh. I know. the. I've heard of the Axe of Morkai. That is a thing. Who has it? You will know this. It's a space wolf, right? Or, or a chaos warrior. God, why can't I remember if it's a chaos warrior or a space wolf? Because the space wolves basically are fucking heretics. <laughs> they are. They're so fucking, so fucking deviant. Yeah. Um. But they're not virgins, Ben. No, they're sad fucks. They're not virgins. <laughs> they have sex. <laughs> um, is it Logan Grimnar? Who rides Santa's sleigh? Sadly, it's the Great Wolf, Logan Grimnar. Oh, sorry. Should so, I use Lord of Fenris and the Space? Do I need to do the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. Game of Thrones titles. <laughs> uh, okay. What type of weapon does damage through sub molecular thermal agitation? Melter gun. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Boom. Get, your, get yourself a layer, then. You can crack crack one open. Present, present. <gasps> Yay! Ronald is with me! <laughs> Whoa! The third <laughs> onion! Triple birthday Three onion! Three birthday <laughs> onions! I must have been such a good boy <laughs> <Wow>. this year. <laughs> wow. Ronald. <laughs> oh, you... God, like, you've been so good this year. I was hoping. I Think was hoping. Think of all the things you could do with I, three birthday I onions. I dared not believe... <laughs> I could have three birthday onions. Wow. That's so <laughs> many onions. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, the whole family's eating tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, your partner, and the boy. <laughs> yeah. Look, family, I brought us dinner. An onion for each of you. Wow, it's going to be bad. It's a great day. It's a great day. It's a great day. I'm going to peel one of these bad boys right now. What? No, you've got to save it. Take them home. Those are good onions. Those are good, They're real great onions. onions. I know, that's why I want one right now. You don't, you're you're going to waste that onion. <laughs> wasting These are, They're delicious, good onions, Ben. You can tell they're good onions. They're not rotten. <clears throat> oh, so fresh. So hairy. Onions are fucking weird plants when you actually look at them and think about them, right? Yeah, no, kind of nothing else is really <laughs> like these things. No, but man, onions, fantastic. Fantastic. Um, well, I'm glad. Glad you enjoyed that. I did enjoy that. It's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Grumpy Goose says I'm semi-convinced that Onion is a better model than the Space Marine Mario Kart. <laughs> what? That's mean and ungrateful. That's ungrateful. How dare you? How rude. Um, this guy's come. It's the same army that killed us before. Oh, fuck. And now we've got Nurgle, just all the Nurglings. Oh god, but there's like no here. ranged stuff. No. We have the, the frogs. We've got a unit of frogs and one unit of... Oh, there's one unit of blue horrors that somehow made it into the Nurgle <laughs> Hi, house. Hi guys! <laughs> We're here! Oof. Do you you've got any chance? Well, there's some Chaos Warriors of Corn in it okay. as well. We do have one unit of Exalted. They have Special ranged weapon. They have two shots. Ooh. This like feels a like a really, really bad, tough fight. Try it. I'd really, really like to not lose that. I don't think, I don't think this is a win. No, I wouldn't blame you for losing this. Oh, He's got the bear cannon. The little grom. Mm. Oh, it's a different map. Mm -hmm. I guess it depends if those, because the thing is, he actually, if you take the archers out of the equation, he has four units of infantry. If we can get into those archers, yeah, he is in trouble. 
Or if we can render them useless with the terrain. That's if, true. If those rocks on the map are no shoot over rocks, then we're winning. If they're pits, we're in trouble. Okay. It's very gloomy. Bit of column A, bit of column B. Mm. They're all shoot axes and little grom. I feel like shooting is going to be pretty effective. God, I hate this map. The darkness. Mm, yeah, the lighting on this I map is the horrible. Oh, we're under, we live in a cave. Under a cave. Mm. Yeah, you basically just can't see anything. Let's kind of um, get them. Did we read all the messages? Oh my god, we did. I think so. I think we were very good boys. We were well behaved. Mm. Actually did, did our reading today. Oh, chat says I can fuse the onions together and evolve them, like Magneton. Onionton. <laughs> I get that reference. You're doing a Pokemon! God, do we just, like, hang back? No, I can't. I need to... Impossible? It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, this is horrible. Did anyone test this? And it was just like, yeah, this looks fine. Yeah, this is a fun map to play on. Spoilers. It would be easier to play on a map that was just the mini map, if you see what I mean. Like, yeah. Yeah. Can you can you tab tab into this? Oh God, but it's like just far out enough that that ain't that ain't fun either. Mm. Can we fuck with the lighting? Like, settings? No, that never really works. I think it's just literally we're just in the shade. This is this is our life now. Oh, God. That was horrible. <laughs> Please never click on that unit again. Can I see the frogs? I haven't seen the frogs yet. Uh, did we have them in a battle before? Because, yeah, we saw them jumping. Oh, yeah, we when did. We had the frog riders. Yeah, yeah. They're kind of cool. I do like them. Can we see the, um, the big plague bearers as well? Oh, yeah. I think you're right. His regular plague bearers. Cool. Oh, that oh, one's got, got that guy. Oh, they've got He's a, got an ogling coming out of his tummy. Pooping out. <laughs> That's cute. And these are the special ones. They've got two horns. Oh, okay. Glowy swords. Okay. Hmm. God, I don't really know. Well, apparently chat says it doesn't look too bad. Maybe we've got a weird monitor. Oh, maybe. Maybe the feed is actually fine. What spells do you have? Leech. Sure. Okay, let's just see. Like, if it wasn't for the, um, the highlight around a unit, um, when you click on it, I wouldn't be able to even see where your units are. Yeah. Oh, it's like a defensible wall. Hmm. Oof! One of those flies just got fucking nailed by little Grom. Yeah, but uh, oh, he's of kind the of over there. Done. Bonk! Fucking hell! Who'd have thought this howitzer was like a good anti-aircraft cannon? I don't feel like that's shooting things out of the sky easily. No. Psychotic. It's uh, 
Very aggressive play by their general. Oh, wow. Look at that. Sinwar is going to $10 and says, Tom, Sinwar. Burn. my friend Dan doesn't like onions. Can you guys explain to him how great onions are? How do you not like onions? Actually, no, I can kind of understand that. When I was younger, I didn't really like onions. No, I didn't like them when I was young. I used to pick them out of everything. Um, as I got older, tastes change. Like, yes. the, um, way, the way to get someone to like onions, put, just chop your onions up smaller. Yeah, because they don't have a good texture. And they've got to be in the right thing. Like, some things people add onions to, and it, it really adds nothing to the overall um, dish. But, like, uh, chop them up real small, fry them. Oh, man, like... What do you think is a bad thing to add onions to? Um, pie or pasties. I don't, I don't like it. It's um, the onion flavour overpowers the subtler uh, things in there for me. Um, yeah, it's got to fry them off more. This is just the worst battle then. I'm in, I'm in hell right now. And I don't like it on pizza either. Oh uh, like yeah, I don't like it on pizza actually. That's one thing. Also, I've got to hate raw onion. Oh, God, yeah. Sometimes they put raw onion in your salad and, at a, like a restaurant, and it's just the worst. Because even once you've picked it out, it's left its smell everything, and taste on it. Everything tastes of onion. Man. Especially red, raw red onion. Yeah. God, people fucking love that. Yeah. Not a fan. No, I don't like that either. Out of here. But you know, personal opinion, isn't it? Don't worry about it. People like what they like. Don't let it bother you. People get really upset about like pizza toppings. Yeah. But pizza idiots. Right. And like us, we we've got our finger on the pulse. <laughs> we know what's going We're on. We're smart. Everyone else is stupid. Yeah. How how are those bugs not killing that cannon? They have just had the worst possible day. Um, I'm just ignoring them now. There's someone in chat saying they think pizza tastes better without cheese. So, you know, living proof that everyone's different. <laughs> like <a> psychopaths. <laughs> yeah. There are no right answers for food. But there are definitely wrong ones. And uh, frozen peas in the sandwich <laughs> is not the right answer. Uh. I mean, generally, I'll eat anything, but you know, given the choice, there's some things I'd rather not have. Yeah, there's some things that like ugh, I'd just rather avoid. Um, yeah, like um, oh, I hate it when um, uh, you get coriander on your food. See, I I quite like coriander, but places that do too m put too much in. Yeah, it just ruins, you can't taste the other stuff. It's just like, oh, I'm eating a big bowl of coriander mush now. Yeah. It's so overpowering, the taste. Or cilantro, if you're in America. That's what it's called there. Um, I just don't understand. Why Why cover your food in it? Do you not like the food on its, like, the way it was? Yeah. Like, does it taste so bad that we just have to dump a ton of it on there? Mmm. And I think there's, there's actually a genetic thing, like about 20 to 30% of people have a gene that makes the coriander taste like soap. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Um, so I, it boggles my mind that they don't put it on the menu. They don't say, by the way, this has coriander in it. By the way, this, this might taste like soap. There's, there's a fair chance this might taste like soap to you. Like that should be on the menu everywhere. It boggles my mind when I, I get, I'm so disappointed when I order something that sounds delicious and it's just like, oh, you just kind of ruined that. If you'd said it was on there on the menu, I'd have just said, please don't put it on. Yeah. Because, you know, it's not like that's mixed in. They add that at the end. I hear you. Like, um, God, it was, I don't know, maybe like a year or two ago. Um, went to a place that was in uh, the, like, the market area near near the office that has um those are like you know in, independent food stalls and stuff like that mm -hmm. and there's like a, a place in there and ordered like i think it was like some like chinese food type thing like noodles and stuff 
And at the end, they're like, oh yeah, do you want some like coriander? I was like, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, like a little bit. But literally like as much of the food that was in the box, they then put literally <gasps> as much coriander and they just stirred it all up. Oh! Just like, <laughs> do you want to piss in your burrito? Like, oh. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, but this delicious meal, <laughs> you just wanted to taste of coriander now. <laughs> yes, yes. All of, you know, all of those other herbs and spices that are involved. Yeah. Yeah, just fuck don't all that off. I don't want that. I just want coriander. Um, oh. It's so bad. Like, so disappointing. It must be that in the countries like that, like like Mexico, where they use a lot of it, that that gene is much rarer. Oh, probably. Um, that's the only way I can understand it in my mind, that why that would be the case. He's going to do a special shooty attack. Yeah, what do these guys actually shoot when they shoot? I don't know. How do I make them do their shooting attack? I tell them to stop walking, I guess, and they'll fire at will. We're going to lose anyway. We may as well know how this works for science. Maybe they do it as they charge? Oh. I don't know. Good to figure out. Oh, they need to do something. Because they are getting a crot of the fuck up. His Kislev army is pretty good. Oh, my boy, my baby boy. He leeched life that last couple of horses. Um, Selborn the Necromancer has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, Ben, real Tom, donating because Harry didn't read the last bit of my message last week. Also late to the stream. Birthday boys are always forgiven for not learning the game. Happy birthday. That goes for you too, Tom, when your birthday comes around. Nice. Thanks. I'm exempt. What's your excuse, Tom? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> no, that was, that was a tough battle. Oh God, yeah. And not a great army that the garrison gave you. No, Nurgling's worthless. Yeah, they just can't do anything, can they? Uh, would you like another layer of your fries? Yes, please! Okay. Do you want a question to go with it? Yeah. Gotta earn my treat. All right, what is... Um... Ask, but remember who it is you... Here we go. Uh. <laughs> wow, this is in the in the second hardest section of the book. <laughs> right. What is the sacred number of Nurgle? Six. No, seven. <gasps> seven. Seven. Slanesh is six. Um, seven. Okay. Seven. I, okay. Right. That needs to be in the second hardest section. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Right. So it turns out pretty difficult. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty difficult question. What's well, the second hardest section, Tom? I can't get them all right. Oh God. <laughs> Why did I say six? Um, ooh. Uh, which close combat special ability can be gained by models with the mark of Nurgle if they're armed in a certain manner? That's a really... It's very specific. So awkward way to word that. So in, like, fourth or fifth edition... You arm your Nurgle troops with certain weapons, and they get a special rule. Yeah. I can't remember the names. The only special rule I can remember from that era is Furious Charge. Mm. But that doesn't feel like something Nurgle would get. 
poison attacks. Ooh. Feels like something Nurgle would get. What if I tell you what the ability does? Oh, okay. Because I had a Nurgle army in this edition. Ooh. Um, it allows your plague marines mm -hmm. to wield their bolt guns. Like oh, true grit. Boom, true grit. Feel you feel your bolt guns as if they were bolt pistols. Yeah, when you're in combat. <laughs> Uh, because they carry them in one hand because they're fucking badasses. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can uh, open the layer. Layer on your thing. Layer. Despite layer. getting the wrong chaos number. <laughs> what the heck? Um, true grip. Man. True grip. Oh. Present. Present. Here's a present. Oh. <gasps> It's the best present of all. It's the present everyone can share. Oh my god. Ronald has sent a law hammer or your hammer. What? Ronald also seems to like drawing dicks <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald was decorating. He was doing it for his audience, Ben, which was you. Um, so, the law hammer today is Stinky Guard or the third Ian Watson poop reference. Okay. So for anyone who doesn't know, Lawhammer or Your Hammer is a game where Tom has two tales of Warhammer lore, one of which is 100% accurate lore, the other is made-up nonsense. Mm -hmm. But which is which? Let's minimize chat. Minimize chat. Finally, we've got a poop hammer. It's been a, little, been a long time. So, um, are you familiar with the Imperial Guard Regiment, mm. the Miasma Red Cowls? No. Um, also known by their nickname as the Fire Skunks. <laughs> Perfect. The uh, Fire Skunks mm. are an infamously s the stinkiest legion of Imperial <laughs> Guardsmen that a lot of guard refuse to fight alongside <laughs> because they smell so bad. Uh, wow. Why do they smell so bad? Uh, they're just fucking stinky boys. The stinky boys. Sure. Stinky boys. Stinky boys. Okay, the fire skunks. Cool. What else you got? <laughs> or is there a third reference to eating shit in what? Ian Watson's Space Marine, a book you have read? <laughs> so hang on, let me remember the first two. The first one was... Oh, no, well, hang on. Of the two poop references we have, only one of them is eating shit, right? Okay, right. The first one is you, you ceremoniously take, take a shit. Yeah, you absolve... The chaplain absolves the brothers of their sins by absorb by hearing their sin and then shitting it he out. Shits, he shits it out. And then the initiate, one of their indoctrination rites is they have to eat mm -hmm. the shit of another Marine and then they shit that shit out and yeah. then someone else eats that yeah. shit. So, you know, presumably someone once ate Rogel Dawn's shit, I guess. Yeah. And it's been passed on ever since. And everyone keeps pooping out the little shit balls <laughs> that they keep in, like, containers and <laughs> yeah. have this weird marble game with. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe there's a third one. So, is there a third one mm -hmm. where uh, well, your, your main boy, Jeff Space Marine. Yeah. Um, Captain Leandros. Robert Imperial oh, no, it's Fist. Not, it's not Leandros. He's Le... <clears throat> He's something being with an L. Might be Leandros. It's not important. Uh, so they're fighting near a broken sewer, and he gets spattered by the bitter tasting filth, um, and it goes in his mouth, but because he's a space marine, he doesn't mind the taste. <laughs> and also, he's used to eating shit. He's used to <laughs> eating shit. But has Ian Watson slipped in a third uh, oh, shit? Oh. Shit story into the oh, fuck. hit book Space Marine, which you have read. I have read, but I've I've got them wrong every time. <laughs> you have got them wrong. I read them, you know, twenty years ago. Yeah, you did not um, uh, believe the others, so there can't be a third one. There can't be a third one. He wouldn't say Surely. a Space Marine wouldn't get shit in his mouth and not mind the bitter taste. I don't remember fighting in a sewer. I remember fighting in a tunnel with an amble. I remember going into a Tyranid hive ship. It could be Tyranid poop. That's the thing. Bitter tasting filth. Mm. There can't be a fucking... No, maybe there is. Because everything he writes is just insane and deprived. Maybe it works. He does like poo-poo. He loves the poo-poo. 
But is it more believable than Stinky Guard? Stinky Guard sounds... The Fire Skunks. Fire Skunks. There is like a book that has like a thousand fucking Imperial Guard Regiment color schemes in it. And I could totally imagine that being like a throwaway line. The Fire Skunks. Skunk smell, right? <laughs> so why not? That sounds more believable. But so my gut tells me the poo is a lie and the Fire Skunks are real. But my gut's been full of shit all evening. <laughs> I got them, I've, the last two on the row I've been wrong on. They can't be a third. They can't be. It's too meta. You can't have found another poop, poop law. I'm sticking to my guns, despite always being wrong. I'm going to say the fire skunks are real. And there is no more Imperial, Imperial Fist Poo. You sure? I'm sure. You're right, Ben! Yay! I got one right! There's no more poo. <laughs> no matter how much you dig through that book, <laughs> there's no more poop stories. We only, he got two in there, oh. but no more poo. Um, yeah, the miasma red cowls are also known as the fire skunks. Other guards' regiments refuse to fight alongside I them. I want to see if there's a picture of them. Because they stink. Um, uh, yeah, they look like... Um, they're kind of cool. They look a bit like uh, Adnec. Oh, they do, don't they? Yeah. They're kind of cool. Boom. Do they all wear the gas mask because they're so stinky? They don't want to stink. They wear that. Uh, it's because they use like um, weird flamethrowers that are powered by stinky gas or something. Oh, okay. They've There's got like, like off-brand Prometheum. Yeah, but it's meant to be better than regular Prometheum, but it stinks. And that's why <laughs> the Imperial doesn't use it. <laughs> right. I like these guys. They're, they're cool. Fun. I like all the like obscure guard regiments. A lot of opportunity for conversion. They don't show this kind of stuff anymore because they don't want people to make third party miniatures. Yeah. But back in the old books there was like a billion cool. Yeah, they really like highlighted regiments. it. Wow. Oh wow. That, that picture, this this one is like a classic. Oh yeah. That's back when you can make like your custom guard regiment with rules. Uh, But yeah, the, oh man, I really like that sort of vibe. Um, oh, apparently they use methane. Methane. So Boom. they're fart Farts. cloud powered flamers. That's the one. Perfect. <laughs> Promethaneum. Oh, oh, you got it. Uh, Baked Bean Boy 420. Uh, then it's 10 bucks. Thank you, Baked Bean Boy. Oh, thank you. They say, Baby Carrier, Nemesis, Dread Knight Ben, and Tactical Marine Tom. Oh. Uh, if you had to pick one Warhammer 40k model that hasn't been updated yet to get remodeled now, mm. what would it be and why? Rocco came from the warp. Ah! Oh, one model. I mean, we talked about warp spiders earlier. They're long overdue. I'd love to see some new ones of those. I'm not sure if I care. But that's it. I don't care that much about Eldar. Uh, what factions do I care about? I'd like to see the Kazakin back. Mmm. I uh, don't you mean the Scions? No, no. Scions can suck a dick. These guys. The Kazakin were awesome. Like, okay. really cool Ooh. models. I'd like to see some new versions of them. Like, they're yeah. cool. Yeah, they're ace because these guys did just look like, boom, like elite guard. Mm. Exactly. They look like, you know, Cadian troopers, but just badass versions of them. Yeah, I really like them. Those are great models as well. Like, they really hold up still. Mm. Um, God, what hasn't been, like, remade, really? I mean, there must be a terrible model that could do, use a revamp. Um, mm. What other factions do I care about? I was trying to think of like what has been like phased out, like not updated. Yeah, I'd like to see some a new batch of um, inquisitorial henchmen. Oh yeah, 
They always look cool, and some modern ones of those would be great. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, because I really liked when they did the um, the old school Inquisitor stuff. Like they were great. They were really yeah, cool. like these guys. <laughs> That's just the unit of them. Why <laughs> 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 they got so many? <laughs> these guys, the Crusaders. Yeah, they look great, modernized. Yeah, they're like kinda... human sword and shield boys. Um, on oh, the Death Cultists. What about like a special character? Is there anyone? Which special characters did I like? I mean, any of the Dark Angels ones. They're still on, they're still coming from the nineties. I'd love to see a modern like Asmodai or Azrael or Ezekiel. Mm. Ezekiel would look awesome modernized, actually. Um, Spelt this wrong, but Google always knows. <laughs> this guy. He's kind of cool. Back when he came out in the 90s, this was a cool pose. Yeah, it was like really, really fancy. So like a modern version of that. I mean, you know, it'd look a lot like the current librarians, I guess. But he just, he looks cool. You know, I can't really think of, I can't really think of any models that are old and outdated that I don't, don't like, that I would want. Uh, yeah, nothing really springs to mind. I'm sure there's a whole bunch. I just can't think of any of them. Yeah, are there any like orc characters? Cool orc characters that haven't been like re. Nasdrag? Or, oh, um, the f Captain Badrock, the Flash Gets guy. Oh. Captain. Badrick. Didn't they make a new one? This guy. Oh, they did. I forgot. Yeah. I they did a new one of him. Did they do a new Mad Doc Grotznik? Oh, that would be something that you could get because the last one was horrible. This one. I hate oh, this God. model. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not good, is it? It's just really ugly. Yeah, update him. Although I kind of would want him to look like the... Um, the one they've already got, the, pain, the new Painboy guy with the claw. The No, the Artel W oh, ones. Yeah. The ones with like big power, like actually make them look like a war boss sized orc mm. dock. Wow, he just looks way cooler than the horrible... This guy. I hate that model. Yeah, someone like him. But I just want the Artel, Artel Mini. Mm. Uh, snotling Swarms. Ah, oh, Snotlings, yeah. That. Bring Snotling Swarms back. Why isn't that a thing? Yeah. Why can't Orcs have Swarms? I miss the days. And squigs. Squigs. Bring, oh, Squig Swarms back. Yeah. Uh, like... Back when they were really weird. Oh, they were bonkers, weren't they? Like, they were weird, like, some were spiders, some were little gribblies. Yeah, here we go, these guys. <laughs> yeah. Just all over the shop. Just, that guy's on stilts. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> super wacky, uh, but really cool, really cool models. Oh, Astrobel Vect. That would be cool. A new Astrobel Vect would be rad. That's a good shout. Yeah, good luck spelling that. <laughs> Astrobel Vect. Which was. He was the guy, right? The Dark Elder. Oh, riding on the radar. yeah. He was like Azdra on a, on a, Belvect. He's yeah. Like Jabba, Dark Elf Jabba the Hut on his little skiff. Has no one like converted, converted that? Someone must have done. Oh, like, this is a new raider, but it's not. They haven't put him on it. So yeah, all you need is like a Dark Elder Lord on a throne with a couple of like cloaked guards. Yeah. On a little slave barge. Yeah. Yeah, I always thought that guy was kind of cool. Mm. Kind of fun vibe. Um, I think we should be wrapping up soon. We should. Um, so maybe, maybe there's like one. One last uh, layer. <gasps> one last layer. Uh, although we have a donation from Fleeg Kartoffel, uh, who did his 10 bucks. Thank you so much. And they say, another donut from your friendly Texas potato. Thank you. Just got off work. Barely 6 p.m. here. Uh, would stay to watch, but have a tractor to fix. Oh. After our freeze last week. Don't know who we're fighting, but kill them dead. 
Tom the Terrible, Ben the Benevolent. Oh, thank you, so my friendly Texas potato. Appreciate that. So I think maybe this is the last layer. Well, there's a bowl, so I'm worried that there's actually a... Another peak. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think there's two layers. <laughs> Just rip them both off. Just Here rip it open there. Do, 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 do. More party poppers. This is more party poppers. <laughs> oh, my God. We're at the center. So you can see, like, the... Do you remember where we were? The giant bulge is like... <laughs> it was like this big to start with. And the, the <laughs> wrapping got worse and worse and worse as was just having to, uh, Ronald was having to just smash stuff on. Oh my God. Is um, it... Imagine how good it would be if there was a fucking fourth onion in there. <laughs> just a little shallot. <laughs> oh, it'd be so good. It'd be so fucking good. Oh. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 It's a little box. I had to open this box, Ben. Little box. It's a, spe a very special treat for a very special boy. Oh. It's a miniature. There's a miniature, Ben. It's already built and painted. There's a painted and built miniature, Ben. <gasps> Aha! It's a, a built-in min painted miniature, I Ben. I love him. It's... A classic colour scheme, Gene Stealer Patriarch on Throne. Wow. My favourite kind of Gene Stealer. Oh my god, but don't you have a Gene Stealer <laughs> army, bro? I do have a Gene Stealer army. He can roll my dice, and I he got. Can be a, a sit on a throne and be a Patriarch? What the <laughs> hell? He can be my Whoa. Tom Triarch. And I can have a little Ben next to it, Mag Magus. So Whoa. this is um, our yeah. patriarch. So um, what they did was, obviously, he's a big gene stealer, and this was the first one that ever came out. And then they brought out a second one, which was him this just like sat on legit. a throne looking like a so good. badass. Oh, man, this, um, like, with this little goon was like, tee -hee, <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> they always loved this model, but they went out of production not that long after they brought it out and I never got hold of one of these. Yeah, it's not like uh wasn't super around for a long time. And they go for an absolute fortune on eBay. Um but then someone um made like a 3D here, here image. There he is. Oh no that's not him. That's a conversion. Oh. It's like um, that. Uh it's the just do a search for it's it. like the Gomlek. Uh Uh, there he is. Here. Yeah. Bam. This is the model. Yeah, it's that one. But but painted real nice. Can't really see the detail on the camera. Boom. Oh, that's super cool. Wow. He's so happy. Happy birthday, Ben. Thank you, Ronald. Did all the things. What a good boy. Oh, thank you, chat, for helping me open my present. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow. oh, that's really cool. So many toys. So many sweets. So many toys. So many onions. <laughs> so many onions. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh. Um, well, yeah. Uh, that might be time for us to wrap it up. Yeah. It's a late one tonight. Good hey, jeez. God, it's nearly midnight. Holy Oof. moly. Oof. Um, Man, well, extra big thank you to everyone who's um, come to hang out and subscribed, and donated, and supported the stream. It's been really fun. We'll be back next week to play more Adventures of Blorco. Mm hmm And we'll try and not die, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see about that. Things looking a bit bleak. But we can, we've, we've come back from worse. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow on my channel. Wow. Twitch.tv slash Wow. And we'll be back next week with Blorco. Should be good. Very good. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Boom. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's watched, everyone who's donated, uh, everyone who's just been here. Shout mm -hmm. out to all the Vodblins. Uh, we love you all. We do. See you next time. Come on. Goodbye. Goodbye.